everyone. How are you? I decided last minute that I needed to get rid of my nail polish. So my plan to be here three minutes ago kind of, <laughs> it didn't happen. But at least my nails are somewhat decent other than the fact that these are broken. But that's, yes, it is what it is. And it's Happy Easter. I am home alone. I have plenty of time to hang out with you guys for many hours today. Um, don't know if it's going to be like the last time I did a Saturday pop-up where we were here for 13 hours. It's a possibility. Um, I'm going to be here as long as I have energy to do so. I have coffee, but I have also prepped with, with coffee. And, and then I have some more coffee. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, and I'm going to be here for a bit. So instead of running back and forth to the kitchen, and I have these little handy dandy uh, coffee mugs, uh, thermos, whatever, it's, it is what it is. Hello, Marcus. Good afternoon. And good morning, Carrie. How are you? Hello, Quano. How are you? And Mary King and Rosie Posey. Happy Easter, everyone. So I have a lot of things that I want to do today. Um, we have new friends hanging out over here. I have new friends I want to make with you guys. Um, we have updates on my puff stitch uh, purgatory <laughs> uh, cardigan. Uh, I have not done anything recently on the the JJ doily, um, but I do have some other things that it might be even more fun. I might get some work on this today. We'll we'll see. I have plenty of hours to hang out, and I'm not in a hurry. Hello, Suzanne. How are you? What are you guys doing? I'm guessing a lot of you are waking up, or is it anyone that still hasn't gone to bed yet? I know Marcus is probably having lunch or already had that or something along those lines. Hello, Octal. How are you? I am good. It's Easter. And I have these gigantic bunny ears that's even too tall to like fit in the camera. And I don't know. It's plastic in here. If it had been metal, I could have probably bent it, but it's plastic. So we're having cute bunny ears. Happy Easter. And, and I know that there's, there's some fun going on here. We haven't seen me with earrings for quite some time. Well, I do have earrings all the time, but you just don't see it because I have the headset on. But I got me some 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 dangly bits. I did. <sighs> it's 12.50 p.m. in Sweden, and I do believe that we are changing our t clocks tomorrow, I think. I think that's how it is. Um, it's this, this weekend, at least, but I think it's the night between Saturday and Sunday. That would be... No, that would be tonight, wouldn't it? I did clean up the mess over here with all the yarns left, right, and center. And I did... I did put them here a little bit more of a orderly fashion. I did clean up over here. Uh, and I also have a little bit of different yarns here. Even though we don't see them very often. But, you know. We moved stuff around. Can anyone spot our new friend over here th this week? If you guys found me on panel at Little Histories early this week, uh, you might have seen what it was I was working on at that point. <laughs> you also got some dangly bits, but Marcus said you're not allowed to show them. <laughs> I, I, I understand that. Octal has morning hours. Did you get coffee or tea or something yet? 7.51 a.m. Rosie Posey had breakfast. Now getting ready to go to the grocery shopping. Going early to beat the rush. Are you going to get yourself some vegetables? Um, I, I have pickles. And now we have eggplant. Yes, we, we have eggplant. We needed an eggplant. Eggplant emoji, everyone. So I, I needed to get one. Now I have one. And I can throw it around if I need to. <laughs> Coffee and breakfast for Suzanne. You're crocheting an easy moss stitch throw with Lion Brand Mandala sequins. That sounds nice. 
Oh, it's really early. Carrie, I'm guessing you recently woke up 4.52 a.m. You are an early bird. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Should I get something on my hook right this minute? I have plans. I was talking yesterday to Jessica, and I have an idea for this one. This one is um, baby cotton print in, like, a. I think the colorway was avocado jade avocado jade cream i think that's the colorway so we have plans for that and i'm thinking that is going to be happening in a bit let's talk squares i'm i'm in squares in in you know puff stitches and squares let's go there because i might go start there we got the mini ones and the, the small ones all finished. And now I have eight of the next size up. And I need 17 of these. And then I need nine of the next size up before I can start assembly. So that's quite some squares. I am on skein number two. Uh, and I'm center pulling. So... It doesn't look like I've used anything really, but it's, that's a big empty space inside here. Oh, we might go and take a little uh, hangout session in the scrap basket later also. If I'm here for a long time and there's a lot of people here, we might scrap basket a bit. No lunch, making a chili for dinner. Don't want to ruin your appetite. Well, that sounds good, Marcus. You get up at 3.30, Carrie? That, that is early. <laughs> the carrot and the pickle and the eggplant. Yes, Rosie. It, it doesn't, you know, it was, there was mayhem in the vegetable aisle the last two streams. So it's just, we need to continue the theme. Like, I was all into the wet animals. But the pickle derailed that into into the veggie aisle. Which I think is kind of funny. Because there's a lot of fun emojis out there that can be very, very fun. I'm just sitting here. Where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? I have all these ideas. Should we start with this one? Just because I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, this is going to be fun. I have no idea if the pattern is going to be easy or not to, to follow. But it is a free pattern on the Hobie website. I don't know if it's available in English though, because I'm actually going for the Swedish pattern. But I think you might be able to tell what I'm doing. I hope. I was like, should I try and get the colors that it's actually, you know, the, the natural colors of said vegetable? Uh, or should I just go with the flow of the color changing yarn? And I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm just going to have fun with the colors, kind of with the snail. The snail is just like a lot of fun happening at once. So with that in mind, we're going uh, to make something out of this. I want the center. Give me center, please. Let's go dig for the center. What's your uh, Easter plans, guys? How do you celebrate your Easter? I think I'm going to be able to do this one really easy without really following the pattern. Or I'll follow the pattern, but there's like a lot of rows just round, round, round. Not a lot of counting once I get to, to that.
Easter brunch at your sister's country club tomorrow. That sounds nice. I'm not having any like Easter types of foods. In Sweden, Easter is all about eggs. A lot of eggs. Candy eggs, chocolate eggs, hiding eggs. But yeah, painting eggs. We're just very eggy here. And I'm not the biggest fan of eggs. Good afternoon, Stina. How are you today? Nice to see you. Are you uh, celebrating Easter any yet? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Regular weekend stuff laundry, cleaning, groceries. Yeah, we did. I did. I should say when the house got empty today I did I did some cleaning before I got in the shower to sit and hang out here so I can feel more relaxed because I figured that would be a good a good thing to get done before I sit down and don't get up here for like the rest of the weekend so cleaning was done for a little bit Let's just put a stitch marker here, which is my little handy dandy yellow leftover bits from something. Then I don't have to think at all, pretty much. I can just crochet away and I can chat with you guys and I don't have to sit and count back to see that all my stitches are where they're supposed to be. I have never used this yarn. It is fancy with the Egyptian cotton, but it's also print as what they're calling it to get the stripey. I don't know if it's, I feel like there's more white to it than I'd expect from just looking at it. I don't know why I'm feeling it's more white. Definitely liking the colors though, but it was hard to figure out what type of vegetable that would work good for Hello MP, how are you? Welcome in. Happy Easter I keep asking the crocheter what's on your hook, but I know that there's a bunch of model builders and woodworkers here also. So what are you guys doing when you're hanging out with me? I should be more inclusive in, in how I ask that question. Because you guys are also here and having fun, whatever you're doing. <laughs> you're thinking of dressing up as a Playboy bunny girl and freaks one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go for Marcus. Marcus, are you going to be live tonight? Uh, no, tomorrow. No, it's today. Are you going to be live today? Kwana will be there scare you. That is what I'm hearing from this. I get so lost with the days. Here we had Friday is a holiday. Um, I guess you guys say it's a Good Friday, and it's a, a, a day off from work for most people. Uh, and here also, um, Monday is a holiday day. So there's a lot of things that is very different. I went out driving Thursday. Traffic was terrible. A lot of people, if possible, they only work half days the day before 
the Friday, the, the Easter Friday. So that is also very busy traffic day that we don't like. And I had to be out in that and I had to go to the stores and I had a really, really crappy meeting Thursday. So I was not happy at all. Uh, so I, I yet again might have failed my shop, my stash 2024 because I needed some retail therapy after that meeting. So, so I have yarn. I, I got me some yarn. Should we talk about it now or should we wait for a little bit before we start talking about yarn? Because I have some yarns to talk about. I don't know. What are you guys in the mood for? Are you not awake enough to look at yarns? Is it still, you know, get some coffee and then we can start yarn or... You work in Scratch for dioramas. Scratch? I need to know more about that. I don't know what that is. Part of cleaning. Gonna throw a few posts in your marketplace. Oh, nice. Yes, tonight, Marcus is going live. Sometimes you find me on Marcus's panel. From time to time, that happens. It's a fun place to hang out, for sure. Normally, Denmark is bank holidays Thursday, Friday, Monday. Wow. Yeah, no, the Thursday is only like... Um, half day. It's, it's kind of considered as a Saturday. Friday would be considered as a Sunday. And the Monday is also a Sunday here. And day before a Sunday, you are allowed to work half day. Suzanne wants to see some yarn from my local shop. So, it's not that much variation. There's some different ones. But but this is the store I went to. Rusta. I've been there before. I have made blankets out of yarns from here. I have mentioned them before. Uh, but I think I don't have any of these from before. So, let's... I'm going to get... One of each color for for that, and then I have. So there's two different types of yarn, uh, and there's three colors in one of them. So I got me some some cocoa, and this is cocoa in gray, and then we have a cocoa in white, which the camera is it's blowing up like crazy, uh, and then we have a blue. So, so I got me some cocos in three different colors, and I'm thinking of making something with all of these. I did get three of the white, three of the gray, and four of the blue. Um, this is 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, um, machine wash, cold, lay flat to dry. You can iron it. Uh, and they are recommending a four millimeter crochet hook. So I'm guessing like a two weight would be what I would say that this is. Very soft yarn. But all the information on the label is, it's not very much. We have 122.5 meters and 50 grams each. Made in Turkey. This one is color, num color number. Color number blue, <laughs> and then we have color number white and color number gray. That's that's how inventive they are when um, naming yarns. Yeah, the white really looks crazy because of all the lights. Uh, definitely, uh, uh, like everything thing store. I, I guess it's kind of similar to like a dollar store or they have everything. Christmas decorations when it's Christmas season, Easter decorations, shampoos, um, some snacks, some furniture, dog toys, treats, foods, um, suitcases, laundry baskets, um, fake plants. There's um, some craft stuff also and some like 
workout section like yoga mats and like sports clothes and it's very random what you can find there uh, uh scratch is make buildings and accessory for the kid oh okay so you're making the extra stuff to make the scenery go pretty nice yeah i get that it's always fun to hang out with marcus it's crazy uh, when i join though I, I, I knew that I, I bring the crazy sometimes. You bought a Danish raspberry kringle from Trader Joe's made in Wisconsin to bring to Easter. Raspberry, I like. Yes, that sounds really good. Good morning, Paula Mulford. Good morning, John C. Yes, I'm a little bunny today. Sounds like you're a Vibra, Action, or Zeman. I'm guessing that stores a good dollar tree type store though yeah she'll try to keep it in mind if you go to sweden yes um they do have yarn they do have yarn and this i i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with this i just felt like i i needed some yarn uh but this was also cheap these were five for five dollars so a dollar a piece so i got ten so that's ten dollars um so it's not you know too crazy with that little not discounted type of thing but let's let's go on to the next one because the next one is actually very interesting this yarn i'm gonna just i I, the, I can't stop squeezing you guys this one is really gorgeous so this yarn is named pia made in turkey 100 grams 70 percent acrylic 30 percent polyamide gouache cold and recommended crochet hook size is number 10. No, number 6. Or 6 millimeter. It's fuzzy. And it's green. And it has a lot of colors in it. We have some lavenderish purples. There's some like, I don't know if it's a dusty rose or if it's more of a peachy color. But this is so soft. This is crazy soft and fuzzy. But this is not the only way this color looks uh, inside of here. We have other colors hiding because the other skein has this dark green. It's just like, how fun is this with all the variations going on in these yarns? We do see more of this like creamy um, rose gold, whatever. And then we have the greens and the purples. This is just so cute. And it's so soft. Like, this is definitely, you know, a cardigan would be awesome to make it this. But this was not on discount or anything. So I did get two because I figured that would be enough to make a really cute hat. Uh, even though the season for winter hats is long gone. Um, but maybe for next winter, I will rock this when i go out or i just wait for them to go on sale and buy a cardigan amount maybe i don't know but that's that's what i got uh, mm -mm. you love the snail i have in the background thank you mp that that was the friend of the week two was it last no it wasn't last week was it it might have been last week Hello, Peter Webster, or Lord Peter Webster. Hello, how are you today? You're popping in and throwing some thumbs around. Awesome. So, yeah, this is... I, I really like this. Very enjoyable. Very enjoyable fluffy yarns. Yeah, I'm I'm like I want to sit here and pet them all day, but that's not what I'm going to do because that's that's going to be boring. We we are not going to pet yarn all day. We could, however, take a little closer look up on Snaily because Snaily is a very fun friend of ours. Yes, fuzzy yarns is fun. Not so fun to frog though. I have no idea if that one's going to be um, nice to frog or not. But we got some some cute horny 
outfits and we got the shell with a little bit of an accent color there's a little bit of pops of blue um, in around like the spirally part of the shell so we've got snaily snaily is hanging out on on my big pickle because uh, uh that's fun it's so many jokes to be had about this the giant pickle and, and the big snail but that's also why we now have an eggplant and what i'm making now is gonna also be a part of the produce section um we might make some eggs later it's easter after all should we make some eggs we might beautiful colors thank you very much it's fun to work with the yarns that does half the job a job for you i Maybe it's cheating, I don't know. Um, but I do like the colorful yarns that changes colors. Just like the one I'm working with right now. <laughs> the hammerhead shark is your favorite. But yeah, the hammerhead shark does look like a hammerhead shark, but it did look like something else before it got fins. It did. I'm surprised that there's a few people awake at this hour. I think I started a little bit later last time when I popped up on a Saturday, maybe like an hour or two later than today. And there was a lot of people that like, I just woke up and you're here. I haven't even gotten my coffee yet. So I'm expecting that that might happen today as well, unless people are really busy for Easter and, and just don't have time to hang out here. Or maybe you have all the time in the world. What do I know? What did we say? We said three and then an increase. I think this is this is the last increase round. In Portugal, it's 12.15. Yeah, so you're in the UK, like, same time zone as the UK. And here it's 1.15. So I'm a little bit ahead. I'm really liking how these colors seem to be looking so far. We might even be able to tell what type of vegetable this is with too much of an effort. I am not going to follow the pattern all the way um, because I want it longer. <laughs> Um, it looks like it's a bit shorter in the pattern and I want it longer. So I'm going for a longer one. Same time zone as London, yeah. <laughs> 8.15 in New York and you're still half asleep. Maybe you're still all cuddly in bed then. And can relax a little bit. It is Saturday after all. Did you guys take a look any at the um, thumbnail I put up today? It might have been, you know, oh, she's live. Click on it and, and just, you know, not really pay attention. I felt that it was kind of spot on today with a little bit of like puns and also like a hidden Easter egg type of thing. I thought it was really clever. <laughs> yeah. 
damn regular body alarm. So you could sleep in and you didn't. Then again, I'm here to entertain. Or, or at least try to. I don't know how much of it entertainment this is. But you get to sleep in absolutely wonderful. Awesome. Are you going to be busy crocheting today, Stina? Yeah, sometimes you just need to sleep in. I actually put an alarm clock today, uh, but that was for other reasons. Usually I will probably still be sleeping if I've been up. No, not at this. Now I would be up, but I would definitely be getting up later than what I did. But the family left, so I had to wave them off and they're going to be gone all day and they're doing sleepovers at grandma and grandpa's and I'll be here and just enjoying myself. Good morning, Tina. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. You've been crocheting a bit? Right now you're going through and posting some yarns that you're going to part with on the Facebook marketplace. So I'm guessing you realized when you were sorting your stash that you had either more than you need or stuff that you don't really like or want anymore. Good for you, though. Because if you make some more space, you can always fit some yarn in where you, you know, yarn that you really like better or just, yeah, sell some, buy some new. Do we see the colors in this? It's looking really fun. Thank you, Nightbot, for reminding us to hydrate. Maybe I should have put the the new yarns up there, but you don't really see it. I know that there's space over there. I guess it depends on if I twist and turn once you get to see stuff up there. Scallion. When I hear that, I think about like the really thin... Isn't that like a th really thin onion, like a long and, or is it, hello Molly, good morning, how are you, this fine Saturday morning? A long, thin onion. Yes. Well, congratulations. We're making it. But I thought you guys called it a leek. Like the, I guess, kind of like this thick and like long. We have the like really thin ones also. Um, but they are often like sold in a bunch. And I'm only making one of these. Good morning, Jim. How are you? Nice to see you been a while but then again I know I'm often here when you sleep are you sitting in your man cave building things today or what are you doing Brussels sprouts I probably could do some Brussels sprite bus Brussels sprouts would that be fun though like when we're, we're we got the eggplant we got the giant pickle we got the giant 
snail and all the wet animals. Um, is there naughty puns with Brussels sprouts that I haven't heard of? Please enlighten me. I have both the brothers in the house. Marcus and Drim are brothers. And they're both crazy sweet like me. We're a crazy bunch. The three of us on panel, that, that is uh, a party and a half. <laughs> Spoon! Well, I wasn't... I, I have talked about this. I just didn't know what time I'd be able to pop in here. But I'm going to be here all day. So this is probably going to be like the last Saturday stream where I was here when you went to bed and I was still here when you woke up. Or what was it the other way around? But yeah, that type of thing. I should make a green squash. That could happen. So, speaking of all these, like, fun things that I have, <laughs> Brussels sprouts are <laughs> same sweaty testicles. Um, I got me some, some dangly bits. A and for those who know, uh, they know, uh, I have mentioned these before, but these are custom made for me in my colors, the purple and the black with some gold. So I got some dangly bits that will fit nicely with the Vijay J doily and all of that fun. I did get some other um I I have these also and a ring to go with it as well as a necklace. Can we can we do that maybe? Can we get some good focus? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so I got me some some fun new jewelry. Um, and I kind of feel like these are a bit extra fun. Did not intend to have them match the purple of the bunny ears. Bunny ears was purchased like, I don't know, a few weeks ago. So that was a happy accident, kind of. Minimi has a bunny ears with pink. She wanted pink bunny ears. So, yeah, the, the rabbit hole of having the produce section mayhem and whatnot, like, it just keeps continuing. We, we're, we're down this rabbit hole, and I'm sticking to it. We're going to dig and see how deep we can get. But I do have plans for yellow yarn. Uh, we need to make a carrot. Whatever gonna happen today, I don't know. We're gonna do this one first of all, and then, then we'll see. It's just a relaxing Saturday, and I'm gonna be enjoying it to the fullest extent that I can. Also, it is Easter, so Easter candy is a thing also. Uh, and I do have a little bit of a hunch that my doorbell might ring a few times today because today is a day where I, well, at least the doorbell has already rung once. Um, kids are dressing up as little Easter witches and knocking doors for candy. Kind of like trick or treating, but this is like the Easter version and they do give us like handmade little cards or some little Easter thing. So it's not just, hey, give me candy. It's, hey, here you get something. Happy Easter. And in return, yes, you get candy. So if doorbell happens to make noises, that is most likely what it is. But I do have candy. I am prepared. I have little uh, mini eggs that is wrapped in like metallic-y like a foil, aluminum foil, um, wrapping. So they look like little Easter eggs. Do you guys have any special like Easter foods? Swedish traditions when it comes to holiday foods is pretty much the same for every damn 
um, holiday. It's it's the same. We're very boring, but at the same time, it's like, why break something if it's not broken, I guess? Good morning, Ashley. How are you? Nice to see you. Happy Easter. Traditional foods we eat in Sweden for like all holidays. That is like Christmas, Easter, Midsummer. Um, there's eggs. There's meatballs. There's um, well, if if you're having, if you're into the fishy stuff, not everyone is, but we do have the pickled herring, and to go with the pickled herring, you need schnapps. That is just you don't get either or. It's you get them together. At least that's how I grew up. It was really fun. My stepsister and I, like she wanted the schnapps and I wanted the pickled herring. So to get the pickled herring, I had to take a schnapps and to for her to get a schnapps, she had to eat some pickled herring. My dad was really uh, having a lot of jokes about that. That was, yeah, it was <laughs> so much fun that we were really seeing it in different ways. <laughs> Last night, your church had good Friday service. Nice. Did you have a good time over there? eggs and you're having the herring and salmon yeah salmon is also a very eastery type of food happy easter sunflowers how are you today nice to see you hope you're having a good easter even though it might just be starting for for most of us lamb ham and eggs yes lamb is something that is popular for easter here um not something that is very common in my family though I haven't had much of that, but I do have all the pickled herrings. Yes, I do like that. That is my thing for Easter. I'm not a fan of the eggs. It's usually, I'm guessing you do the more like deviled eggs. Um, we boiled the eggs and cut them into halves and then you can take like a a little dollop of mayonnaise and a freshly um, peeled shrimp on top of that or caviar. That is probably the more common ways to serve eggs for Easter, Christmas, and Midsummer. You had a great time? Nice, Ashley. Nice. So for everyone that just came in, what are you your Easter plans? And uh, are you going to be able to crochet some? Or is it cooking and family time? What is, um, what is your plans for this fine Saturday? We do have great weather today. And I'm sitting here inside. Not sad about it. I'm sitting here and hanging out with you guys. So I do not mind that I'm missing out on the sun today. It's all good. Lamb roast in the oven. Other than that, eggs. That's the most Easter you get. Easter bread. Hmm. What would be special for an Easter bread compared to any other bread? Czech manazek. Is that the bread? Tomorrow we're going to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> How do you celebrate that, Ashley? I do know people celebrate differently in, in different places. We're getting somewhere. It feels like this is a decent size or thickness, right? Definitely going to look good when it's when it's a little bit bigger. I'm definitely liking the colors. You guys can't really see it. Should I sit more like this? Or should I? I don't know. Is my... No, my name tag thingy isn't in the way. It's been a while since I tried to use my phone as like a, an extra camera. 
but the battery on my phone is just it's not good anymore so I can only use it for like short amounts of times unfortunately I do like it when we're doing the scrap basket and I do change my main camera to so that you can see what I'm doing it just feels like it's a bit I don't know not the best angle at all times but for scrap basket yes or would you want me to like have it like that more so you get to see what I'm working on when I'm working on stuff? I don't know. You let me know what you think. Because we can definitely do that. Seems like more and more people are waking up. We're seeing more and more people dropping in. And there has definitely been people passing by. We have more thumbs up than we have people in the house. Thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. Both ways are good. It's nice to see my headbands. <laughs> yeah, we got some some really fun ones today. They're very like crinkly. And then there's like a big plastic stick or something in here. I kind of wish it was metal so that I could fold it because I thought that would be cute to have like one ear tip folded. But that wasn't possible. I guess maybe I could take like the tip like this and maybe like sew a stitch or so. But that feels like it would be too much work for something that might not be the cutest. I think I would want to like fold it further down. Not just the little tip. I did have something cross my mind. What was it that crossed my mind? Oh, right. With all the people that is hanging out and doing whatever they're doing, we, we should say hi to the people in the scrap basket. Yay. But I also need to thank my awesome members. You guys are awesome, just so you know. I like my little dancy bits. We need them more often. I do not use them often enough and i appreciate everyone for stopping by and giving a thumbs up and just hanging out with me i'm not gonna have any easter foods this easter i think i didn't get anything i got some easy stuff that i can eat when I'm hanging out with you guys. It won't take me more than a few minutes to sort out the cooking bar a bit of it. And then I can kind of eat fairly fast. So I figured that would be a good way to deal with things today. I don't feel like cooking. I feel like cooking. No cooking. So that's what we're doing. I will go back to some animals at some point also. There's a few things we need to add to the animal collection. We did talk about that last week or last weekend. Some of the animals that is missing. 
But then we got chaos in the veggie aisle. Um, so, am I trying to clean it up? I don't know. Am I going to make it worse? Most likely. I felt like this one would be kind of a fast make, but with this thin yarn and this small hook, I want to say this is, you know, an 8.4 cotton, 2 weight, and 2 millimeter crochet hook. It does take a little longer than you expect. It's the same hook size I used for the eggplant. And that took, it took some hours, but it does really look good. What type of weather am I missing out on by hanging out with you guys? Partly cloudy. 49 degrees Fahrenheit, 9 degrees Celsius, and wind from west, southwest. It's kind of windy. You can definitely feel the wind here when you go outside because there's open fields. So there's always more windier than in other places. Oh, and no good news about the the apartment that I was hoping to get. I haven't looked, um, but I do know that the person that was before me in in the queue did get um, well to the next step in the process. Uh, still, no papers signed, so there might still be a chance for me to to get it, but I I don't think so. Um, the apartment was a little bit too good to be true kind of thing. It's like a, a neighborhood that rarely has anything um, available. People like to stay there for a long time because it's a safe neighborhood. And it was just a lot. It ticked a lot of boxes. So, But it also apparently was good for someone else. The only thing with it was that there was no viewing of it. So it was like signed contract unseen, um, which I, I, I would be willing to do that. It was just, everything looked good. So I just don't think I'm going to get it. It's a bummer, though, that I have been collecting points for all these years, and I got number two on this one, and the other person had three months more of points. It just sucks when it's that close to getting something. It was just too close. You're going now, MP. You're going to have lunch with your sister. Happy Easter, and take care. Oh, um... Speaking of foods, guys, is there any special, like, Easter desserts or, you know, th that type of thing? Like, not food foods, but, like, dessert foods? How are we... How are we celebrating in that way? Do we have any special Easter cakes or something? I don't... I don't think we do. For Christmas, we have some special stuff that's very Christmas related. For Easter, do we have anything special for Easter? There might be something. I'm just not thinking of it. A lot of chocolates. That feels like it's Easter. 
chocolate eggs and hmm. I had such good time last last Sunday. We were laughing so hard. My stomach was hurting for quite some days after all the laughing. All my ab workout for a week was definitely taken care of. And I did realize at that point that I am never going to be using mascara when I'm going to do lives. Because I would have looked like a raccoon in just a short bit if things were like they were that live stream for sure. So that will probably be something you will ever, never, ever see again. Most likely. Because if there's a risk of me laughing like I did, I will. <laughs> Chocolate cream pie. Is that Eastery? <sighs> Stupid hair. I did deal with it a little bit today. But it's still annoying. I can't think of any like specially Eastery desserts. Drim, Marcus, do you have any? What live stream was that? I do believe I I, I renamed it to something with like a lot of laughs. Um, but it's very, very recent one. But hello, Adventures with Beth. How are you today? There was just so many laughs. Um, we have fruity and fresh and white fruits. Oh. You're talking about the cakes, the, the fruit cakes. You won't mention any vegetables, especially pickles. Well, we're, we're going down the more inappropriate vegetables here we're we're doing a leek or scallion or whatever like a long long one and, and we do have my giant pickle but now we also have the eggplant because eggplant emojis is a thing yeah and this one has a little it almost it almost looks like a nipple it's a little bit more pointy or maybe it's a very cold one um yeah <laughs> like it wasn't bad enough with an eggplant we're also seeing uh, other bits and pieces in it. Yes, lovely. <laughs> the Swinglish, yes, <laughs> the Swinglish. Let's let's get back to that. White chocolate and lemon cream or lime cheesecake with passion fruit. Um, Mudding, Swiss. That's. That's a good one, though. I do not know if we have a good translation for that. If it had been, like, the meringue and, like, veg uh, fruits, it would be, like, what is it, pavlova? You may have been the one to bring in the zucchini to it. Whipped eggs to oblivion, yes. <laughs> Well, then I do have, we have all the um, agencies we have. What was it? We had EMS, uh, Eggplant Mediation Service. We have CIA, that's like Carrot Implant Agency. There's, you never know who's going to pop up in the chat. You think a good vegetable would be a big cucumber with two sprouts attached <laughs> to one end? Well, my pickle is big. It's technically a big cucumber. And I have laughs. Well, bananas and pajamas. We do have, we have yellow. We can make a banana. The agencies were hilarious. Yes. I know agencies are probably sleeping right now. I would not be surprised if they come later. They they know where to find us. 
I'm just saying. I would be surprised if they didn't show up at this point. Honestly. But I do believe that my new earrings are really the icing on the cake here. Bananas working on Beach 2024 in Mankinis. Hello, Bonnie. What I'm doing? I, I'm doing this. It's going to be uh, uh, another vegetable. <laughs> We're working on a new vegetable to hang out with the eggplant and the pickle. How are you today, Bonnie? Are you up early? Are you going to be working today? Or do you get to hang out for a bit? But I have plenty of coffee. I have plenty of snacks. I, I am good to go. I can be here. I can be here all day and then some. So I might even be here when you get back home, Bonnie. Yep. Unless I just decide to not. But I, I, I'm feeling like I want to hang out. So we're going to be here. Can we break the record of 13 hours maybe yes happy easter beth awesome awesome very happy easter but i don't want to work on this all day we're gonna do this for a little bit longer and then we're gonna switch and we might be getting back to this one later I think. I guess it depends on how long it's going to take me. Now it's just speeding around single crochets. I think I have like 30 stitches per row or something like that. You should be asleep. You just did an eight and a half, eight and a half hour live auction. You're exhausted. You did the auction? What were you selling? Or you participated in some other way? This is a good way to like wind down and relax though. You can just hang out until you fall asleep. And you can fall asleep in the scrap basket. It's nice and cozy over there. It must be since a lot of people like to hang out there. You were up till like one in the morning with China and Jessica. Yep, Jessica was awake when I got up this morning. And she's like, what are you doing up this early? I was like, I told you I'll be up because I'm going to do a, a live stream early. Uh, and then I guess she went to bed before I started. So let's hope she gets some rest and she'll be here later. Definitely not surprised that you're up late. Those girls can be up very late. <laughs> very corruptive. You do sell and keep track for others that are selling too. Oh, that's nice. Was it anything like in particular that was sold? Like a theme or, or like a certain type of items or is it a mix? What might happen on, in the auction? Is it like all handmade stuff or... Something totally different. There seems to be a couple of people that likes to do auctions for their makes. I have been thinking if that would be a good way to to sell some of my stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a good way to... Or would it be better to just, like, post the stuff on my website? So people can browse in peace and quiet. I did get some items salt after last week's live and I did get some new commissions I have already made one um, it's waiting to be shipped 
and I will not share any pictures of what I did until it's delivered because it's partially a surprise even for the person that is receiving it. Um, so we're keeping that for a bit. I will share when the time is right, when, when I can. Mine, most of your stuff is crafted, but not always. Okay. Do you do a mix of crafts or is it more one thing than any other? There's a bunch of people here that likes to do all sorts of crafts. There's fibers and, and some are like dyeing yarn and spinning yarn or fibers as well as crocheting or knitting. And then we have all the paper crafters and the woodworkers and there's uh, crafts to be, you know, with the scale models builders and all their airbrush painting and yeah there's a lot of things that could be considered a craft and there's a way um, bigger mix of people here with all the different things we like to do you do almost everything you have boxing invoicing and shipping ahead of you now well that is good though because that means you sold some stuff and made space to make new things and get yourself some more supplies so you can make more stuff. There we go. Oh, the colors are looking so cute. With the amount of yarn I have, I'm probably able to make more than I thought. I don't think there's going to be... Maybe I can, like, make two from each skein, depending on how tall I make them. The stripy cucumber. <laughs> Now we're doing uh, the the onion and uh, the the leek because it's long, long and and thinner than some of the other ones. The eggplant is more short and, and chubby. Tax season, so most of it's going to pay taxes. Yeah, that is not fun. I did get back taxed this year. It sucks. I need to figure out how to sort that and some other things. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? It could be, Quano. It could be. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm doing, Drim. In Sweden, we say Puriodok. Tank is ready to face the world. Good morning, sweetie. I do know you were hanging out from the bed for quite some time, but uh, that you were here. But it's nice to see that you have stretched enough to uh, wake up and come and say hi. Your pillow is looking for your head. Well, you have been busy, and I'm guessing um, bed would be your next step. Just in time for Tank to maybe move her head away from the pillow. You're taking turns. Awesome. Tank, are you having some special foods for Easter?
You had to make a different half for your Imkin? You didn't like the one you did first? Or do you want to be able to switch depending on mood or something? Yeah, you go switch with the tank. <laughs> How are your eyes today, Tank? The allergy is still messing with you badly. Oh, you have Easter communion? And I'm guessing John's going to be spending half the day, or majority of the day, playing with his wood. You're going to dream of boxes? Oh, the boxes you're going to be shipping out. <laughs> I was like, what type of boxes are we going to be dreaming of? Did we talk about boxes? But yeah, you have stuff to ship. So I'm guessing a lot of that is going into boxes or something else to be shipped. Oh, the first one was too big. The Imkin hat. So that means you have a bigger hat that you need to make a bigger Imkin for. And then you make a smaller hat for the one that you already had. Is there such thing as too big? When it comes to Imkin hats. I know what Quano was thinking there for a sec. Uh, out of town, went to the big city. Family, friends to see. So you will be back home in your sh wood shop when? When will you be, like, did you have any lives that you're not going to do because you're out of town? Or are you going to be doing your regular thing? Or what's what's going on? Go back Sunday night. Tank, are you going to make all the Imkins? Like in the book? Or are you just going to make... Um, a bunch of different ones, but like not all of them? Or what's the plan? Good morning, Michelle! You're lurking in the scrap basket. Yes, you should. Are you also lurking in the Zooms? Say hi to everyone in there if there's anyone there. I know Carrie was in here for a bit. Don't know if she has found her way over there yet. I'm guessing she might have. Thanks to all the lurkers. No lives to find out that StreamYard works, but no access to start a live from the phone. You should be able to. There's a bunch of people that only use this phone and StreamYard. So you should be able to do that. There's only about one million different ways to make the Imkins. Yes, uh, I do believe you. You said that there was a lot of flexibility with those things. I'm just thinking like one of each of whatever they have. Um, because there was the different body types and, and different hats and different accessories so that you have like at least one of each of the things. However you mix and match it is, is a different story, but at least do everything once from the book. Oh, you like certain ones. So that means you're going to do them first and maybe you'll be tired with the Imkins after that. I did not expect to make all these vegetables and animals and stuff because I'm not that much into the 
and megaroomies, but here I am. We're making them. Probably just like one of each, because that's all, all the fun I'll have. Second sock syndrome is definitely a real thing over here. I do not do a lot of things twice. But we are doing an Easter egg today. Perhaps we could do that one in a different color. To look good next to the pink colorful dots type of color that the pink egg happy easter michelle we get to dance thank you so much Happy Easter and, and all the chickens and the bunnies matching good with my bunny ears today. I am happy that I got, I managed to keep these for myself. Um, I did get a pair from Minnie Me and she picked the colors both for her and me. Hers is pink. And it's, um, she's been like, mom, can I have it? Can I have it? And I'm I was like, nope, I want to at least wear it for Easter before you try to break it. <laughs> she has been breaking things lately. Quite a lot of it. Happy Easter to Tracy. You bought 20 lead light kits for at least 20 Imkins. You're going to put lead lights on your Imkins? Good morning, Jonathan. Happy Easter. How are you today? I saw you were out driving earlier. I was dealing with shower and stuff at that point. And breakfast and getting mini me into clothes and stuff because apparently you need to have that when you're walking out the door when it's cold she does not like that <laughs> always a fight to put kids on uh, clothes on kids why is that they want to go out so bad but they don't want to put clothes on so that they can more like yeah get out faster with less arguments, things would happen faster. You'd get to go outside without... But all the fights. All the fights. You're at work today. So you're not really celebrating Easter until after work? Oh, okay, so you have the lights to illuminate them when they're in jars. Oh, that makes sense. That's cute. That that will be, like, very highlight feature-esque. Sounds cute. It's going to be fun to put the leaves on this. Um, everything is kind of made in the same... I don't know, there's, there's no additional sewing. There's a few rounds where you should do back loop only. And then the, the top leaves will be made in the front loops. So... 
that's the type of patterns I like where there's no extra, like make this, make that, sew them together. Here we're making a long stem. And then we're just crocheting the leaves onto them. Should probably start stuffing this soon so that I can get into the to the bottom of this one without too much effort. I don't very often stuff as I go, but since this one is going to be very long and slim, we might just as well. Yeah, I should get some stuff into this one. Let's move some stuff away. I didn't feel like I had very much like Easter e clothing, <laughs> but I haven't had this one. I don't think you've seen this one. It's full of pineapples. I figured that one's going to be working nicely with the mess in the vegetable aisle. Feeling a bit fruity with pineapples. You sent another picture. Let's take a look at the pictures in a few. Okay, we got a good, good stuffed part. Now I can continue and stuff some more in a bit. One of the downsides also that I don't really like when I do stuff as I go, is that the crochet hook usually gets stuck some in the stuffing and pulls it left, right, and center where I don't need it. Trying to avoid that from happening. You never heard of the Imkins before, crocheters? Are they just imagined characters or are they from a book or story? I have no idea either. I did not uh, know about the Imkins before everyone started to talk in about that book. I do think that 
I don't think that all of like them are totally new in a way. Like the the style of characters have been made before. Maybe not just like they are in the book. But I have seen a lot of people making their own versions also. So not everyone is making them from the patterns. But little men with mushroom cap hats. Or little characters. That is not new. I've seen that before. Is it a play on words? The imp part? Like, imps have been talked about for ages. Like, that's not a new word. But impkins? Friends of imps? Or how would you translate that? Family of imps? Impkins. Maybe Tank can elaborate? But the book, is that one new re newly released? Or has it been around for a while that it just became popular now? I realize that my Tunisian cardigan has been very, like, forgotten. <laughs> Have not done anything on that for quite some time now. Legend has it they are woodland characters that cause mayhem. That's why you'll keep them in jars locked in. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I definitely like that you're putting them in jars for a reason that have to do with chaos and stuff. Uh, that means I should get, like, a bunch of them. They will fit in the mayhem that is the veggie aisle and produce section. Yep, that's where, at least if I have a couple of impkins, I can blame it on them. Now I don't have anyone else to blame. I just have to, like, sit here and um, agree that I might be guilty, right? But if I have impkins, I blame it on them. So how many would I need to to be able to have enough to put the blame on so you guys think I'm innocent? Would five be enough? Or is, is it not enough for the level of mischievous mayhem Corruption and all of what not that happens here. <laughs> you learned that a lot of young crocheters make any anime characters. That is also um, popular. And the Pokemons. There's quite some Pokemon crochet patterns out there. It's growing. At least I have come a few rounds now from where the stuffing is at. So it doesn't feel like I'm pulling too much stuffing with the hook. So that's good. 
As I said, I do not like that. That's the only like pet peeve of stuffing as you go. But some patterns just requires it. And also like at the end of a make where you have to like close the the end hole. Yeah, that didn't sound bad at all, right? Um, closing the project up. You will have so few stitches to work with. But you also want to make sure that it's nicely stuffed. So, of course, the hook is going to be getting stuck in fluffy stuff. An imp is a European myth mythological being similar to the fairy or demon, frequently described in folklore and superstition. The word may perhaps derive from that. Hmm. Good morning, Moonrose. How are you? Happy Easter. Good morning. ABD is in the house. How are you? Did you sleep well? Are you still nice and snug in bed uh, or did you get up and get some coffee or something i have plenty of coffee and i have plenty of fun to be had today we're making um an onion or leek scallion we're we're making it in uh, green and white because i have yarn that changes colors which is really blown out of we do see the colors a bit, but that's what we're playing with today. Hopefully we will be able to see what it is once it's finished. Even though I don't have all the fancy colors that should be going into it. Then again, I might put eyes on this one and then it won't look like it. Um, that anyway, right? Look who wake up. Snug in bed. You got the pups out. And then you ran back into bed. To snuggle under the covers. That seems like um, a nice way to spend your Saturday morning. And for the people recently waking up. And, and popping in here. We do have a new friend hanging out over here. We have the friend of the week, the eggplant. And then I got me some dangly bits. I got I got me some dangly earrings um, that some might think look like something else. And that's because they are something. Um, it's dangly bits. Dangly bit earrings. Why is my hair in the way? My hair is being stupid. Can we keep the hair out of it? Yep. Got myself all pretty for Easter. With new earrings. I did put the link in to the jewelry maker that made these. Uh, the Instagram account is in the description box. It is my neighbor. And I did just walk over to her place to pick them up yesterday. Rosie Posey just finished getting groceries and heading home. Feels good to have all the shopping done. Feel even better when it's all put away. I feel you. I feel you. In honor of our friend of the week, we are throwing the eggplant emoji and thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this... This one that I'm making now, it's a bonus friend of the week. Since we are technically not on the Sunday live, where we do talk about the friends of the week. But it's all good. We can have two friends of the week tomorrow. It's Easter.
says we have a couple of new people waking up. What's the plans for the Easter? Um, anything fun on your hooks for those who crochet? Um, and if you don't crochet, what are you doing? I have coffee and plenty of it, as well as some water at the moment. I haven't been drinking that though. Maybe I should. Because I do talk a lot and I do get a uh, dry mouth when I do so. So it's still really early for most of you, right? And still some of you got to sleep in even. And still got up early. In a way I feel sorry for you that wanted to sleep in more but just couldn't. We, we did hear some wasn't able to sleep as long as they wanted to. Nine twenty-three a.m. So you should have had some breakfast by now. Eight twenty-four. Yeah, that's. It's not really early. Nine thirty. Almost ten thirty. Yeah. Some of you have been up for a little bit. I have been up since, I did get up like 9.30 today, yeah, 9.30, 9.45 maybe, but we're at 2.25 a.m. now, so I have been up for a bit. And there were still people in the YouTube streets that had not gone to bed at that point. I hope they are sleeping now though. Oh, okay, you guys, I had a crappy week. I, I had a crappy meeting this week. I did, I did get to the point where I felt bad for myself and did some retail shopping. We have some yarn to look at. Well, especially one that I really want to share with you guys. The other stuff is not that interesting. I did get three of the same yarn, which isn't that much fun. It's cotton acrylic blend in blue, gray, and white. It's like a two weight cotton acrylic mix. Nothing fancy. Uh, but what I did get that I'm really excited about is this. Do we not just love this? It's fluffy. It's minty green with dark green. There's some purple and some like dusty rose type of colors. I I want this like in a cardigan quantity, but it was not on sale. And, and I just like retail shopping was needed f after the crappy week I had. So I did get this and this is acrylic and 70% acrylic and 30% polyamide. It's so freaking soft. If I don't get a cardigan amount of this, I will definitely make like a hat or something. But it's so funny. I do believe that this is going to be a pain in the behind to frog. <laughs> Bonus of sleeping by yourself. Maybe you should have said sleeping alone. Your brain is not awake yet. But you do have your dogs also. They might be messing with you when you're sleeping. This is just so soft. It is so soft. Like just the squeezing this yarn. It's. I don't know if I have anything that is this soft. Definitely not like a scratchy anyway. Shape or form type of yarn. But it's going to be terrible. If it needs to be frogged. 
the fluff is it looked like the fluff is a string by itself it is okay let's can we deconstruct it here this fluffy part it's kind of like a chain spun this is a chain spun something and then we do have the actual yarn being two strands twisted together a darker and a lighter color and fluff separate that's interesting i do not believe i've seen anything like this before let me know if you recognize um it as like not maybe this yarn in particular but like the style of it have anyone seen anything like it more coffee they don't count you can ignore them well most of the time so let's let's just for for time being we're putting them over here even though we don't see them very often but if anyone is curious because there might be people coming in later i can easily show them the new stuff it's over there hey, can i sit like this for a bit I am so not used to having dangly bits in my ears. I do have um, just little like uh, it's kind of like regular piercing earrings. The um, like any other type of piercing. Um, a rod with with a screwable little um, ball on each end. And I have them all the time. They are always in my ears. I have taken them out a few times. And that was like. In the hospital pretty much. That's the only time I take them out. For like x-rays and whatnot. Where you're not allowed to have. Jewelry or metal. Only time I have to take them out since they're always there. They're still in um, the little the little ball up here is my my regular earring. So I just put the the new ones in together with it. It's very annoying to unscrew the little screws. And try to get them back also. So I don't take them out unless I really, really need to. Then again, they never fall out. They're just where they are. Not going anywhere. You had to eat something. What did you eat? Did you get all fat and sassy now? I did get a lot of, well, I did. I have been getting questions from time to time about my nails. And now when the nail polish is off, um, this is my natural nails. With the broken nails on those two. And kind of a little bit of, um, um, yeah, the nail polish stained Yeah, no, I don't have two piercing. I have one one piercing hole in each ear. You got some ribs and salad. Happy Easter, Jessica. Did you sleep any at all? In the recliner with Birdie or or um How how was your sleep? I hope you had some good sleep even though you were still up when I got up. You have not slept enough. No. No, you cannot have slept enough. Happy Easter, Katrine. How are you? How are you this this Easter? What are your plans? What are you guys doing? I see more people waking up.
Katrina, are you working today? Uh, you said that you had like a very flexible schedule. Or are you going to be able to hang out and just enjoy Easter? Or anyone else that matter? Is there anyone working today? Jonathan was talking about that he's at work today. So there is not all having a lazy Easter. And we have started a, a new vegetable. Would it be considered a vegetable? It's... I think it's a vegetable. What else would it be if it's not a vegetable? It's not a fruit. But when... the Yeah, onions is vegetables, right? And this is a type of onion. You have a quiet weekend after the craziness that was last weekend. They just got back from their honeymoon last night. Oh, nice. Yeah, you had quite some stuff to do last weekend with wedding and whatnot. So I bet you're enjoying that you're just able to relax this weekend. The earrings I was trying to describe you call studs. Isn't studs, though, where you have, like, something on the front and, and um, like, this on the back, like, uh, like a backing thingy or something like that? Because I have a rod with a twisty screws on each side. But, yeah, that's the other ones I got. And they have the, this, like, hooky type of thing that's that's what i have on the ones that i'm wearing also these ones are gold though uh, and on this one is silvery studs are just post and back yeah but this one doesn't have a backing i don't know if we can see that uh, maybe we should remove well we can take a closer look on this one but i have a, a volleyball uh, and then i have one on the back side just like any it's not supposed to be in ears, I guess. It's more for, can we see anything at all here with hair? It's just a straight piercing. So you call these studs also? Cool. And then we can do a close-up. Where do we have the card? So we can have, we have backing on this. So this is what they look like. The ones I'm rocking right now. Onions are tuber vegetables. So yes, they are veggies. So we're still in the vegetable aisle. But we did not have an agency for the leeks or onions. Balbar with, yeah. You're waiting. What are we waiting for? Oh, you're, oh. I got it. We're we're waiting for for backup. Oh, it's a little tricky since I have the other one. Need to fit them into the same hole. There we go. I did wear these yesterday for quite some time just to get used to having dangly bits <laughs> in my ears. But we also have a pretty ring. And as I said earlier, these are custom made for me with the colors of my logo. But I did also put the link to the person making these in the description box. She is on Instagram. She is in Sweden. She is my neighbor and she is awesome. And also, if you are curious of other things, she does not only do jewelry. Uh, her Instagram is full of very like body positive type of vibes and there's a lot of um, lightly dressed uh, women that just really shows what a real woman body looks like with scars and 
shapes and, and all of it. It's um, very interesting <laughs> to see the reactions I get when I've been showing. Because I've been talking about her and showing her Instagram to quite a lot of people. Um, not in my lives, but behind the scenes. And I guess nudity isn't as well um, acceptable, uh, I guess, or accepted in all parts of the world. In Sweden, we are very like free-minded, free-spirited, and and that will show on her Instagram. So, if you're not into seeing what bodies actually look like, and not the supermodels, and not the Photoshop stuff. Um, yeah, I'm um, just a fair warning. So you don't get totally like, what is this? Uh, and it's all good. It's all good. Hopefully you should only marry once. Might as well enjoy it. Yes, we keep our fingers crossed. You've had three holes in each ear since you were 10. <laughs> Hashtag dangly bits. Yes. Is there no aromatic vegetable department? <laughs> AVD? Nothing more romantic. The garlic hedonistic. <laughs> Nothing is more romantic than an actual beef heart. Real humans are not airbrushed to perfection. Very true. Very true. Yeah, so fun story. I went over to her place yesterday to pick my earrings up. Uh, and she was going to have Easter lunch with her family yesterday. So I was just like hurrying to get there before she had all the people coming over. So when I knocked on her door, her brother opened because he had already arrived. And she's like, oh, I'll be there in a few. Um, she had just got out of the shower. And uh, so she's like, let me just get decent first. It's like, yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Uh, no hurry. And then today, I did have the doorbell ring with the um, some Easter Easter dressed kids um, doing the traditional Happy Easter, um, kind of like Halloween type of thing here. But we get Happy Easter with little cards or something that the kids make. So we're trading cards for candy, pretty much. So I just came out of the shower and it was not decent when the doorbell rang. And it was one of her kids. So that was a fun coincidence, I guess. Um, yeah, that I, I had some giggles about that. That, you know, when I get to her place, she's just out of the shower. And then her kid comes here the day after. And I just came out of the shower. Yeah, perfect timing and stuff. Hello, Michi. Happy Easter. How are you doing? Do you have any fun Easter plans? It's growing. I did stuff part of it already. Since stuffing as I go will be needed to get all the way down to the roots we will be adding roots also So would you guys wear something like the earrings I have or would that be totally crazy to you? And some may not be able to see what they actually look like. I'm guessing because of the colors, um, they do kind of hide a little bit what they are. Um, 
But they're vajayjays. Yes, I do have me some vajayjay earrings. She does call them vulva earrings, though, when she talks about them on her Instagram. No plans, just resting. You have a funeral Monday. Yeah, then you need to rest and prepare for that. <laughs> you wouldn't wear the earrings. It's too bit artsy for you. Definitely not for everyone. Would this be more... more acceptable or would this be even worse because this one you do actually see what it is some people probably think it's too much they are quite big also like both of these are quite big you stopped wearing earrings that dangled years ago they're in your way at work totally get that i usually don't have it i have my my regular ones and i've had them forever um, I bought them as a birthday present for myself when I was 15. I have been having, uh, well, using other things back and forth, but I keep going back to these ones as the daily wearing earrings. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Broccoli. How are you? Have you been lurking for a little bit or did you just appear? Now when we're doing, um, talking about dangly bits. Depending on where you're going or who you're going to be around, you, you'd wear them. Yeah, the thing with that my friend is showing, it's okay with your body. Yep. Everyone looks differently, and we should not be ashamed of what we look like, as long as we're comfortable in our own bodies. She has a few um, fun Christmas calendars. I really love the one where you uh, she uses Santa hats very... Um, very inspiring. <laughs> the circle above the cross the feminine symbol you'd wear that yeah you haven't had for 30 years pierced ears or what have you had in 30 years dream you have a great easter john nice to see you <laughs> you're going to get your nails done today that is nice and getting uh, fixed before prom that yeah prom next week you have some stuff to do then i did do uh get rid of my nail polish now we have natural nails with nothing just um nail polish stained nails this is what they look like since people have been curious to whether it's my nails or not and now you get to see it it's my nails just not very well manicured today. And I'm probably going to shorten them all down since both of these are short and all the other nails are long. You loved seeing the pregnant woman at the beach. Yeah, it's, she has some really good photo skills. Who knows, maybe I will be in one of the pictures on her Instagram at some point. Could definitely happen. Oh yeah, pierced ears. You haven't had pierced ears in 30 years? Was it your thing? You plan on giving yourself a manicure sometime today. That is awesome. I should have taken the time yesterday I didn't have the time 
Michi has been a member for three months. Has it been that long? I really appreciate that one. This is for you, Michi. Happy Easter and stay safe. Yes, that sounds like really, really good advice. Stay safe. Traffic over Easter is not fun. So let's hope that not all of you needs to go out in the Easter traffic. You need a pedicure? Same. Same. I have not bothered about my toenails for, for uh, some time now. We get to dance for Tank. Thank you very much. We get to dance again. It ran out. <laughs> Your feet are soaking in footpath. As you type, that sounds nice. You're hanging out here. Do you have any like nice snacks or coffee or just breakfast or something as you do that? Sounds like you're having a little bit of a spoil spoil yourself morning. <laughs> Jessica, we get to dance again. We're, we're having a party. We're having a dance party this Easter. Thank you so much. I know Jessica was not happy that she couldn't play with her frogs anymore. She did um, really get upset about that before. She do like the frogs. And that's why the frog over here is named Jessica. Because Jessica loves frogs. So it wasn't more than right. that that We have Jessica the frog and Elvis the turtle. We need some new friends and we need some new names you missed the froggies <sighs> you have an appointment every two weeks nails and pedicure that's your treat yourself time standing appointment yeah sometimes that is just what you need i don't remember the last time i had someone else do anything I. I do all of it myself. I cut my hair, I color my hair, I paint my nails, and my feet are now neglected because I haven't done anything at all. I haven't cared about them for I don't even know how long. I need a tankster character, but what does the tankster character look like? You have the sunflowers in your picture. What do we need for for emoji or or um, over here? Like, a, what would that be? What would the tankster character? I did get some yarnicorns for Bonnie. The emojis. You're heading out now, Michi. Enjoy and have a great Easter. Whatever you're going to be doing. You have coffee and some fruit to go with that foot bath of yours. Yep, keep spoiling yourself. Yeah, <laughs> do it yourself. Mara did a little sea turtle. And called it Tank. Should I make this leak life size? Like lengthwise? I usually, when I get them at the store, they're like this long. Is that what we're aiming for? A life size? Because I do have this and one more. 
So I could definitely do a life size and don't think I have to worry about the yarn not being enough. You give yourself pedicure all the time. Diabetic foot care is a priority. Will I do the greens? Are you talking about the top of the leak? Or, or what type of greens? We're doing it all in this color. Like I did the snail all in the pinkish color. So it will have the leafy bits um, also at the top. And then we need to attach roots at the bottom. So it gets a little fuzzy. Rooty thing. Even though the colors are not life colors or true, true to color. But we're going to do it as anatomically correct as we can. <laughs> life-size leak seems reasonable <laughs> yes that's what i was thinking tankster could it be a cute otter mm. let's let's think about you keep getting ads and then the live is really sped up so i'm talking like our cartoon <laughs> it's really weird they do that? I had no idea. I'm guessing it's for you to catch up to what you might have missed when the ads come. I've never seen that before. Is that a new setting? Has anyone else had that? When they get ads afterwards, it's faster speed? Hmm. Well, I have plenty cartoony stuff here, so... Kind of appropriate in a way. Maybe add a strand of dark green from the scraps to the top leaves. I don't have that much though. And maybe not a green that is a dark green. It's better than just missing a part of the life. <laughs> True. We do have the um, the green that you guys seem to be liking a lot. That has been in the scrap basket quite a lot. I did take scraps to make the leafy bits on this eggplant, which also looks like like a very cold nipple. It's really um, stiff. <laughs> so we got a booby eggplant. Even when I saw that, I was like, "There's." All my makes are inappropriate in one way or another or corrupted or however you look at it. But that one has like a dual personality. It's an eggplant with parts boob. I love myself when I see stuff like that because I cannot unsee it. And there's plenty of giggles to be had about it. Okay, first cup of coffee finished. I, I did come prepared. I have more coffee and, and mini thermoses. So I don't have to leave for quite some time to get anything else. And I have two of these. And also spill proof. The purple pickle has a nipple. <laughs> Enjoy. All I can say. Easter special. Corrupting vegetables. But we will also be adding fruits to this to make this even worse. Sent a picture of an otter and a hedgehog. Yes, you've been sending a lot of pictures. The thing is, I haven't had Facebook up in the background because Facebook up in the background is messing with things. So, mm -mm -mm. let's go and take a look at what we have. Mm 
Mm -mm. Let's see where I can find it. We have a picture of Impkin. Is that with the too big hat or is it with the, the right size hat? It's cute. And with the red and white, I'm feeling like Christmassy vibes from this one. Because I do see, it looks like you have another hat in the background here. Is that the, that's the too big one. And this is the right size one. Good morning, Thrifty Crocheter. Welcome in. I do not believe I have seen you here before. How are you today? Happy Easter. Are you doing anything fun for Easter? This is not an impkin, but a hillbilly in a jar. So that is what you're planning to do with the impkins that you're going to do like you did with this one. Because I'm guessing you made this. It's got cute feet. This one looks cute. But would you say it's a hillbilly? I think it looks a little bit of like a troll. Do you have a pattern for that? I love the feet. I might need to make something with feet like that. Just saying, those toes, those toes, very cute. Does it have a butterfly in its hand, a blue butterfly? Definitely a troll. <laughs> we need to make one of them for Brett and, and give him something to, to hit it with. <laughs> for the times where he need to whack a troll. He can sit and, and practice on that one. <laughs> right? Was there any other pictures that I'm missing? I'm seeing pictures in different places. Blue butterfly and a sunflower for a hat. Mima, hello. Happy Easter. How are you? Yes, I'm not the only one that loves the toes. Suzanne also loves the toes. Definitely a troll. It's a cute type of troll, though. You said you sent a picture of an otter and a hedgehog. Where did you send them? I did not see them. I did not find that because you sent pictures in, in different chats. Uh, uh, um. We do have the troll over there. And then... Or did you put them on the on the Facebook group, maybe? No new members in the Facebook group right this minute. Nope. Um, I don't find it. Oh, you forgot to push the sun button. That makes that makes a little bit of a difference. Let's scroll through the chat here because there's a lot of things going on here. I don't want to miss out on anything. Don't forget to hit the like button. Otter and Hedgehog. Hello, Zach. Happy Easter. Mima's going to be lurking in the background working on finishing a blanket for the gift. Well, you hang out in the scrap basket. Uh, and while you do that, I will be looking for pictures to show. I think I found the pictures. But it was loading. Yes. Oh, that's cute. I did see that there was some otter patterns on Hobie. But, like, look at those. They're so cute. Mm -mm. Your name is Rachel. And you changed your name because you wanted to start a YouTube channel. Oh, so you had a different name with, I'm guessing, Rachel in it. And now you're the thrifty crocheter. So we might have met before. 
have you started posting things on your YouTubes? You can feel free to type Sweden in my chat and Nightbot will drop your link. So everyone can do that and make sure that you're friends with my friends. And just go and throw some yarn around. Oh, that's a cute little hedgehog. Mm -mm. So otters and hedgehogs is tanks thingy. Note it. Note it. My scrap basket is cute. Thank you very much. You love baby otters. Well, I have been thinking about whether we should work on the scrap basket uh, thingy thingy today or not. Uh, and I feel like that's up to you guys if we're doing some scrap basket crocheting or if we're just going to save that for the Sundays. There's plenty of time for it today, for sure. But it all depends on what you guys are in the mood for. I will need to have some variation, I think. So I will be doing maybe a little bit of project jumping. You're going to try to make your first video later today. Do you know what you're going to do the video about? Will you give us some hints? What you might be um, sharing with us? Scrap basket is up to me, but you guys are, are need to be a part of it. Because we're doing it together. Do some scrap basket. So we will. Let's get some more rounds in on this one. If we're doing this one life size, I might not finish this one on the stream. Maybe we will just save it for tomorrow and you will see the finished result as a little Sunday surprise. I need to make an egg also. Do Easter color, pink, yellow, green, and blue, and white. Mm -hmm. We have, I don't know what's up with you guys, but we've had more green than the other colors. For the St. Patrick's Day, I totally got it, but there was a plenty of green before that, and there's still more green to be added to it. So obviously you guys are into the greens. But I totally agree that we're going for more Easter -y colors today. Since we did St. Patrick-y greens for St. Patrick's Day, we should do Easter -y colors for Easter. Mm -hmm. Pastel, pink, purple. Green is the color of money. <laughs> oh, so we're projecting. If we use a lot of green, then maybe, maybe it will start to grow on trees. And we can just Yeah. I like the the thought that the it's the color of money. Was there fun that I missed out yesterday? After I went to bed, Jessica, did you go on panel with China and some other people and corrupt things? <laughs> no, okay, maybe that's just my middle name. Lots of yellow for daffodils. You cer you like certain greens. If it is an ugly green like a pea green, no thank you. <laughs> You and China. Yeah, that sounds like double trouble. Pr springtime colors. Yeah, the lighter greens. Spring greens. Never corrupt. You encourage. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Green is also... Reminds us of spring and everyone is tired of the drab winter. True. 
You're a weird person. What can you say? Well, sounds like you fit in all good here. There's always space for the weird people here. Takes one to know one, right? And I'm here and you're here. So that must mean something. Maybe that's why I felt like getting this green when I got some new colors. This is really like springy. The avocado and jade and whatever they called it, the colorway. I feel like there's a little bit like of a hint of olive green. But it does work up really cute. Aren't we all? <laughs> but we were talking about scrap basket. So do I need to move anything for that to happen? No, I don't think so. Well, other than put the stuff away that I'm working on right now. I feel like I have prepped pretty good here. There's kind of space enough for things. I did not do what I've done all the other times. Um, I do not have music playing in the discords. I have it straight into my ears. So should I get the music going in discord? Is there anyone that wants to listen over there to what's going on in my head? Let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep it as it is. And yeah, takes time. To fix stuff. Or maybe when I'm not crocheting. Maybe we're going to take a little break and stretch fingers and whatnot. I can do that. Like in a little break or intermission or something. But for now that's. It's quiet over there. For, for now. Is it time to? No. I don't need to stuff just yet. We can work on it a little bit longer before it needs to be stuffed again. As I said. This one's going to be long and thin, so I will have to stuff as I go to be able to get it all the way in. You sent a couple of things in the Instagrams. Is that some pictures of what you're working on, Moonrose? Or what did, what did you send? Because I did see that you sent something the other day. I think it was a pattern or something. Um... Was that something you were working on also or just something that you, I think you said it was something I would enjoy, but I'm curious if you're also making it. Yeah, it was a pattern. Mm. I did see that. I do not believe I can share it here. I don't know because that was a full pattern. And I cannot share full patterns on screen we can only look at pictures right coffee going into jessica i did find some new colors sorting stuff yesterday that wasn't here already we have a even darker blue and a lighter bluish color and I have another black one tossing that one in with the neutrals and the we do have a sparkly red and we have a sparkly purpley gray and some other novelty yarns in here but we haven't used we did use the sparkly green um let's so the additions other than that we have a really, really dark blue. We did have this as the darkest blue before, and we now have a darker blue and another blue. So sometimes it's a good thing to sort through my things because I found new yarns. And it kind of feels like we are already in Easter colors. Um, So that's 
I don't know if that was a free pattern or not, so I don't know if I'm able to share it. You try to make a donut and turn into a hot dog. Oh, that's cool. So let's go and change to scrap basket camera angle type of thing. And let's hope that we have, yes, we get to see it. Uh, mm -mm. Moving some stuff around over here and getting the bowl over here and into the bowl we do have pink with a little bit of purple as well as the green that everyone seems to be loving that is also what i used for the stem on the eggplant and we do have a light um is this the tiffany blue so we already have some good easter colors to start off with and there we have hook and we're trying to not make a mess since we are using this green i did go over here and use it from the outside because i didn't want to cut it off and i only needed a little bit for the eggplant but it was that ball of yarn that we nibbled on a little bit. The Easter red buds and dogwoods are blooming. It's so pretty. And <laughs> yeah, you sleep some more, Mr. Broccoli. You need to sleep if you can. If you're feeling tired, then you definitely should. We can have fun without you, but we will miss you. And I'm most likely going to be here when you wake up. You might be missing out on some fun, but there will still be more fun to be had at that point. So for funsies, we did add the pink over here. And we did have the green and the blue. Well, we did add the green over there and the blue was here for longer. So we have green from there and the pink added from here. So we're fairly new into some of these colors. The blue, we've had the blue for at least, this is the third row that the lighter blue is on. We have that one all the way down here. You want to go to back to bed, but you have to pick some chickweed and This is a hard one. Some people say dandelion and some people say dandelion, but I do believe it's dandelion. You repeat boot and more ads. What's going on? Is YouTube having too much fun with that today? Dandelions. Yeah, that's why I f what I feel like saying, but I have heard the other pronunciation or yeah wording of it. These colors look really pretty together. You're definitely having issues. Maybe you should go back to bed and wake up all over again. Yeah, I bet that there's a bunch of you that is like, it's too early. It's Saturday. We can sleep in. Why aren't we? Do you eat them or put them in the weed bucket? I think Tank is using them for some type of medicinal reason. We have talked about these things before. Isn't that like made into teas and whatnot? 
Jessica is getting coffee. Yeah, you have barely slept. You should have definitely slept more. You make them into medicines or wine, even. So this is a good type of time of year to pick some of those things. You want them like the the spring buds of things. Your auto mechanic came today to work on the car. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to drive it to the workshop. You had someone come over to you and work on your car. That is very convenient. All parts of the dandelion, dandelion <laughs> are edible. Okay. Blooms from them for the wine. Oh. Bonnie is ready for work. Let's have a great day at work. And I hope to see you when you get home from work but happy easter oh and who knows when you're cleaning you might find an easter egg or two who knows are you guys doing like easter egg hunts for kids in the u.s or wherever you are You're running late. Sometimes that happens. Cheekweed is sweet and edible. You made dandelion oil before. It can be used on your skin to ease aches and pains too. Seems like a lot of herbs and stuff is definitely like usable in more ways than one. Hello, Herb. Happy Easter. How are you today? Nice to see you. What are you working on this fine Easter? Or did you just wake up and is waking up with some coffee or something? Hello, May. Happy Easter. Welcome in. How are you today? I'll inf you infuse all the weeds with the warm oil method. I have never tried anything like that, so I don't know what that is all about. <laughs> Jessica, I have to go pick the weeds out of her yard. That sounds like you're not going to use it for medic medicinal purposes, more like getting rid of the weeds out of the yard. You did glow in the dark eggs one year. It was a blast. How did you do the glow in the dark eggs, ABD? What was that all about? Like the material or, or did you have proper chicken eggs and painted them in some type of fluorescent color? Tank, do you forage for mushrooms or fungi? Fungi, fungi. We pick mushrooms in Sweden a lot. I eat mushrooms. I love it. I did not get enough mushrooms this fall because I was lazy and didn't get out enough. But I should have. So I'm all out of mushrooms. I have to wait for the fall and I will definitely go and get me some mushrooms. Yep. You're working on a logo. You're scrolling away then I'm guessing. Tang is allergic to mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms are yummy. I know not they're not for everyone, but that's my own personal opinion on mushrooms. I like them. You put reflective tape on the eggs, but this year all they had are flashlights. Hmm. Yeah, what's up with the YouTubes, ABD? I don't know. I do not know. 
is it only ABD or is it someone else also that has YouTube playing tricks with the ads? You're allergic to mushrooms, strawberries, and tomatoes. I was thinking about getting strawberries and, and cover them in chocolate, but I did not do that. The strawberries didn't look that good at the store. I do have some tomatoes for a sandwich later. Three ads in. Uh, I've been here for two hours and 40 minutes. Yeah, having them over and over. I totally get that you're going nuts over this. Question is, can I do something about it from here to have it like less frequent? I haven't figured out all the settings that much yet. And YouTube seems to do it willy-nilly. Some people get more and some people get less. You will eat a tomato occasionally. I'm guessing you feel not so good afterwards, but apparently, like, obviously not totally, totally sick or, or what will happen when you eat them. Yes, ads are beneficial. Very true. But we don't need too much of them. You'll break out. Ads in moderation. That is what we need. So you guys don't miss out on stuff. Strawberries can cause an asthma attack. No, stay away from them. Stay away from the strawberries. Tank, do you carry an EpiPen? Your daughter do because of food allergies. I never heard of EpiPens before, and that is something that is new to me from, because apparently that's common in, in other places. I don't know why that is more common, but I know that some people here uh, have them now. I just never knew that they existed before. But after learning about them, the, I have come across like some people here that also has them very interesting though how it seems to be more common in different places than others you carry benadryl okay You love mushrooms. Unfortunately, is one of the things that Cedric is allergic to. That is no fun. Do you get to eat it when, like, if, if I don't know, you're not in the same place for some reason, or is it one of the cases like you can't eat it, um, and then like, I don't know, give him a kiss, and that would cause a reaction. Is it like that bad? Because I hear people having that type of issues with peanuts and whatnot. You haven't had an anaphylactic reaction yet. That is good, though. Please stay away from them. They're not good for anyone. And if you already have all the other things going, that would be an even worse combination. And Nightbot is thanking Granny D for being a cake leftover. That's one of the membership tiers. 
Has anyone heard anything about uh, Granny D? How she's doing? She did cancel a live the other day. I don't remember when that was. That she didn't sound too good. That she didn't have the energy to do one. Let's hope she gets out of rehab soon. Yeah, ABD, that's definitely something with the YouTubes that... Mm. I wish I could do something about that. She felt bad yesterday. I'm guessing that was Granny D, yeah. She hasn't texted you yet today? Well, hopefully she's still sleeping. That she gets to sleep in and maybe feel better today. If you hear something, um, please let us know, Tank. Yeah, she did post that yesterday or the day before. Yeah, I did see something. I just don't know when she posted it. Or her stomach. Is it the same issues like she had before? I thought that was better, though. EpiPens are very expensive. Even in Canada, any insurance company will only partially cover it. And it will cost around $300. Yeah, I don't believe that they would be any... Yeah, no, here meds are pretty much free if it's a necessity. Um, over the counter meds we pay for, but like if it's prescriptions, we have very few costs that actually... I seriously need to change the hot buttons on the mouse to something else because the tray was bumping up against the mouse and that would be me kicking myself out. Yeah, it's there's this, the, the little buttons on the side. I think it's the first one. I don't know. It's either of them. Stay away from me. <laughs> I did kick myself out that way the other week the other time too or was it I, I know I don't know when very recently I have been kicking myself out with that button I need to figure out how to change that setting because it only like pretty much refreshes StreamYard and kicks me out you would think an EpiPen would be free yep yeah. But also, like, the cost of an EpiPen and the lesser damage uh, that would happen if you get that one fast compared to all the additional cost it would take, or, or maybe, like, even the threat of life if you don't get that fast, um, that would be, like, a lot more additional costs to take care of a person that is in all of that danger. Probably like, I don't know, intubation and long hospital stays or whatnot. And that could be avoided. So it's kind of common sense that it's better to use stuff preventative or have things easily accessible to not have all of that happen. All the extra costs that all the other stuff would, you know. Anything that would save money. Um, I guess that's also in Sweden why we don't, we can't buy alcohol any given day of the week. We have very re restricted um, alcohol laws. Monday to Friday from like 10 a.m. to what is it? 6 p.m. or is it 7 p.m.? That's when the liquor store is open. And on Saturdays, it's like 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., maybe 3, and close on Sundays. Because of all the damage that will happen, like totally malfunctioning livers and all of that type of thing. Um, so, 
that and like tobacco, very high tax on tobacco here to try and prevent people from using it. But also if you're using it, we need the extra taxes from that to cover whatever medical expenses you might have in the future um, for diseases that you might have related to the usage of certain such project, uh, products. And it kind of makes sense in a way, but there's a lot of people that's annoyed about it. It's way more easy to get alcohol in the U.S. though. We have one liquor store in the town I live in. And with the restricted opening hours, um, yeah, you really have to like plan ahead. It's not like a spur of the moment, I need to go and grab something to drink type of thing. But also, as I said, Sundays, it's closed. So this weekend, Friday and Monday, they're closed because those are considered uh, Sundays here. You take care, Bonnie. Drive safe. We have gone a full round, you guys, and we're not changing colors yet. But we are at full round since we added the pinks. Do you have to bring your own alcohol to restaurants? No, you're not allowed to bring um, alcohol to restaurants or anything else, like no food, no beverages. Um, restaurants do have to have permissions to serve, though. Not all restaurants do have it. Uh, and to go and buy liquor at the liquor store here, you have to be, is it 20 or 21? I don't remember. Uh, and then you can go to a restaurant or a bar and you can order alcohol from 18 because that is in a controlled environment. You know, the bartender is not allowed to serve you if you've had too much or whatnot. So there's that reason um, why you can be younger and drink alcohol in Sweden. But you cannot buy it from the liquor store because it's less controlled once it's bought from the store. In your province, you can't buy alcohol on Sundays, holidays, and you have restricted times of day two and can only buy them at liquor stores. It's not like that in every province in Canada, though. Yeah, we can buy light stuff. 3.5% um, below that you can buy it at a grocery store so like some beers and some ciders is available there but we have a lot of like non-alcoholic beers and non-alcoholic wines so there's always that option and you can get that at the local grocery store they bring your own stuff to the restaurants in the U.S. Yeah, that is not allowed here. Like, if you let your customers do that and you have a license to sell, you might lose your license over that. Your legal drinking age is 19. Oh, that's cool. In the U.S. it's 21. Yeah, I know. Quebec gets 18. Hope you can get through the day without too much pain, Bonnie. Yep, yeah, keep Jessica updated. She's asking you to. Let's hope that you have a nice day at work. I think we're calling... No, there's still a lot of the blue left. We can definitely cut the blue if needed. You think liquor is sold from 12 p.m. till 2 a.m.? You don't know because you don't buy it. Yeah.
Are we feeling the Easter vibes from the colors here? Maybe it's easier to see from the back with the colors. Maybe. Add yellow. What are we changing the yellow from? Or w which one is going to go to? Definitely feeling Easter vibes. Good. No, this is not the edging. We are going to continue for quite some time. We're still from from the side here. We're not even across the bottom to the next side. So I want at least the diameter of the bottom to be the height and maybe then some. Um, mm -mm -mm. But what are we cutting to add yellow? We have... We have the green and pink and blue. And what yellow are we adding? I do not think we have that many yellows to pick from. We have mustardy yellow. We have teeny bits and bobs of yellow. That's the yellows we have here. Yep. One, two, three, four. Cut blue and use up the little bits. Yeah, there's two little bits, three and four. Two votes for one and one vote for a little bits. But we did have cut blue. So we're doing that. That's a good start. I'll just make the blue into a little ball here quickly. Because otherwise it's going to be a little bit messy, I think. One and three look the same. They are not. They are not. Uh, three is totally different yarn, but it's also more of a, a lighter yellow. That one is more of a light, bright yellow. And I want to say that number one is more of a golden yellow. I'm almost done with making this into a little ball. So maybe not that visible um, in the camera that they are different because of lightings, yeah. I guess they're kind of similar, but they're not the same. And this one has four strands not twisted together, and this one is. But it does feel like you guys want number one. Cut blue. Yes, we cut blue. I 
I do like the idea of using up some of these small bits. This is actually like two pieces of small bits, even, or it used to be. No, there it is. There's, there's this teeny tiny bit and then there's this bit. So that's actually, yeah, two. So should we use one of the small pieces first and then we're going to add the other one? Or what do you guys think? Okay, we're using some of the small pieces. Let's just get rid of this mini one here. That's like three stitches, maybe, I don't know. And what are we doing after? Are we going over to the number one color? Okay, then we're going over to number one. Happy Easter, Dutchman's Woodchuck. How are you? What are you doing this Easter? Are you going to eat some eggs? Or hunt for some? Here we're celebrating Easter with a different type of egg. Because we now have an eggplant. The eggplant should be in the basket because uh, it's the new friend. So, yes, it's very Eastery with an, a different type of egg. I know I'm being very funny, right? Laughing at my own joke over here is definitely something I can do over this one. Because I'm just silly. There's a little bit of a knot here. Let's unknot this. You are making them out of wood. Eggs or eggplants? You are making eggs. Wooden eggs. Are just making them out of the wood and um like scroll sawing or are you also like decorating them and painting and stuff we're going out to find dandelions and tanks we get to hang out in the outdoor seas
And now we're switching over to the next color. All of what you said. So you're also painting them to decorate. <laughs> Jessica's going to get her shoes to go and help you, Tank. <laughs> You're working on a cracked one now? Oh, I know what I'm in the mood to make in a little bit. A different type of egg. We're definitely going to do one of those. I did that one for the market. They were popular. Let's make some other eggs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You do more turning than scroll saw work. Oh, but yeah, turning eggs. That sounds like a fun make. I think you can make some really nice wooden crochet hooks by turning also. I see that being popular with handmade crochet hooks. With them being turned. Um, and then you just make a little bit of the hook shape. Yeah, there's some really fancy hooks out there. I should change Nightbot. Welcome. What's in your cup and what's on your hook or what's on your craft bench or wherever you're at, your wood shack? Or knitting needles for that matter. Yeah, we need to, to talk to Nightbot about things. The eggplant just ran and ha hid. It's so small and the basket is big. <laughs> so we don't really see it. It's playing hide and seek. Peekaboo! <laughs> yep. Yeah, Nightbot is definitely not trying to hide. He's all over. You finished putting the groceries away now, Rosie Posey? That is nice. What's for lunch? And what are you going to do when you sit down? You're going to be crocheting or do you have other plans? You love the Easter colors going around? It is really Eastery. For sure. <laughs> you just scrambled eggs. <laughs> Was that for lunch?
you're making a ham sandwich with lettuce and tomato. And then you're going to sit and eat and probably ready for a nap. Yep. Grocery shopping can be very energy stealing. Mm. I'm kind of feeling we're taking a break because my hand is feeling this. And we want to be able to sit here and crochet for some more hours. And, but also we're going to be hanging out in the scrap basket tomorrow. So we got some... At least a row and a half or something made today. I want to say something along those lines. But with the Easter colors, this is... Yeah, I love the fact that we're getting like season themes into the basket whenever that happens. And I will be needing to make another scrap basket when we finish this one. For sure. I need to be collecting scraps. Uh, 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 get back up here. Back to where we see me. But I did really get uh, inspired now. So my inspiration is taking us to fuzzy yarns. We have a fuzzy white yarn. And we will have maybe some of the fuzzy pinks. But I'm definitely going for fuzzy white and yellow. That one is really... I love this one. But we should probably go for like speckly ones. We have blue and we have white with speckly stuff. We also have... Um, light blue just jumped out of the band. We have that one also. And... Bubble gummy pink, the same color I already made one egg out of. So I don't think that one's going to be it. Maybe I should make like a gigantic egg from the thick yarns. But I'm thinking that right this minute we're starting with. I just need to find the pattern. Because I know I have a pattern for it somewhere. Mm -mm. We're going to change that for a bit because we don't need that big of um Mm -mm -mm. Where might I have put that pattern? There we go. I have a pattern. And I need to get what crochet hook size? Looks like I would need... I want to say I want to use a four. So let's go and see if we can find a four. There we have four. Oh, don't fall away. Oh, there we go. Get back here. Get back here. Oh, I don't want to have stuff fall down behind my desk at this point. And I should start in mm -mm. I should start in yellow. And let's see if you guys can figure out what I'm doing. Cause we're starting with yellow. to make something Easter related.
Do we have six stitches? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. And now we're doing single crochet and increase. I should have a little bit of a yarn scrap for this. Do I have some good scraps? Yes. Instead of stitch markers, because this is way easier. At least with these fluffy yarns and trying to get the stitch markers in, it's just annoying so one and one two one one two one one two one, one, two, one, one, two. And then we're going all the way around two times. Okay. Is it too early to guess what I might be doing? And this requires safety eyes, you guys. We're getting safety eyes out. Because that's what I did the last time. But I'm definitely going to do a different size this time. I had like teeny tiny eyes last time. And it looked really cute. So some of you might know what I'm talking about because some of you might have already seen the ones I did have at some point. It's a good guess. That is definitely Easter related. And put safety eyes between row three and four. So let's go get the safety eyes. Oh, I have so much stuff going on here. Let's move my squares over to where should I put them? Let's put them there. There, they are safe. And we got eyes and we got backings. Yeah, these are bigger than the last time. Let's go with those because they look cute. Sorry for crinkly noises. S 
so we should put eyes in between that's row four and five so there squiggle squiggle and get into place please there we go and then the other one is is that three stitches over there's three stitches over with these fluffy yarns the backings are quite difficult to get on because there's quite some squeezing that needs to be done and I definitely need one of them handy tools for eyes I did see that somewhere that there's like good tools but I do not know where to find them there was like a like a wooden block with holes in it that was just thick enough so that you could just put it on top uh, with the eye side up and the backing side down onto that hole and push it down which made a lot of sense okay there we go eyes in place looking good and now we do Put the stitch marker up there and decreasing in back loops. Why so some stitches just stupid? Come on. I don't like decreasing with some yarns because the first stitch is always easy, but the second stitch is terrible to get through, to get the decrease. I don't know why that is. Same thing again. I get stuck trying to get through the second stitch. A peep! <laughs> That's the marshmallowy candies, right? Or is that another thing also? Almost all the way around. Last stitch of this row. Don't be stupid. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing in this one. Not a lot, just a little bit to keep it puffy a little little bit 
maybe this would be more fun to actually look at. Should I go back to pen? The, the down cam, maybe. Maybe. And you can actually see what I'm doing, and you can guess better. Let's do that. So we have, we have a little eye situation here. And now we're doing DK Jen. Happy Easter. How are you? Nice to see you. What are you doing today? Are you crocheting or are you, uh, Painting eggs or something else fun. And also happy Saturday. It's not just Easter. It's Saturday also. And now we're doing a triple decrease. So that is a decrease over three stitches. There we go. And now we have it all together. So now we do snippy snip with scissor. And we can remove that one and we get needle. Yeah, and now it's the fun part of all the fluffiness going all over the place, but it's all good. I do not use a lighter to... to close it. Like the yarn end, some people melt it. I do not. I do not like that. That is dangerous to keep fire on my yarns. No, thank you. Stay away from my yarns with fire. But we will definitely have some fuzz on the dusk. And what I'm doing now, I am doing small stitches up to the top, but I want the bottom to be more flat. So I am going in all sorts of directions to get it to shape like I want it. But also to make sure that there's enough yarn sewn in so it's not gonna be unraveling. It's enough that I unravel occasionally, right? We don't need the yarn to do the same. And Cut a little bit. And all the fluffy, fuzzy stuff. Let's go away to other places. And now we go to the second part. And now we get the whites. You have been destashing your craft pal to give to a child or children so they have something over the holidays. Stickers, papers, felt tips, Easter stuff on a site called Freegal in your town. So Freegal, I've never heard of that. Is that like a lot of free stuff for, for anyone who wants slash needs it? And now we will be going back to where we did back loop only um, a decreases to make stuff in the front loops.
let's see how long it takes for you guys to realize what it is I'm working on or see what it is. We did have some guesses, but we're not doing any of those. A lot of free stuff and giveaways. A chick and an egg. Well, technically, you're not wrong. Get in there. Flower egg sunny side up. Hello, Diana. Welcome in. How are you? Yeah, my lighting is terrible. Over here we see it. Yes, we see it over here. We're making a sunny side up. And uh, one, two. One, two. Two. Sunny side up egg is exactly what we're doing. We're making a little cute egg. Yes, we're doing, uh, we're, I'm going to do some more of these is what I'm thinking. We're making some Easter eggs also. Uh, and I do have a bunch of these, these uh, same yarn with the specks in it. Uh, in other colors and I'm thinking making one in just the hot pink also but first I needed to make a sunny side up because I did um, make a couple of these before and I did sell them they did sell out on market so I know that this is a good fun make that people seem to be enjoying the silliness of it so I definitely think it's probably a good thing if I do a few for whenever I decide to do a market next time um, because it's a fast little silly make also as we clearly can see it's not taken forever to make it I think I had, yeah, I made five for the market and they all sold. I had ears on the egg. I have never said, seen a, an egg with ears. And how would I do that? These are actually sparkly yarns. There's some, or they call it shine, but you don't really see it very well on the lighter ones. I do have the gray and it does show up way better on that one. This is the honey bunny shine. So there's a little bit of a extra fancy addition to what these look like.
No, this is all the face it gets. It gets the eyes. And the pattern does have like a little black stitch as a mouth, like a closed mouth um, or like a little V-shaped one. But I do not sew unless I have to. And these were cute enough with just the eyes. So I don't feel like I need to. Wide open mouth like is yelling or it's scared. <laughs> Sounds cute though. Drinking soup soon. Waiting for your egg sandwich. Yes, there's a lot of eggs. In the Easter's, we're having people eating eggs and coloring eggs and scroll saw and eggs. And I'm crocheting eggs. Because happy Easter, uh, there's no Easter without eggs, right? We changed eggs. We did. We did. We're making some eggs. We have been in the scrap basket for a bit. And now we're making eggs. But we have also started to, to make um, a new vegetable. We can't see it here. And we're not seeing the other one I did. Which is also like very egg pun y if you want to look at it that way. Because we have an egg plant. <laughs> but that one's that one's for like the naughty stuff. The naughty vegetables that lives here. But it's really a happy coincidence, I wanna say, because I had not planned for an egg plant for Easter. Um it was just for the eggplant emoji and all the jokes. Which makes things even more fun. Happiest accident I've had in a bit, I want to say. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that many more of the eggs. Um, I, this is all the white I have. And I don't think that's going to be enough or too much more. So we're going to be happy with this fried egg for today. And then we're going to make the other ones. You managed to get your grocery shopping done and got two new trousers or well you had two pairs with broken zippers at the store claim two year warranty on the zippers oh that is that is nice if they broke you know you need to use warranties if possible for sure yeah that's one of them cases to like don't be stupid stupid type of thing like if you don't use it you lose it and whatnot. So if there's warranties, use it. Use it. Not use it and abuse it, but use it.
would left over a stripe of pink egg. Oh, yeah, you mean like I would uh, use it in making one of the bigger eggs and use it to... Yeah, that could happen. Or some other color. But yeah, for sure, that could be done. There we go. There we go. We got an egg. We got a fried egg. So let's snippy snippy. And I'm going to see if I can. Pull that one tighter because I already did crochet over it. So like so. And needle again. Now let's go into there. What are we laughing at? <laughs> Jen is laughing at me. Why? What did I do? Probably something silly. Yeah, this is a cute one. And it's definitely quite of a fast make. And it doesn't take that much yarn. You don't even need to have like safety eyes on it. You could just make the egg. Or. Sew. Some um, eyes or something to it. I don't think. I, I think this was a free pattern on Ravelry. Just called fried egg. Okay, and now we get rid of that and go over to there. Bye bye. Yes, and now we have fried egg. Can I hang out over there and it can reckless eyeball you. So this yarn that I was using, the size of it, it's this is Honey Bunny from Hobie. Honey Bunny Shine and this is Toucan. Uh but all the and these are Honey Bunny candy, but uh it says it's a six super bulky. It's the same thickness as your just chenille. I do have a just chenille that I wanted to give away. Um so it's pretty much the same. Maybe that this is a little thinner. I guess it depends on what you're comparing it to. But I don't think you're going to see that much of a difference in thickness. And this is the Just Chenille um, Premiere. So similar in thickness. And I use 4 millimeter crochet hook. Let's not get too close to the buttons on that mouse over there. <laughs> You're funny. Yes, we're funny. So we did an egg. Maybe we're going to use the white as a detail or something. We'll see. Leave them over here for now. And we're going to make... Well, first of all, I need to see where the pattern is because I know I have a pattern for the pink egg. So let's go and let's go and find the pattern. There we go. Is this the one? Yes. So this is actually available in two sizes. Should I make a big one and a small one? I think I should. I do not remember whether the egg I have done is the small or the big one. So I'll start with the small one and we'll see if it's the same or not. Um, question is colors. 
I do like that this have the speckly parts in it, so I'm thinking we should go for a speckly one. What did I do with the... Oh, this is the seahorse leftovers. Leftovers from seahorsey. So I'm thinking we're going to use this one. Oh, Diana, thank you very much. We get to dance. Thank you so much. Dance for Diana. Where do we have it, though? Where is my dance? There it is. Thank you so much. I feel like we're doing we're doing scraps from the uh, seahorsey. That's what we're picking to start the first egg. Oh, these yarns are all over the place. We need to have them a little bit uh, not so messy on the desk. You're having problems with YouTube streams jumping back to the beginnings. It happened three times. Oh, no. Yeah, I do believe we heard something like that. Um, someone had issues with that. Was it last Sunday? I don't know. Or was it the week before? I have heard something. You said that. I do believe also Little Lego said it at some point. So that seems to be a thing that has happened to a couple of people fairly recently. I'm guessing it's from like after ads, it goes back to the beginning instead of continue where it was. So I do not remember. I'm not gonna change color. I'm just gonna do this one as it is, I think. I think we, we we will see. You haven't even had any ads today, Jessica, and ABD had like plenty of them. YouTube seems to be very, very moody. Oh, tight squeeze over here. Get in there. Three, four, five, and six. There we go. We have the first. You had ads at the start only. But you haven't been hanging around all the time. And May's had four or five ads. I, I do not know why YouTube is being like this. It would be more consistent, you'd think, right? One, two, three, and four. No, we're not going to in there. Four. Five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <laughs> Your browser stops ads or what level of ads you choose to see. Oh, okay. You can handle the ads anymore, so you caved to the premium account. That is perfectly fine also. I totally get it. It's not, yeah, no, not everyone likes them. Hello, Samantha. Happy Easter. How are you today? Nice to see you. How are you celebrating Easter? Uh -uh.
tio, elva, tolv, tretton, fjorton, femton, sexton, sjutton, arton. Did I finish the basket? No. We have still a lot of work to do on the basket. The basket is not something I do all the time. Um, I can do that for like an hour at a time or so because that will ha it hurts my hand. Right now we're making another egg like this one. I do not know if this is the large egg or the small egg, but I'm gonna make large and small eggs. And we did a little fried egg just uh, before this. So we're we're doing all the Eastery things. And then we have an eggplant because a play on words. And also that one works up really good in uh, the veggie aisle that we um, have some chaos in from previous live streams. Hello, Adia. Welcome in. Happy Easter. You need to crochet chicks, frogs, and ducks today, but you're having coffee and very happy that you found me. Well, thanks for reminding me. I, I also have coffee. I, I prepped. I have two of these uh, small thermoses, but I also, <laughs> I also, when I started, sat down with this one. So I've emptied this one that was coffee in, and now I have these two. So hopefully I might even have some at least lukewarm coffee in this. But it's also spill proof. Um, we've had some accidents in the past. So, <laughs> yep, definitely, definitely still hot. Not hot, hot. But I do have um, milk in my coffee. So that one cools it down a little bit also. I will be going live tomorrow. My regular Sunday stream is um, going to happen unless anything changes that. And I do not have um, anything that looks like it might change that. I guess if we end up, you know, pulling this into like a 24 hour stream, then I might be too tired. But that was not the plan. This The plan today is just like hang out for for a bunch of hours. But I do not see it. Um, becoming a 24 hour today. But definitely we're going for a longer one. Um, what stitch is that? So I should do two in this one. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, it is now 4.37 p.m. You're expecting a package, Moonrose. What is uh, coming your way? Is it yarn? Is it something else? Okay, that row is finished. Let's get out of there. I'm pretty much only using the stitch markers because it's so much easier to not focus too much when I'm talking to you guys and counting and whatnot. So that is, um, I probably would not use any type of marker otherwise. Uh, the apartment looks like it's a no on that one. It went to someone else, but the contract isn't signed yet, as far as I could tell yesterday. So as long as, you know, the contract isn't signed, of course, there's a possibility, but it's, um, it's not looking too good. Like the only thing that would prevent them from signing that contract, I'm guessing, is if they would be declined for like financial reasons or something. And um, 
I just don't see that happening. I, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm going to keep looking though. But that would have been like, it would have been awesome if I'd had that one. For sure. Oh, you're going to make a video of the package? Oh, nice. I'm in Sweden, Diana. I started the live stream four hours ago, so it was around lunchtime. 12 something, I believe, maybe. Nap time for Rosie Posey. Yes, you go nap. You're thinking positive, and yeah, I'm going to get a phone call today and say that also <laughs> rent is cheaper. I wish, I really wish, no one's working here, though. I'm not going to hear anything um, before Tuesday. <laughs> if anything will happen, I will hear Tuesday is the earliest I will hear anything. Because bank holidays and whatnot. Water in Samantha's bottle. We will claim it for you. <laughs> Am I tired yet? No, I'm not tired at all. Thank you, Tank. The power of prayer is bigger than anything. Well, I'm fingers crossed. As I said, the contract isn't signed yet. So it is a possibility. I'm just seeing that the chances are slim and it's weekend. So I'm not going to know.
I have been live on Tuesdays, but that has been pop-ups. But I, we were talking about the um, an apartment, and t Tuesday is the first day of the week that isn't a holiday that I might hear something from the the rental office. So we're not talking about a live, we're talking about an apartment. We need to get Dinky to 500 peeps. Well, Dinky, type Sweden and get Nightbot to drop your link. Or Tank might be faster. We, we never know. Tank is fast on the button sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, you go over there and throw some yarn at her window if you haven't already done so. Awesome, guys. Now I need to, I'm still, I'm still increasing. I'm guessing this is the big egg. Kind of feels like a big egg with all the increases. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. Well, nothing's going to happen over Easter. All the all the stuff is closed, so Need to promote on every live today for that to happen, Jessica. <laughs> Two more peeps to go. Oh, that is close. Or two more peeps to what I do. We got the top of the egg going here. Awesome. From now on, I'm going to do. No more increases. Decreases will be happening. But yeah, now we're doing. A bunch of rounds of no increases. Christmas in July giveaway for 500. So you were not rushing. Yeah, there's 
if you man uh, aimed for Chris uh, Christmas in a July giveaway, there's still some time to go. That also means that you don't have a rush to to figure out what you're going to put in the giveaway. So now I need to do what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows of same amount of stitches. That's going to be easy. Go support 2024. Definitely a hashtag that is being used. I have used it and I do see a lot of people using it. And I think Ivy B was, I don't know if she came up with the idea uh, or if she just started it in the crochet community this year. Um, because I have seen that coming from, like, her. She seems to be the one that started the thing now. But if it was in another community or if it has been in the crochet community previous years, I do not know. This is the first time I hear about it. And I have been more and more thinking about what I should do for my members, like members only lives and whatnot. And I just have a hard time in my planning right now to see where I can fit that in. And at the same time, also be able to like announce it beforehand because it feels like I can easily do a pop up. It's harder to plan stuff, but I am going to try and do my best to have something like that happen like sooner rather than later. I guess I just need to sit down with my calendar and see what might work. But that will happen soon. Also, it's fun. Right? It's fun to do lives. So that's just one more reason for me to get to hang out with my friends. We might have to add another color to the bottom half of this one. I don't think that this is going to last that long. Should we... Oh, wait. I know what we're going to do. Since this is the leftovers from the seahorse, of course we're going to pick up the same colors as the seahorse, right? So seahorse has the pinks, and I have more of the pinks. So it should be a two-toned egg matching the seahorse. Because we have more of it, right? It just makes sense to go for that one as the matchy matchy with the with the seahorsey. We figured it out. I think maybe we should add a stripe in and make it stripey. What do we think about that? Like pink stripe, white stripe, pink stripe, and then when the white runs out, we're growing into like solid pink bottom. Oh, yes. Also, that is nice. Very nice of you, Tank, that we can gather donations for a party. And a hug from Tank. Aw. That is so nice of you. Samantha is back. Welcome back. 
<laughs> you said it was a secret, but never mind. <laughs> Aww. You can almost see the stuff I have the the new jewelry pieces, you guys. Let's let's make you be able to see that. I, I got me some pretty earrings. They're hanging out of here in this little bowl. And the ones I'm wearing right now, it's um they're very special. I got me some new dangly bits and all the jokes that comes with it. I did post a link in the description to the jewelry designer that made these, who is also my neighbor. But fun story, I used to live in a city about an hour away by car. And so did she. Um, and we have mutual friends, but we didn't hang out before she moved here now which is kind of funny because there's been actually we have mutual friends in different areas i have a co-worker that is a good friend of hers but i also have an old friend from a, you know a blast from the past type of situation <laughs> That also is a friend of her. They were neighbors for a while. It's kind of funny that our paths could have crossed like years ago. And it didn't until now. When she moves here, like an hour away into the middle of nowhere. Good morning, Steve. Happy Easter. How have you slept? Hope everything is good. You're sleepy, Tank? Yeah, you rest. You rest. This egg is looking so fun. You just need a cat nap. Yes, you do that. You take a nap. Forty winks? <laughs> is that what a cat nap is? Yeah, two rows of the pink, I think, is fine. And then we're switching back to the white for a little bit. That's a Rip Van Winkle nap. 40 wink winks. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a fast nap, though. Or, like, that's a fast person of some sorts. He slept for 20 years. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's not a fast sleeper. <laughs> 
totally the other way around. But did he sleep or was he in a coma? That sounds more like not sleep. Oh, eggs are fallen. All sorts of eggs. You wish you could rip Van Winkle, Winkle to retirement? <sighs> Can't I last another six work years with your declining health? We'll see. Well, keep fingers crossed. For sure, keep fingers crossed for that. From I am clearly not keeping up. What what have dwarfs to do with this? I do I don't know. Get it? I don't get it. Maybe another day. <laughs> Let's count rows here and see where we're at. I think it might be time to start decreasing soon, maybe. We'll see. Um, that's where we're at. Nope, still some rows to go before decreasing. Children's nursery rhyme. Okay. No wonder I do not know what we're talking about because that is clearly not something I grew up with. I don't know if it's the same size or not. You have fun seeing it with whatever you need to do. Nice to see you stop in here for a little bit. It's always fun to see you guys pop in and out. I'll probably be here. I am not planning to go anywhere anytime soon. Well, it's five o'clock. I should probably get something to eat, but that hasn't stopped me before. I'll just get the Be Right Back sign up, go make something to eat, and uh, probably sit here eat with you guys. So now it's time to start decreasing. So should we, should I do it with the rest of the white first? Or just go pink from here? I don't know. 
Yeah, you go sort your stuff, Jen. If that's what you need to do, then that's what you should do. How many more realms is it? There's quite a few rounds left. But not enough for the, that, I think. I can use the white for something else. We can do that. And then we're just doing pink from now. And I'm doing... Okay. Now we need stitch marker again. No, I don't because I'm doing different color. So I see it in the color anyway. And I did crochet over the tail a little bit. So I don't have to sew more stuff. Go over there and hang out. And now we need to decrease one stitch. Three, four, um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Decrease and four, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go, and. All oh, right, because we're going to get more of a decrease at the bottom. We're doing more decreases now, or more frequently. Um, one, two, three, four. And three. And four, three, four. What are you guys going to have to eat today? I know some have been talking about Eastery stuff, but not everyone. Yes, I'm counting in Swedish. I can count in English also. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, I was counting in Swedish. You had grilled chicken and green beans for lunch. Nice. That sounds like a good lunch. Uh, 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 uh. No, they want me to start filling. We have a big hole. We have a big hole to fill. Good thing I have plenty of stuffing.
I have no idea how much we're going to need, but I like to stuff my things firmly. I, I like to do that. I am not... Um, just getting a little bit in. I'm, I'm stuffing. Quite some. Really push it in. That's what I do. Yeah, there's definitely going to be more in this one. But we will do some more rounds first. Tomorrow, Sunday, is the big Easter meal. I think that's very different here. Like, since... I don't know. Traditionally, of course, you can have big Sunday meals. But we do like to celebrate things on Saturdays here. I don't know why. So I know a lot of people are celebrating today with all the foods and whatnot. One, two, and three. You're listening on your phone now in the craft room. Well, it's nice that we can hang out with you, yeah, even if you're over there. I'm either going to eat food or maybe the neighbor's cat. <laughs> Tough choice. Well, hello, Quano. <laughs> uh, I do suggest that stay away from the neighbor's cat unless you want your neighbors to be upset with you. I do not think that they will be very happy if that would to be happening, you know. Um, so I do not recommend it. I do recommend food. Maybe, like, as a compromise, uh, the neighbor's cat's food if you really want to go down the road of something different for to eat but I would not go further than that please thank you <laughs> and of course Quano pops in here when I have a big pink gaping hole to stuff with white fluff awesome because that's nothing weird with this Nothing at all. Nothing to see here, right? <laughs> no, no kitty meat. No, for sure. We're not. Uh, we don't like that. Bonnie is on a break. You already did three bathrooms and took all the garbage. So, yes, that then you made yourself uh, definitely um, deserving of a break. One and two and three. Okay, there we go. Uh -uh. And now we're doing one, two. Yes. One, two. Decrease. One, two. Decrease. And another decrease.
That just sounds like lazy if you don't even care to put the garbage in the garbage can. I'm sorry, but that, that is way lazy. Very lazy people to be doing that. After this round, we will definitely need to get some more stuffing because now it's actually going to be able to stay in here because now it's a much smaller hole. Now we're going to do like this because we don't want to mess that one up and we're going to get some stuff in. <laughs> Sounds like you're just not having a good day, Bonnie. We got broccoli in this scrap basket. <laughs> Yes, it is getting real tight. <laughs> and there's plenty of stuffing that I want to fit in here. So we're going to have fun with this one. I'm going to have to take a little at a time to get it all in there. And yes, I do have a wicked sense of humor, and some might giggle um, at this, because you guys know what I'm, I'm thinking about all the inappropriate things I could say now. <laughs> That's just how it is. You're not touching this one, Jessica. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have to say much. If you've been here before, you know. You know. And that's all I need to say. And I bet there's giggles. Kind of feels... Is it good? I don't know. Feels quite good. <laughs> Best of sense of humor. Mark is still here. <laughs> yes, uh, Quano, you can do that if that's what you prefer to say. And I'm honestly not surprised if you actually get the opportunity to say that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to squeeze all of that in. We're we're happy at at this point. And now, hello Dominique. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Happy Easter. How are you celebrating Easter? Do you celebrate Easter?
but I am starting to get hungry. So I will be, I will be stuffing my face here in a bit. I'm not ending stream or anything. You're just going to be allowed to watch that <laughs> if you want to. Uh, keep me company. Yep. Question is what I should do, though. I think I know what I'm in the mood for. There we go. And now we're going to be snippy snippy and getting the needle out and close this hole. You don't do anything for Easter. Stuff your hole or face will still be here. <laughs> Love you, Jessica. <laughs> have some herring. I don't have any. I don't have any. I didn't get any because I wasn't like the I knew I would be home alone. Uh, and to do that, I will have to boil potatoes and whatnot. I'm not just going to eat the herring. Back to the grind. You have fun, Bonnie. When you say you're going to be stuffing your face, I feel you need to ask it. What if it put, I, I'm not going to put the, the fluffy stuff in my face. I'm going to put foods in my face. <laughs> morning, Bud Files. Well, yes, good morning to you. It's uh, It's about dinner time here. And I'm closing this one up and then I will be right back with some foods. So that will give you guys plenty of time to dehydrate or stretch your legs or whatever you need to do at this time. I don't know what you guys need to do at this time. Only you know. Only you know. I can only come with suggestions. So but I will have something to eat. I haven't even finished my coffees or anything, so I don't need to refill that. I might get rid of some my empty coffee cup and whatnot. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> have some schnapps with the herring. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Sitting here just eating herring and getting myself tipsy. Wouldn't you love that? That would be a fun stream, right? <laughs> but I'd still want potatoes. And let's just tuck this one away somewhere in the depth of the egg. There we go. And a teeny tiny bit off. And we now have a, a white and a pink egg. I do believe that they're about the same size. Maybe. Maybe. So that means I have not made the small egg. Because I have done this egg twice. The same size. So we have not made the small one. So that will be what we're doing in a bit. But we have, we made this egg and we made this egg today. And we are making um, a leek, a onion thingy thingy also. We have been busy today. So I'm just going to make a less of a mess here. If I'm going to sit here and eat, I'm not going to have all of these things here anyway. I need some space to eat. So let's... Let's do like this for a sec. And you get to see me while I clean the desk instead of just seeing me clean the mess. Because when I'm going to be eating, you don't need to see that anyway. So you get to see my face when I eat. How no nice of me, right? Scissor over there, crochet hook over there. I don't want all these yarns here when I eat. So we're moving that to the side. Uh um. <laughs> You're eating fried eggs, and I usually eat that on weekends. 
Well, I have sunny side up here with with cute eyes. For sure. And Marcus knows how fluffy this yarn is because he has a friend made out of this yarn. Well, the thicker version of it, but the same type of yarn, fluffy and soft and all good. And that one, um, I'm sorry, Marcus, but Quano uh, did no notice that there was a big joke to be had about that one. And I wasn't in a very, I, I was totally broken Saturday, so I wasn't there. But there was plans to to have some jokes about that monster of yours. Uh, Quano did make me giggle quite some. Uh, because your monster is more appropriate, inappropriate than I could have ever imagined. Um, did he tell you that? That he was going to ask you if you could show it to him? Jokes about your monster, yes. Yeah, no, but but um, Quano wanted to ask you if you could show him your pink one-eyed monster. Uh, and that one is very open for interpretations, right? Um very i did not see that coming to be honest i was not expecting that <laughs> let's do i have a picture of it somewhere i can probably find a picture of that somewhere in my in in somewhere yes yes you you hear the inappropriate in that right you're a big one-eyed monster mm -hmm. And the fact that it's pink doesn't make it better. So this is the monster we are talking about. But it's very cute. But there's a lot of laughs. For sure. <laughs> it is cute though. That's why I got the hot pink of uh, the yarns we were that was here just a few minutes ago because that's what I had for the mouth and the um, bow. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. All right. I had another pattern that I wanted to do today also. We'll see if we get to that. But we've on only been here for uh, four and a half hours-ish. Um, so there's plenty of time to still do things, right? Let's move the eggies over to the seahorsey. And now the new eggie also gets to hang out over here. We got the eggies. Or maybe we should put that one up here. It does have more room up here on Sharky. Next to the big snaily and whatnot. And I did get uh, find the bee in, um, somewhere. I don't know where I had stuff. There's things all over the place here. There we go. I feel I am pretty ready to eat. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and grab some food. And, and I will be back in a few. So don't go anywhere. Right? I see you soon.
I'm back. Did you miss me? So I'm being really silly and eating something that has been really enjoyable to me for quite some time now. <laughs> it's probably not the best dinner I would ever have, but it's uh, Greek yogurt with frozen raspberries and cereals. Because I'm allowed to do that when I don't have family at home. I can eat what I want, right? Oh, cereal on the floor. Yep.
but I do really enjoy the frozen raspberries in it. And it's better than adding like a sugary jam or something. Just plain berries. So that's what I'm going to be eating. I'm munching away. What did I miss? <laughs> You've been talking about the monster. Mm -mm -mm. Well, if we're not behaving, we might have rogue agents coming in and mess around here. There's, there's, you never know what happens here. Maybe the EMS will be called, what was it, eggplant mediation service? <laughs> Nana Michelle, good to see you. Happy Easter. You're going to be joining me with the yogurt, but frozen blueberries and granola later. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty much what I have. Yogurt and these, like, cereal-y things and raspberries. This is really yummy. Oh, and if it's too crunchy when I eat, just let me know and I'll mute my mic. I'm all fine with that. I don't know how much you can hear about the crunch, but I'm assuming that you might hear it, so... But how are you, Nana Michelle? Nice to see you. Yes. Agent Smith from The Matrix. Well, we'll, we'll see if that happens. They, stuff has been weird lately. With the pickle and the eggplant and, mm, yeah, no. And now we're making a leek. The, the, the oniony type of thing. But I need to make a carrot. And some other things. But at least I know that the chat is taken care of when the rogue agents are running around. You're working on a shawl and house cleaning in between. Most peeps do the crochet in between, but you're doing the house cleaning in between instead. I kind of felt the same this morning when everyone left and I was home alone. I was like, I'm going to do a live. I'm going to be live all day. I'm going to hang out with my friends. And I'm just going to be crocheting all the day. And it's like, I might as well clean a little bit. Because if I get myself a little bit sweaty or something from cleaning, at least I'm going to take a shower before I, I actually do the stream. So I was like... I better just do a little bit cleaning first and then I can relax and enjoy the rest of my day without even having to like feel guilty about just sitting here. So I did clean for like, I don't know, 20 minutes and that was it. No more cleaning. I just have to look over my shoulder to see what it looks like now with some new, some new squishy stuff over here. I think I need to get me some more white yarn so I can make some more eggs because they are cute. They are fun.
<laughs> nice to know that you've been keeping an eye out for them. <laughs> Brett's hanging out in the scrap basket, and so far it seems to be okay, I guess. No, no rogue agents. I think it would be weird if they don't show up. They've been here the last few weekends. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Craft mod, thumbs up. Thank you very much. How are you today? Happy Easter. I'm just going to eat a little bit and then we're going to go back to the crochet in. Question is, where do we go next? Small egg. Continue on the leak. I'm just sitting looking at my animals behind me here. Or should I do some puff stitches in my puff stitch purgatory maybe? Who needs a rogue agent when you got me here? I, I know. I know you're you're kind of rogue as well. I am good. I'm stuffing my face for a little bit. I've been here for five hours and I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. But I needed to, to refill a little bit and stuff my face. Feels like there's more and more people waking up now. We're make, waking up. I don't know. Maybe people have been busy. Feels like I see more people here. Which is awesome. Then again, I know you guys come and go as whatever you're doing. I'm going to be frogging this one. I can do that in between. I only had... When I started the Asteria, there was a couple of people that wanted to do the Asteria. That got a little stuck. So I um, did a little video type of thing show and tell or like the pattern is in russian and whatnot so or yeah there's videos in russian so i just did it in english for a few rows that was tricky but now i don't need that and my hysteria is just hanging out and yeah can you guys guess what we're doing with this yellow yarn instead there's plans for the yellow yarn now. That's why I needed to frog that. Because I need to use it. And in my mind, yellow is... Probably not used for that many things. Oh, wait. You can do sunflowers and stuff also. But yeah, no. That's not what I'm planning to do with the yellow. I thought my coffee would be gone by now. I've been crocheting so much I haven't even bothered about my coffee. Oh, but why will why I'm sitting while I'm sitting here stuffing my face? Let's go and take a look in the scrap basket. I bet a bunch of you are hanging out there. That, 
that is a weird thing. <laughs> that, no. There's definitely room for quite some stuff over there. Yep. Hmm. Let's do like this. <laughs> let's let's start a poll while I eat. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, um, the apartment, Katrine, I am, um, I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, someone else has been offered it. As far as I know, it's no contract is signed. So if that doesn't happen, um, they will come to me. But yeah, um, I don't think I have good chances. <laughs> Okay, we got to pull up for a little bit now. What should I be doing when I finish stuff in my face? The ears are very slippery on my head. Or like, it's, yep. <laughs> Another egg, it's Easter. There's time for eggs and all of the other things also. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Puff stitches and bananas Neck and neck Well I guess You still have time since I'm still eating But Who am I going to decide if, if you can't decide Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tricky. I do believe that the banana would be pretty fast, though. I have a thicker yarn for that than the leek. 
so it should be it should be faster even more even <laughs> you guys Yeah, we need more votes. Okay, Granny D posted something new on her community tab. So sorry, but still hurting from these allergies. So I hope to see y'all on Monday. Happy blessed Easter. Love y'all and hugs. Aww. So, no Granny D today or tomorrow then? Is how I interpret that. You have fun, Moonrose, whatever you're going to be doing. Hmm. And now all of a sudden... Egg is winning. But yes, it is Easter. So, I totally understand that we want to see some more eggs. <laughs> neck and neck, more votes. <laughs> Puff stitch purgatory or another egg? <laughs> now it's evened out again, you guys. Do I have any more coffee in this one? Okay. On to the next. And I have coffee in my nose. Because, yes. Apparently a good place to put coffee. If you didn't know. I don't know if it was a good place to put coffee, but I did. Let's squiggle stuff around. I don't want to have... Things all over the place. But I have some space over here where I have things. Question is. Are we happy with this? Another egg is. Where we're at right now. Another egg it is. So what color are we doing the next egg in? We did already use this, those colors. How about a blue egg? That feels Eastery, I think. And since we did a big egg, I'm thinking... Marshmallow eggs are in the mold. Jessica's making marshmallow eggs. 
Yum. Let's make the small egg. This one's going to be faster since it's a smaller egg. Where did I put the little, there, the stitch marker <laughs> yarn piece thingy thingy? Let's. And there we got six. And now we're going to make two in each. Yay. One, two. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Fluff all over. I am so full of fluff. My pants are fluffy. What's in your cup? Please remember to hydrate. Thank you, Nightbot. Yeah, I can have some more coffee. For sure. Oh, itchy. My earrings are barely showing. They're barely visible and my hair is in the way. Maybe I should have had my hair in the ponytail. But it's kind of like an Easter egg. You don't know that they're there until you realize that they are there. A teeny tiny Easter egg thingy magic. Uh, I 
So are you only making regular marshmallow um, eggs or is it like some type of flavored marshmallow? I know you talked about that you're going to cover them in chocolate. So I'm guessing that is maybe enough flavor in itself, like marshmallow and the chocolate. Or did you make them even fancier than that? You missed the poll. <laughs> what would you have voted for? What would you have wanted to see? This egg is probably going to be quite a quick one. So there's plenty of time to do more than just this one. Regular marshmallows covered in yummy chocolates. Yes. And you did get a bunch of different chocolates also. You wanted to see the leak finished. Well, there's plenty of time. There's still possibility for that to happen. But since I did say that we're doing it um, true to size, um, there is some, some work to be done for that to happen. Still very possible that it can be done today. Because I have made an egg, this one, and worked on this and been in the scrap basket. And we have been here for five hours. So if I'm here for another five hours, it should be finished, right? Uh, now I'm doing five rows with no increases. Easy peasy. This is the size I have not done of these yet, so I have no idea what to expect size-wise, but since it's supposed to be smaller, then it, it's got to be smaller, right? And it's... Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be taking a very long time to make this one. Should I make a bunch of these? And have like a basket full of them. Not necessarily now. I'm just like thinking. Or I might have to do a basket. To keep all the eggs in. A separate basket. Maybe in fluffy yarns. Like this is already. Fluffy. So maybe I should make a fluffy basket. For all the eggs. So I can put all my eggs in one basket. There's. That's kind of a joke in itself. I don't know if that's a saying that's very Swedish or if it actually is something you guys might have heard. That you don't have all the eggs in the same basket is kind of like you're crazy type of situation. And if you have all your basket or eggs in one basket, then you're keeping together in, in a sense. <laughs> Yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> well, I can make a basket for the small ones, and then I make a bunch of small ones. And I have the big ones elsewhere. I do have a big one somewhere else. Well, Minimi has. It's somewhere. In her room, I'm guessing, but I don't know, because she's spreading things out all over the place. But I think that's where I saw it last. Good yeah, good morning, Robert. Happy Easter. How are you today? Today we're making things. Eggs and vegetables. 
It's very foody. But yeah, I need to... I need to get more of the white yarn so I can make more of the fried eggs. In U.S. it means to di diversify. Hmm. You just got up. Oh, and Jessica is asking how your blanket is coming along. Are you working on a blanket? Or is it just time to wake up and, and no working on blanket? Perhaps some coffee or something, maybe. Maybe. Six, sju, åtta, nio. So I think two more rounds. Yeah. Tomorrow's. And then we start to decrease. I think I have a chocolate egg. Similar to size like this one. In the candy. Um, in, in my candy cupboard. <laughs> And Jen is back at the computer. That is nice. So you got all the stuff sorted and fixed that you felt like you needed to fix? Awesome. Or is it just a little break? Did I say one more row? Mm -mm. Yep, one more row. One more row. One more row. One ten PM. It's six ten PM. Yeah, that's also a thing here. Uh, you guys are using the AM and PM. I'm only using that because you guys or most people understand what I'm talking about. But I would say 1811. If I just looked at what time it is right now. You worked on the blanket for four hours yesterday. That is good. That's quite some, some work. Took you some... I, that must have been, you know, a good chunk made. A bunch of stitches. Four hours of stitches. That's definitely a good job. So, two and a decrease is what we're doing all the way around. And decrease. One, two, decrease. One and two, and a decrease. Sunset. Well, that's. I have no, no, I think the sun is still up. I have the blinds pulled down because when I started the stream, the sun was straight into the window and it get very hot in here when the sun is going into the window. So I closed everything down, but I could open the blinds now. Sunset. 
So 10 o'clock, that would be on like California, like this, that, that's, that would be the right time zone, I'm guessing. Or is it even further away? T 10 a.m. No, that should be like Pacific time, right? I do believe I need to get stuffing after this row. Because otherwise, it's going to be a bit too tight of a squeeze to get any stuffing in here. And it does say to stuff. And the next row is decrease to, um, to close it, pretty much. So, more stuffing. Dominique is still here. Nice. I don't know how much stuffing we will need, but I'm getting a little bit more. There we go. Perhaps I should have changed back to the other camera angle but I needed to not sit bent forward all the time. I need to change position because that is good to not do the same thing all over and over again. That will be painful in the end. Little history! <laughs> Welcome in. How are you today? Happy Easter. Nice to see you. We're making I make an Easter egg. I did the white and pink over there. Uh, the pink over there is from before. And the eggplant is finished. Dominique is going to eat. Well, you enjoy your dinner. Whatever you're going to be eating. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Are you getting any work done today? You weren't able to get much built when you had your chat full of people <laughs> that didn't want to let you build your builds. <laughs> but I'm guessing if you're hanging out in the chats and watching something else, you might have time to actually do something of your own and not just read chat. You definitely needed a chat dolly. <laughs> oh, that was a fun day. And Herb is still here. Little blue egg. Yeah, the why is the it's the light from the screen. It's just too much. It's making everything that's light to just look terrible. You got some done today. Yes. You will probably get more done if you're not live and have your chat full of people that wants to chat and make sure that you cannot build anything. <laughs> Fish. Fem. Six. There we go. 
and snippy snippy the scissor isn't the good one why am i using the crappy scissor i don't know it was closest needle 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 Jessica is distracted away from the chat. What? Well, you're, you're busy with the marshmallows. This is. I wouldn't say this is a proper like chicken egg size. What would be the next size up from a chicken? A duck? A goose? What would be? This is way too big to be a chicken egg. The other one is that like an ostrich egg? No, they're bigger, isn't they? I think they're bigger. I'm not that familiar in like sizes of eggs, but for sure this one feels too big to be a chicken egg. And scissor again. And next egg finished. There we go. Finished. There we go. There we go. Yeah, now you can see the color much clearer when it's not getting all blown out by the... by my very not so helpful computer screen that messes up the colors over there it does look true to color baby blue so we were talking about getting the leak done so let's go and get the leak or continue continue we have the hook and we got the leak and now we get rid of that we don't need that There has been a bunch of people that has passed through here today because we got a bunch of thumbs up. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, this is really like going from four millimeter with like fluffy big yarn <laughs> to a two millimeter with tiny yarn. Uh, this was a difference. I'll tell you that much. It was a bit of a jump. At least this one's not going to be a stuffing eater. Well, there's going to be some stuffing that to fill it up, but it's not going to be as much as the X. Yes, I have 39 likes, and I really appreciate that. Jessica, all the eggs that you're making, are you making any for yourself or are you only making for other people now? I never asked you that. If you're going to get to eat a marshmallowy egg or are you only getting the leftovers scraping out of, you know, the marshmallow? It's not a dough. What would you call it? It's, an, it's not a dough and it's not a paste batter marshmallow batter is that what we're saying <laughs> it's gonna take you about four hours to get 
to that state. Um, you're kind of already there because I think this is kind of your normal state, but I'm also uh, assuming that you're prepping for hanging out with Marcus later. It wouldn't be surprising if I say so. <laughs> You'll have at least one. Maybe marshmallow fluff. Ooh. The only thing that makes it a bit odd with this leak is that the stripes is going around and it feels more natural if it had been stripey on the other direction. Right? You yeah. Let's hope that you can behave yourself at Marcus. We both know you can't, but at least you can. At least I we know you can because I see you behaving now. Even though it might not be as much fun, but we know you can be a good boy. Next week you're gonna crochet a C. A see-through egg with flour hanging in the middle. How are you going to do that? Are you going to make like a lacy type of thing and then put um, a balloon inside and blow it up and starch it or something? Because that's kind of a see-through. And it will be kind of staying in shape that way. How I will make the roots. The roots are actually just similar to what this is this is my stitch marker but they're kind of like just threads sewn in and hanging da dangling in the pattern so that is what i'm probably gonna do i don't know i don't have the pattern there i lost the pattern no there it is um, mm -mm. so we can take a look at the picture of what the pattern actually looks like. Um, why is, do I need to do this because, oh, so this is what it looks like. And it looks like the roots are just threads that is, um, kind of tied into it. So that is, um, it looks pretty simple to just cut a few strands and kind of knot them so that they stay. <laughs> I lied <laughs> and Brett is agreeing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to debate that one. Yeah, so this is what we're doing with this one. Um, it just going to be this color only. Because why not? Not all of the makes needs to be like 
true to color and realistic. The snail definitely isn't. And size-wise, it's definitely not. Imagination is allowed. And anything goes when you crochet, right? You can crochet a lot of things. Should probably get some stuffing soon while I can still get it all the way down. Yep. At least some. Okay, now we can continue for a bit longer. Anyone else has some fun Easter-y decorations that they've made themselves? Eggs or Easter doilies or chickens? What do you decorate, decorate your house with for Easter? <laughs> Is anyone else wondering what it would take to get Marcus in a set of the bunny ears. I don't know. Maybe you just have to send him a pair. I don't think he'd be too scared of wearing a pair of bunny ears. But he might not want to go out and buy a pair. Hello, Jeannie. It's been a while. How are you? Happy Easter. Really nice to see you. Hope all is good with you. We have some new friends that I've made today. We've made some eggs. The eggs up top. We made them today. And, and the fried egg is all from today. And we did start this leak. We're doing vegetables of all sorts of shapes and whatnots to go with the eggplant that I did earlier this week.
you've been staying away from the YouTube. I get that. I get that. Yep. Yeah, there's been a bit too much lately. But I'm sitting here and working on my vegetables and foods. Yep. Belly full of pancakes. And now you've got some tea. That is awesome. So you get to sit and relax and crochet and enjoy your tea. Sounds like a good time. Well, you have your tea and I have my coffee. More coffee for me and more tea for you. Indeed, I do agree. It's a nice even split. The Dutchman's Woodjack. Hello. Happy Easter. You sent me an email. Is it something I should check now or later? Is it something we should all look at or is it for my eyes only? Welcome to Amanda's. Be sure to hit the like on your way to the bell to not miss the whites, pinks, and deeps red and all the other various colors of yarn and wine. Thank you, Brett. Yeah, we don't have any pink bubbly stuff. Now, that could change. It's a possibility. Ooh, you made something for Easter and we get to look at it. Yes. Oh, you got you got some pictures here. You don't decorate the house for Easter, but you made some challenges this month that you participated in. Oh, there's some cute ones. The same basket and eggs, but the chicks has two eggshells outfits. Oh, okay. Let's, okay. So we have some Easter things and... We got a bowl. <laughs> That's really cute. Is that eggs hiding behind there? Or is that something else? That kind of looks like egg shape and behind there also. And the chick is kind of in an egg. Aw. And a somebody. I guess that, that looks like somebody. But here we see this bowl again. I'm guessing it's the same bowl. But with a different chicky chicky? Or is it the same chicky with different clothings? You did say something about the, the clothes. But they're really cute. Rainbowy eggshell. For a chicky chicky. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of eggs. You've been busy. Really cute. Was that all the pictures? I need to make sure. Yes, that looks like all of them. Thank you very much. We don't have any Easter decorations at all other than, well, you see what I have over here, but that's my little corner over here. Mm 
we did take down the Christmas curtains though and put up the the other curtains that's more spring green in the living room and um, white and gray in the kitchen so all the Christmas stuff is out And Jessica is busy with eggs, but in a different way. She's making marshmallowy eggs. Are you going to take two halves and make them into one whole? Or are you going to just have them half and cover them in chocolate on like one side? I'm guessing you're going to put two halves together and then put chocolate on them, but I'm not sure. But that looks like it was a sticky mess when you did it. Some sticky fingers must have occurred. <laughs> that is a very... Yeah, marshmallowy stuff. That is not easy to just get rid of. Definitely something that looks good, though. I would definitely eat them if I could. But they're a bit too far away. Just saying. I don't think you can ship those to me. And they would come, like, looking at anything similar to what they look like now. <laughs> it would be a mess. You're going to be hanging decorated plastic eggs on the gate in the morning for the children passing to take home. Oh, that is cute. That is nice of you. question is how far should I go before I start adding the base of the leaves the leaves can be adding quite some hmm let's go for at least a little bit longer and then we're starting to look at the more leafy top part marshmallow eggs yes Jessica, how are you going to join them? If you are. She might have all sticky fingers from the marshmallowy stuff and might not be able to, to type. We don't want her to make a mess on her keyboard or anything. So we might get to, to wait for an answer. I do believe she still hears us, though. At least as long as she's in the kitchen, she should be hearing us. Athena, if you're hearing me, <laughs> apparently Tank accidentally dropped her phone and managed to time you out. It should have been 
sort of. <laughs> that was an accident. Uh, yep, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> you might not be able to type for a little bit, but it should be very short. It was way longer. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was, a, like, how many seconds was that? Oh, uh, yeah, no, okay, so you can talk again. I think you were timed out for quite some time. Uh, you were timed out for 86,000 seconds. I didn't even know that that was a, a number that could be added. <laughs> wow. How many 86,000? thousand seconds how many hours is that but that's not talking minutes we're talking hours now uh, <laughs> yeah that's almost a full day no nope, it's it's sorted uh oh it's a 24 hour one okay why is it not just saying 24 hours why is it saying it in seconds I didn't even see that, but now I see it when, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that was very uh, <laughs> much a mistake. But anything can happen when you drop your phone. I know that much. The other night I was like really tired and I, tucked myself in at the same time mini me went to bed but i was pretty sure i was like i i pretty much slept when my head hit the pillow and mini me was um allowed to have cartoons on a phone for a little bit and then i woke up like probably i don't know four or five hours later and i still heard the cartoons i was like where are they like i don't see it lighting up the room or anything like maybe it's upside down so i can't see it i was like where is it? I hear the sound. <laughs> and Minimi's laying on her belly, face down. And I was like, is, is it under her belly or something? No. No, she had comfortably, and the screen was like lit up. She had it in her face. And it was like her, the skin was a bit sticky because of the phone. So I tried to move it. And, you know, when, <laughs> when skill, skin gets pulled because of something being like stuck on it, Oh, I felt so bad when I had to move it away from her face, but that's just not the way to sleep. You're not supposed to sleep on your phone. And I have plenty of times been in bed watching something and like, not tired, not tired, uh, fall asleep, drop the phone on my nose. That is, that happens more often than you'd imagine because that's just me. But face planting a phone the way she did and just sleep on it, that's a new one for me. Oh, you're on the phone. Are you, but when you cover them in chocolate, is that is it chocolate you're going to use to glue two halves together to make a whole egg? Or how are you going to do that? You didn't even notice that you got timed out. Even better. <laughs> At least we can laugh about it. Hello, Wayne. Happy Easter. How are you today? Nice to see you. Have you eaten any eggs today?
Oh, you're celebrating Easter tomorrow? Oh, we kind of celebrate Easter the whole weekend here, so that's... I guess that's a big difference, that you only celebrate one day. Because there's a bunch of you that seems to only be celebrating one day. Today is like a big Easter lunch type of thing with more of the, you know, pickled herring, potatoes, and eggs and whatnot. Not maybe the heavy things like the meats and whatnot that it would probably be more for like today's dinner or tomorrow's dinner. But it, today, most people would probably have potatoes and eggs and herrings and stuffs. At least I know that's what my dad had for lunch today. But no pickled herring without the schnapps. That's just how it is. And you don't get no schnapps if, unless you have some pickled herring. It's You don't get either or. It's both or nothing. Mm -hmm. And I think we have, was it today, tomorrow, and Monday that there's like a, was it, no, it's not the circus, it's like a traveling amusement park thingy thingy in town. Might go and take a look at that tomorrow or Monday. Depends on when. When I'm not home alone anymore, um, when they get home tomorrow, they might come too late for that. So that might be a thing for Monday. Pickled herring is very lovely. Pickled herring and tomato, it's tomatoes, potatoes. And depending on what type of flavor, because uh, you can, there's the mustard pickled and there's like the regular pickled has, um, onions and carrots and spices and herbs but depending on on what you pickle it with or like the flavorings i also like sour cream and finely chopped chives really good to go with pickled herring if it's more like a of a plain pickling Something that has become more and more popular because people pickle their own herring, but to mix the flavors um, and come with like new ideas. We had lime and something. I think that came, like that's just a few years old since they invented that combination. And then something that has been very popular for some time is vodka and lingonberry pickles herring um yeah there's there's a bunch of different flavor combinations the mustard pickled herring and the regular ones like more basic plain whatever that's the ones i usually go for but occasionally I'll get some of the newer ones or something else. Because when we do uh, pickled herring, there's usually like three or four different kinds um, to choose from. And, you know, you take a little bit of everything. That's just how it goes. Just half eggs covered in chocolate for the eggs. And it was sticky. <laughs> <laughs> and so is Joey Bird. You got the bird in there? No. No birdie in the in the marshmallows. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. You got marshmallows in your hair. Um, Birdie. Uh that needs uh why is Birdie not with Daddy? Yeah. 
you're not a fan of my choice of the herring. Pickled curry herring. Um, you can probably find that here too. I don't think I've seen that. Like a lot of the pickled herrings that I've had is more like the homemade ones. Because I do have a couple of family members that really likes to do their own stuff. So that is, it's easier to just take what they have uh, made instead of buying other things. But also like when we're doing family gatherings, um, there's always like, you bring this, I bring that type of thing. Uh, and if someone wants to pickle herring, that has priority over store-bought store uh, pickled herring. Oh, dad is not home. So no one can take Joey and, and now you have marshmallows in your hair. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, no. Birdie and time out for that. No pickled fish for any kind of reason for you. <laughs> you like fish, but not pickled. <laughs> it was a, a white sticky mess for a minute. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. Birdie ate lots of sugar and is now taking a nap. Yeah, that... Mm. <sighs> Maybe not the best thing for Birdie to eat. I guess. Did Birdie get angry when you tried to move, move it away? And got like fingers a bit or whatnot. Stay out of the sugar. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that being Birdie being angry and screaming. We've seen how Birdie can scream on Jessica's live streams. <laughs> when Birdie is angry and not getting attention, but like taking away my sugar, now I'm gonna be angry. Yep. I just keep going here. I haven't even, like, checked it twice here. Are we getting to the point where this looks life-size and it's time to start adding the leafy, leafy bits? I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like this with leaves or something. And Granny D texts you. She's not going live until Monday. She's, yeah, the allergies. Well, sh I did see something. Uh, on her community thingy thingy. I did um, read that out a little bit ago. I don't know who was here to hear it though. So also a good friendly reminder. Some stretching is always good. Stretch your fingers and whatnot. I don't do it often enough. Then again, it takes away from my crochet time. Silly me, but yeah.
Well, let's hope that Granny D gets better from the allergies, or everyone else, for that matter, also, that has issues with allergies. Seems to be a lot of people right now that has issues with that, so let's hope that it gets better for everyone. But also that Granny D gets to come home soon. I think she misses all her yarns and Mount Whitmore and whatnots. So let's hope she can reunite with them soon. Hello, your highness. The queen is in the house. How are you today? Happy Easter. Queen has entered the castle or something. <laughs> what are you doing today? Jessica is fighting with Birdie. Birdie made Jessica get marshmallow sticky stuff in her hair. Yeah, that bird is a little rascal. Thank you, Nightbot, for reminding people to hit the like button. A friendly reminder could always be good once in a while, right? You're trying to get your kitchen finished? What are you doing with your kitchen? Like as in cleaning or washing dishes or something? Or are you like redoing things? <laughs> Thank you, Pooh. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Rosie Posey, back from nap. So glad you're still on. Well, you, happy you're back. Are you feeling rested now? Or better? I am still here. Very true. And now we're doing the leeks again. Or the leek. Two eggs done. A big egg and a small egg. And, and a fried egg. I don't remember where I was at when you left to take your nap. But we have done a bunch of eggs. Of different types. Painting, you need to stop putting it off and get done. Oh, okay. So you're gonna you're gonna make your kitchen pretty. You get to crochet now. Yeah, I was working on the eggs when you left. Okay. Yeah, we got a bunch of eggs made, but now we're continuing where we 
with the newest make. Well, those are also new make because I did them like start today and finish today, but we started this this morning. Well, lunchtime, my time. L uh, morning for you guys, because most of you have been waking up with me today. Not sure how much I'm going to have to adjust the pattern since I'm not following the pattern now. Um, making this way longer than the other one or the pattern says. So, not sure how much different it will be. And how much I might have to adjust for certain things. To make it look like proportionally decent something something. We need to be able to see that it's a leak, right? Even though my colors are different. But I think the first row of leaves should probably be added soon. Or like where I should add them. Because that is like work the whole round in back loop only. So that the front loops are available for attaching the leaves at the top. Oh, there's a hair that's messing with me. I don't know where it's at, but it's here somewhere. It's tickling my face. Maybe this is what's messing with me. Don't know. I wonder how many rows I've done from there. Sixty-one, and the pattern wants four. 
48 before you start doing the the back loop only rows and then two more rows and hmm so two rows in between and that's it and then the I think I want to do more than that. I want it more, more leafy, but also it is taller. So I need to have them a little bit longer. Also the, the leafy parts, I think. I'm just trying to figure out what I might have to do to adjust the pattern to make that extra leafy round, kind of. Kind of feel like there's something here that I'm not really getting in the pattern. I might have to try some stuff to see if I can figure it out. But I think we have quite of a good. This looks pretty life size to me. Maybe a little bit more, but not too far off. Ugh. What color are you painting the kitchen, China? 
I didn't ask that. If you're still here, that is. Five more stitches, I think. And we're going to do the first. First row of them stitches. Was that the right one? There we go. And now Army Green, blah blah blah. And back loop only for one row. You love your honey? You're only able to collect about half the flowers you needed for the wine and no chickweed. And he finished picking them for you. And your car boy came two days early. Dandywine in eight months. Wow. That sounds like you've been, uh, you've been busy and productive. And also, yay for you that you didn't have to do it all by yourself. But that sounds like you must have picked quite um, a lot of them. Like that sounds, well, I, I have no idea how much you'd need to make a batch of wine, but it seems to me at least that it takes quite some to get somewhat of a decent amount. Go bigger, go home, right? Make a proper batch while you're at it. Or however much you can fit in the in the thingy that you're gonna be using. Rita! <laughs> I started six hours ago just when you got visitors that just got home. Now you have to clean up to do, so you'll be lurking in the dishes? Well, anything you you need to do, you need to do it, right? But I'm, I'll happily keep you company while you do the dishes. Did you have family coming over for Easter lunch type of thing? And you missed out on a lot of things today. Well, you can always rewatch it when you go to sleep at some point in the week, right? If you need some company. And Jessica has chicken chimichanga. Ooh. So I'm guessing Birdie Daddy came home and, and had food with him because you've been busy with your, with your, um, marshmallowy stuff so that doesn't leave a lot of room for cooking right
Oh! Daughter brought food home. Is that from the place she works? That she got that? Your aunt and cousin and slash sister. So you had a lot of fun and made gluten-free pizza for all of you. Yeah, that is definitely not Easter food, but it sounds good to me. Then again, I'm not having any um, Easter foods this year. Because I don't have the energy to do all of that for myself. Because I'm hanging out with you guys. We're doing other things. That's more important. Lime green and white in your kitchen. That sounds nice. I like green in kitchens. It's light, bright, and fresh. Diana is back. Hope you didn't miss anything. Well, I don't know where, where we lost you, but we have two new eggs and a little flat egg, and I'm back to working on the leek. So that's what we're doing now. We're kind of at the point where we're going to start closing this one up. And add leaves. Oh, she doesn't work there. Okay. So you don't get Mexican food often. Or you might be, but not from her taking it home. From like work type thing. I'm working on one now. A leek. Like an onion uh, thingy thingy. But I'm. I had this yarn that is. It's hard to tell what the colors are. I have another one. Let's let's put it over here. Because the colors look way better. When my screen isn't blowing out the colors. So it's like green. Um, in three shades. And some white. And we're making a. One of them long onion things. I think some have said scallion but isn't that like the thinner ones like the the yeah and i don't have the fancy yarns to make it like same colors type of thing but then again the snail up there looks awesome with just a fun color changing yarn so i might as well keep to the theme of anything goes at least it's green Mexican food, you love it, but you only go for special occasions. You make it yourself at home. Yep. If you know how to do it, then you might as well. We don't eat a lot of Mexican food here. So that is... That is the one row in back loop. We go one more row. And then we're doing more back loops. Noe, good morning slash afternoon. Yeah, it's uh, 7.23 p.m. So I think I'm past the afternoons, but I bet a bunch of you guys are in the afternoons. And also maybe even noon-ish. How are you today? What are you doing? Happy Easter. What's in, in people's cups and, and what's on your hooks or benches or wood shops or whatever you are entertaining yourself with today. I should have just asked, what's everyone up to? That would have been uh, so much easier to ask the question and still make sense, right? <laughs> I love when friends can help with cooking, getting some inspiration. I feel very often that I do the same old, same old recipes. I have like a bunch of things and we keep eating them. At least once a month, there's this. And two times a month, there's that. Variation is mm, kind of not so varied.
I am in the future. I'm a whole hour ahead of you, Kono. Tired. Trying to find a way to catch the baseball game without cable. Oh, you want to see a game and, and it's only available on cable and you don't have it? I don't have any ideas of what you could do to try. Mm. Drinking watermelon soda water and sewing pockets onto a Granny Hexie in the color lilac. That sounds pretty. Sounds really pretty. Lilac is a pretty color. Is the pockets the lilac color or all of it? You cut the cord this year. Comcast wanted 110 for their lowest tier package. Is that per month? Or is that per year? Or something? Yes, yeah, sw switching stuff around does make a nice variation in the kitchen for sure. Per month. That's that's crazy. And that is only for TV channels. That like no, that would the more expensive thing we have here is the internet, not the not the TV part. And it's still like a bundle. If you have the same like we have the same supplier for the TV channels and the internet. And it's still like the internet is the the bigger chunk of the cost. And it's still like, could we be paying maybe $60 a month for internet and TV? I think. Go to a bar that has it. That could be a way to get rid of it. Or like around it. Can you bring some yarn? I'm sitting crochet in a bar. <laughs> Would people like. What's she doing? Or whoever. You know. I finished my coffee. Let's go over to Bougie. I did get stuff out, but I did not open anything. Cheers, you guys. So now I have done two rows of that leafy part. What am I supposed to do now? One and two. I should do one proper round around this. Cheers, big ears. <laughs> yes, I have big ears because it's Easter and I can do it. All of it's the same color you made for others, for family and friends, and wanted to make one for you. Yes. And pockets to hold your phone and yarn scraps and snacks. 
then you need to make some big pockets if you're going to fit all of that in. You didn't know Cleveland changed their name. What did Cleveland change their name to? Or why? They're big. <laughs> well, if you're going to fit all of them things in it, you need to have at least space for phone and hands. That That's, yeah. They used to be Cleveland Indians, but now they're the Guardians? Hmm. And they changed that recently? There we go. I need to start decreasing from here. So we need to get some more stuff in out. Oh, now I'm bumping my ear into things because stuffing is falling. That's what, it, that's what happened. So this is my stuffing, my big bag. still plenty in that one so I should be able to entertain myself with a lot more of the amigurumis or whatever I want to do when I ordered that bag I wasn't expecting to make all of these animals and whatnot but good thing I did get the bigger one instead of a smaller didn't really have that many options when it came to stuffing And now we are decreasing how many times we're doing every three stitches. One, two, three. Decrease. Two. 
two and three. Nana Michelle is on the TV. All hi, all Ohio peeps. You live in Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga Falls on the TV, so you're missing the Jets. I'm guessing there's some type of fun uh, sporting thingy, thingy on the TV. Or what else would you be watching right now? You found some sock monkeys at the thrift store Thursday? So what are you going to do with the sock monkeys? Or are you just going to keep them as they are? Kioga? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was like, had to look at the word. That's not how it's spelled, but if that's how you want to pronounce it, then that's what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> that's a tricky one, though. You're going to keep them as they are. That's cool. Come on now. Like hi. Kai. Kyoga. That type of pronunciation. Was that more ish right? <laughs> Where is that? I have no idea. In Ohio? Is that what we were saying? Bonnie just got home. <laughs> but Jessica got, got chimichangas over there, so you might be at it over there. <laughs> I think you might have to be uh, getting over there fast. Because I, I think Joey Bird might be stealing leftovers. And then there's nothing left. So you be you must be quicker than Birdie. Kia Hoga works too. <laughs> you have a Tetley monkey wearing a dressing gown. Tetley is a brand of tea in the UK. And as well as a beer. But the monkey was an advent for the tea. Hmm. Tetley. I have never heard of Tetley. Tank is also hungry. Everyone's going to be fighting over some chimichangas. Was that what we were fighting over?
I have honestly never had any, so I don't know if it's good or not. So, what do I need to do next time? Get some more stuff in in here. That was a decrease, so one, I need to show some of you guys my new earrings because, well, I bet you missed out on my new earrings. If you have come in the last few hours, <laughs> I did talk about them in the beginning of the stream, but I have some cute earrings. I went to pick them up yesterday. It's a custom order for me. They're specially made just for this crazy girl over here. But I'm going to be getting a few stitches in here first. Uh, Swedes do, we like, we like coffee. Of course there's Swedes that drink tea, but coffee is a big thing in Sweden. With the fika. That is just a big part of the Swedish fika culture. 46 thumbs up? That is awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah, now this little the little hole that we need to stuff through is too too tiny for me to get the fingers in, so I got the back side of a tweezer. That is my pro tip. Use something else if you can't f get your fingers in it. And everything I seem to be saying today just feels so bad. I don't know what's up with me. I can't even twist it into something else. At least I can laugh at myself. So, I got me some new earrings. I'll get this thingy out just so that we can see it without my hair messing up. Do you guys see what I have? I got, I got me some dangly bits. Mm -hmm. I love my new earrings. They might be a little bit too much for some. But hey, we're in the YouTubes. 
we're having fun and it kind of just fit me right And if you want to see some more of the jewelry that she makes, I put the link in the description box. If you want to see what else she does. She made, like the very popular ones she made was um, all pink with a little silvery um, thingy thingy ball. I can take it out in a few and we can get a bigger, better close up of the earring but I did get them specifically made for me in this this colorway even though the pink ones are like a big seller of her makes did I show you the ones Michi sent me from Cliff I do not know um, maybe it does ring a bell but I don't remember um, I don't remember what, were they purple? Did you get purpley ones? The earrings looks like ghosts from afar. No, um, this is actually dangly lady bits. So that's one of them. I only took one out, but I also got these ones as well as uh, ring and a necklace so yeah maybe not for everyone but this crazy Swede is definitely gonna have fun and enjoy these because why not it's fun but I'm definitely not used to wearing like dangly bits my Normal earrings are just tiny little I think studs is probably the best. Yeah, it's it's just like the regular piercing bars with with just round stoppers or yeah. My hair is all in the way and it's slippery. <laughs> Purple and black. Yeah, I did give her like, you know, my logo as the purple and black as the um, reference to like fit my. Oh. Damn it. Why is this one being tricky now? Because I have headset and hair and all of the weird stuff. No purple. <laughs> yes, purple. A lot of purple. Yes, purple. So yeah, it's kind of a little bit messed up in my... Uh, it's some type of clay. I don't know exactly what type of clay. I do believe she bakes them in the oven. And she does also do things with resin. Um, but this is not resin. If we... Maybe we can get like a somewhat of a good close-up. So it's purple and it's black and it's got like gold metallic... A little bit of like a sparkly thing going through them. Purple and lime is awesome. China. Okay, focus, 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 focus. I'm here. I'm over here. I got eggplant with lime. And it's kind of hard stem, so it kind of looks like a nipple. <laughs> it's cold. The eggplant is cold. But I, I have, 
I have the color combination purple and lime. Almost. Or maybe more neon -y. But it's so cute. Yes, all is in Swedish. She is from Sweden. It's my neighbor. It took me like, I don't know, five minutes to walk over to her and pick these up. I can happily translate or you just shoot her a message. But she has a lot of like body positive type of things going on on her Instagram also. That's why you have all the pictures of all the ladies and, and maybe not so much clothing. Sometimes that is, you know, you need a little boost and you can go over there and look at what real people looks like and don't feel ashamed of what you might think you need to be ashamed of. I like that. Okay, so now we have, I think it's pretty good with the, it's jiggly enough. Even though leaks are, uh, they're, they're a bit more stiff than this, but I think it's good enough. And now we're just going to be closing this part off. Well, I did put the link uh, in the Instagrams. I'm making a leak. The onion, the small, the, 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 it's going to have a thingy up top. Like, it's not the scallion. It's, or is it? No, it's a leak. I don't know if that's British English or if it's, uh, I don't, I don't know. You guys say different things in different places. Um, her name the her name is Sarah, but she makes a, a, her Instagram handle or like her brand. It's Miss Jewelry in Swedish. Um, but yeah, you can always shoot her a message and see how much it would cost to get shipped to you or whatnot. She has a lot of fun stuff. Lady bits and all of that. I need a veggie stand. <laughs> what does it look like to you? If it doesn't look like a leak, what does it look like? What does it look like? Just, you know, asking. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You're not going to answer it? Hmm. Now I'm curious. Curiosity is going to kill this cat. You can't just say that and not tell me what you think it looks like. <laughs> and now I get to where's the scissor I get to cut this yarn and then we're going to make the, the the leafy bits Safe. <laughs> Where's the needles? Oh, now I'm 
apparently throwing needles. Yeah, no, no way am I going to be able to phrase that without you guys laughing. So I guess it was a good thing that I was able to like close my knees fast. Otherwise, I would have been looking for this needle on the floor. <laughs> Just, yeah. I have never seen any bobs that's green, but I bet, well, I probably have. I never owned one. Not green. I don't feel like green is the color I would go for. It just doesn't feel like it's, yeah, no. If it's green, it might not be, like, healthy. <laughs> There we go. And now we have it. Closed. Kind of. green is alien um maybe i've never seen one so I, I can only assume but you might be right <laughs> you see smoke coming from my bunny ears There might be smoke, but I'm not going to catch on fire. So don't worry. Okay, now I need to read a pattern to understand what we're going to do. But I pretty much know what I'm going to do. Because this... Okay, if I give you guys a close-up, you're going to laugh at this. But but it's, you know, it's kind of solid with the colors and nothing special here. It's just like stripey. It could be um, a cucumber. It could be a snake or something. But at the other end, we have the, the back loops only type of thing. So we get this, like, little extra fine detail up here, uh, which makes it look like something else. So So we have that little, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we're we're gonna cover this with leaves. <laughs> Drim is still here, by the way. Have you been here the whole time? How much have you been laughing? <laughs> but yeah, this little detail over here. Um yeah. <laughs> I've been behaving today. Not like the was it last week where I got all my ab workouts for like a week? Rogue agents and whatnots. Oh, <laughs> mm, yeah, like that tank. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been very well behaved. Then again. It's not that late. It's only like eight o'clock. There's still time to to derail. Um, so now I need to. I'm adding a handle. <laughs> <laughs> only eight. 
Are you tired? So I'm going to the top over there and then I'm going to count seven stitches over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where we're starting. And we're making 15 stitches. But you've been working hard. And, and it's your favorite season. The planting season and hiding in bushes season and whatnot. You gonna go and hang out with Marcus later? Or will you be sleeping by then, Drum? Oh, you've been working today as well? Not even resting on a Saturday? It's you in the bushes until September. <laughs> Four, five, six, eight, ten. Five more stitches. There we go. So we got 15 stitches. What am I supposed to be doing now? And now I'm just going to go back and forth for a bunch of rows. Probably a bit longer than what they're... They say 19 rows. But let's do some more than that, I think. You might jump in at the start, but you won't be there long if you're not sleeping before it starts. <laughs> well, let's hope that you at least stay awake until it starts so you can go and say hi in the chats to the people that I'm guessing that you haven't talked to for a bit since they are up late and you're not. They probably miss you. It's going to be really interesting to see how the yarn is going to look now when the rows are shorter and also back and forth instead of round and round. Oh, 
you didn't plan to work today, but you had a burglary, so so you had to fix stuff. Yeah, no, um, that is no fun if this was your day off and you didn't get to have the day off. A lot of things taken. Did you lose your favorite bush trimmer or something? Because that would be like really evil. Or like a weed whacker or something. You lost it all. No. Someone needs to be smacked around for that. You get new things. I hope so. But still not fun. Yeah, you need to go through and make a list. See what you lost and what you need to replace and... Mm. <laughs> I think Quano missed you at least, Trim. But we we all know that he's missing Marcus the most. That's no secret. I'm seeing a little bit of a difference in the color, how it looks like this with shorter rows. But I need to get a few more rows in so that you guys actually can see the difference. Because it's not very noticeable just yet. And I was hoping you'd get like a good long Easter break now, uh, but clearly that didn't happen because you need the rest.
<laughs> yeah, you, you. stick to one brother, Quano. You can't have them both. <laughs> yeah, he is not going to get any Christmas presents. Santa's not going to be happy with him. <laughs> Naughty list. Oh, sad news on the car. She must go to the shop for serious work. Well, at least you got someone to look at it and 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 figure that out before you just took it over there and they'd be like, no, 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 you didn't need to come all the way here. So, yeah, it's it's bad news, but it's still easier than it could have been. So will you be out of having a car for a few days while they do what needs to be done? I don't know how it works for you guys. A lot of the car mechanic places here, like if you need to put your car in for X amount of time, you can get like a rental. Um like one of their cars while they work on your car so you don't have to have no car while they work on it So the Bushman, what's the favorite veggie so far? The giant pickle or the eggplant? This one is still to be decided how this one's going to be looking. But More veggies are going to happen. But also we need some, we can't be discri discriminating. Uh, we need a banana also. And some other fruits, maybe. I don't know what type of fruits. Maybe some melons. Or a peach. The car is still fixable. It may take a few weeks. Oh, transmission. That That is not um, the cheapest thing to repair now. Hmm. Eggplant, 100%. It's something you can use. <laughs> Rosie Posey can't decide. Yeah, I'm going to open a veg vegetable stand at some point or farmer's market. I just need to make enough, right?
Hmm. There's a lot of new people here, but I don't know who all of you guys are. I see more people, but I don't see people in the chats. So maybe we need to, to um, shake the scrap basket around and see if we anyone falls out. Let's see. Maybe that woke someone up. Let's fingers crossed that something happens in the scrap basket. Yeah, carrots are going to happen also. I do have some orange yarn in mine for carrots. So that will happen. We did have the conversation, though, that size doesn't matter. What did we have? Hashtag all pickles matter. Not discriminating on size here. Very size inclusive. Or <laughs> that was about. So even if the carrots are slender, they're still they're still going to be represented. Like this one, it's long and slim and the eggplant is thick and and. The only word I can think of, it just sounds so weird, but I, I guess it's like more short and girthy. <laughs> so, so bad. So bad. Mm -mm. Oh, I shook the scrap basket too hard. Someone fell out and left. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Support pickle to the rescue. Jessica's in the scrap basket. We woke her up. You still got marshmallow in your hair? Or did Birdie at least clean up the mess? That bird, though. That bird. I think Quano needs, like, I don't know, soap for Christmas to clean all the naughty thoughts out. Don't think that's going to help, though. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're getting ready to play with the chocolate and get yourself all messy again? Yeah, keep the bird away this time, please. We don't need marshmallow and chocolate in your hair. Unless you're, you know, saving it for later. <laughs> yeah, no. We got a broccoli in the scrap basket. No surprise there. I need to make broccoli. I need to find a good, I, yes. We need that. I, I need to make a a mini bread. I need to have a broccoli in this little vegetable garden of mine. What fruits or vegetables have I crocheted lately? Well, we're making a leek. We have the pickle and I did the eggplant this week. Uh, we did get an egg and, and those two eggs made today. But that's the vegetables and stuff that I have. Other than that, we have all the animals. The wet snail and, yeah, the, the animals. So, more foods are definitely going to happen. We need a banana. A chocolatey banana. Maybe I need to make a chocolate-covered strawberry. Or three. 
also. Don't get me there. It's not for the forum. <laughs> What, the mankini? Is that what we're talking about, Drem? Do you need a crocheted version? You already have one, so I don't see the point in that. There's not enough soap in the entire universe to clean up this mind. You're probably right, Quano. Broccoli is going to be hard to make. Well, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> I need to crochet myself a little bush. That's what we're saying. A mini dream. That's a bush. And a broccoli. <laughs> you try to make a broccoli and it wasn't looking right yeah no broccoli has a different type of texture that one's definitely a harder one to make i'll do my best see what i can figure out at some point i might be able to do some justice to that At least someone has. Thoughts enough to censor themselves. Thank you for that. <laughs> Spoon. I'm still going. Yes. Of course I am. Just like the last time when I was here, you popped in, you went to bed, you came back, I was still here. It's still Happy Easter, and you have missed some stuff. Should we do a recap? What have I been doing today? We're doing leek. We did fried egg. We did big egg and small egg. What else have I been doing? I feel like I've been working on something else. I don't know. No, maybe not. We did talk about puff stitch purgatory. That never happened. Yet. <laughs> Recap, you love the eggs. Thank you. I need to get myself more white fluffy yarn. Because I don't have enough to make more of the fried eggs. And I do think that we need some more fried eggs. Because they're cute. And they did sell uh, at the market I was at last time. So I think I might have to consider market prepping and whatnot. I haven't, I haven't looked into markets lately, but I'm thinking that's going to be um, happening soon. But the naughty stuff we're making now, they're, this is keepers. We need... the vegetable aisle however chaotic it is to to stay intact <laughs> blessed to be the epic puffy project we can do a close-up of the egg the white is, however, being not so cute with the camera and lighting and whatnot. But we have a fried egg. When I had this for market um, before Christmas, I sold out of the eggs. So they were popular. And then I have a blue egg. It does look better with the color over here. And this big egg has the same colors as the seahorsey with the pinks and the whites. But yeah, 
all the light colors are so not looking good close up. Same with the blue egg. It's just, eh, no, it looks better over here. That's, that's true to color. Why does my computer be, work against me? I don't like it. It is what it is. But at least you get to see the colors true to color over there. Could be worse. It could be way worse. These leaves will be very different because there's two leaves or leafy parts, one on the side and then one on the other side that have 15 stitches each to go for like the full 30 stitches circumference thingy thingy. Uh, and then the next row, there's one big leaf going all the way around and that has 30 stitches, but I also go back and forth and not in a circle so they will have very different looks all of them but yeah we do see a little bit of a different pattern showing here compared to this is very like uniform hmm. how many rows have we done What's between the fried egg and the eggplant? That's a bee. It's a mini bee. I That one's been hiding up here for quite some time. And I did some cleaning. And I did get the bee out. So it's a baby bumblebee. You can't even see. But it's got puffy, puffy pink cheeks underneath the eyes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we get to see that it has like a little bit of facial expression type thing going on. But we got the bumblebee over there. And then up here we have an ice cream hiding. An ice cream cone. I just didn't feel like it fit in anywhere. So it's it's hiding up here. It can look over my shoulder there. Some old makes that was hiding. That got to um, find a spot now. And I rearranged a little bit. Did you have a good night's sleep, Spoon? I'm assuming you were able to stay in bed all night and no falling on the floor because you're back in your own bed now. Next time you go on vacation, are you going to ask for like one of them guardrails that kids have to not fall out of bed? We don't want you to get hurt by that again. Are you still deciding if it was a good night's sleep? Mm. But how are you feeling? You still like totally tired and broken? Because if that's the case, then probably not such a good night's sleep. It's usually a good telltale sign on that one. Four thirty a.m. Well, at least I'm here to keep you company. Or are you debating on going back to bed again?
<laughs> cozy under the covers. Yeah, if you fall asleep again, you uh, enjoy that. When family wakes up, you're moving furniture. You're doing a three-room shuffle. I think I heard something about that, that you were planning to do some moving around. I never really got it how you plan to do it. But then again, when you're doing big shuffles like that, there's usually, yeah, that's not an easy thing to do. We kind of had a three-room shuffle, but we did it, like, we switched two rooms one day. And then a bit later, we switched two rooms. That was easier, in a way, than doing all the three. Well, also, a lot of the stuff that was supposed to... We, we did a two-room shuffle upstairs. And that was kind of still, like, some renovation downstairs. So when the renovation was finished and we moved the office down... And freed up a room to make a room for mini me's things. So there was more things going on at that point. The bunnies are in the largest bedroom all by themselves, and your oldest daughter is going to move into that room. Oh, yeah, moving bunnies. I'm guessing that's not. The easiest thing to do with all the things that needs to be moved and possibly cleaned and whatnot. I don't know. Do you have what do you have underneath the bunnies when you're living in an apartment like that? Are they in like cages with straw or some other stuff? Bunnies don't need the biggest room. Sounds like you're going to be busy. But also that you might need to rest some before that has to be dealt with. Drim is struggling to be awake. Well, I'm happy that you're hanging out with me. For sure. And I'm also guessing that you do talk to Marcus other times, not kind of feeling the need to hang out for when he goes live. Because you can talk to him whenever you feel like it. Unlike Quano. <laughs> Oh, they free roam during the days? Hmm. In that room only? Or in the whole apartment?
Oh, so they get to go wherever the, there's people. That's cool. Almost like Jessica's bird. Jessica's bird is all over the place. She even brings it out in the car. That bird is very attention craving. Don't leave me alone. I don't want to be left out. I want to be with everyone at the same time, always. <laughs> yes, spoiled. That's exactly what the birdie is. Spoiled. Well, if they're running all over the place, they don't need to be in in the biggest room. I totally see that that might not be the most needed place for them to have. Hello, Gloria. Happy Easter. How are you? Nice to see you. They are all still separated from each other. Oh, so the bunnies don't walk around together? You keep them separated? Hmm. You now got your first ads, and ABD had like four ads in half an hour. And I've been here for eight hours, and now you're getting your first ad. YouTube is very, very all over the place, for sure. I've barely seen anyone saying anything about ads for quite some time now. So, does this look like a good, like, the center leave? Because then the next leave part is going to come. Or do we need it larger or longer? Because this is what, it's not... I guess it's kind of one third of the stem, kind of. Almost. Yeah, I'm also playing with groceries. <laughs> We're making a leak. <laughs> and we have eggplants and pickles. We're playing with food. <laughs> There's been a lot of people grocery shopping today. Oh, they are bitey bunnies. Yeah, no, keep them to, to keep them apart. If they're if they're into biting, we mm, no unnecessary vet bills. Longer leaves. Okay, let's go longer leaves. This is the center one though, so there's more ones coming from further down. The thing is also like in grocery stores, they do cut them differently. Like some of them are have pretty much no uh, leafy bits and some have much longer. I guess it depends on how, like if there's damage to them on the, the tips of the leaves might be looking sad or something. You're making me hungry, Jen. Mashed potatoes sounds good. I like mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're potty trained? Oh, that's cute. 
So they go over to that like a cat when they need to. Oh. Well, I guess you could train a lot of animals to do that. Just never thought of doing, you know, potty training with bunnies. I haven't had many, like, or much contact with pets growing up. But my mom had a friend that had some bunnies and she was on vacation for a week. So we were like babysitting the bunnies pretty much or bunny sitting. And one of them had like this big, big crate with the opening, like a cage opening at the top. And I did put my hand down to pet it and it moved and I got scared. So I have like a long scar here. I don't know if it's visible, but I have a long scar here from like pulling my arm out of the cage fast. Yeah. I did not have a lot of animal like close up and whatnot with animals when I was younger. Not like that. So when it moved, I got scared. Oh, the joke that just popped up in my head. Mm. Don't pull out too fast. That can cause harm. Just saying. Because that apparently is what I did. I pulled out too fast. All innocent and whatnot. If you read something else into that, then that's on you. <laughs> mm. They train themselves. Hmm, cool. You're having biscuit, sausage, and gravy and eggs. That's nice, Tank. Oh, you've been busy, Rita. You had people coming over, and now you've been cleaning and shower and talk to hubby even. You have been a busy bee. Do you get to relax now? Do you get to just sit down and laugh now? Is that in your cards? Or do you have more things that you need to do? Thank Jessica's on her way. You need to... To get an extra plate out. <laughs> yeah, not potty trained pets. Um, they can can be very hard to clean after. A lot of work. You asked for them, Jessica. You asked for them. Three or four bunnies are super sweet and one is neurotic. Mm, that sounds like a combo. But that sounds better than having one sweet and three neurotic ones though.
Thank you, Nightbot, for reminding us to hit the bell and the like button and all of the fun things. To get notified when I do crazy stuff like pop-ups for eight hours on Easter. Yep. Oh, but I need to remember that when I have done the leaves, we need to make the roots. We cannot forget the roots. You can relax now? Awesome. And what will you be doing while you're relaxing? Knitting? Crocheting? Something totally different? What's your mom doing? You're going back to sleep. Well, good that you made up your mind. It's always fun when you stop by. Perhaps I'm still here when you wake up next time. <laughs> Who knows? I have no idea what's going on in the YouTube streets. But we seem to have quite a few people hanging out here, so. Seems like people are still in the mood to hang out with me. In some way, shape, or form. Sleeping in the scrap basket or elsewhere. You need to go sleepy times, but you left some almost innocent comments for Marcus to find in his chat when he goes live. <laughs> some almost innocent? I know you. You don't know how to spell to that word. That's not in vo your vocabulary. That's, no. <sighs> Jessica is still here playing with the chocolate and the homemade marshmallow eggs. Keep bird away from the chocolate. You're gonna crochet, but your bag is missing? Your project bag? What did you what did you do? Did you clean it away when you were cleaning? Where can I be? Hello, Moonrose. You want to see them eggs when Jess is done. China wants to see some eggs. So do I. She did send some pictures of the molds full of the marshmallow eggs still in them. 
but now she's playing with the chocolate, so I'm guessing they're not in the molds anymore. You found the bag. What are you going to be doing, Rita? What was in the bag? What are we working on today? Behind your desk. Why is it behind your desk? Was it on top and fell down, maybe? Is it a bag that you made yourself? I've seen your bags. You can make pretty bags. I don't remember. Rita, did I show my earrings so that you saw them? My new earrings, Have you? did you get to see them? Did you have a fun time with your guest, Moonrose? I think this is where we're leaving it. It's going to be very floppy if I don't. And I'm not in the mood to deal with yarn ends on this one. I will be doing a lot of sewing in a bit anyway. So I did crochet over that one so we can get rid of that one. And now I get to start the other leaf that's going to be on the opposite side. And it's going to be as tall as this one. Amigurumi egg? Oh, you're making amigurumi egg for Easter. Mm. I, I just saw something else very... <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I need to say anything. Yep. Oh, it was on the desk and someone knocked it down. You made it. It's a gnome bag. Oh, cute. So, so I got me some new earrings a and the jewelry designer is kind of living next door and she calls them her vulva earrings. But I got custom maids in, in purple and black. The colors are the same as she made these also. With like some little goldy sparkly bits. But the camera does not want to focus. Even if it's like up in the camera. Yeah, so I have the JJ earrings. A and these ones. And a ring. And a necklace. So I got dangly bits in my ears. <laughs> or floppy bits. I think my sense of humor is a bit twisted. But I think most of you already knew that. <laughs> yes. The JJ. But I have the Vijay Day doily also. So it's not like we're not keeping on brand here. Everything is sidetracking and derailing. <laughs> I knew you'd like them, Reed. I got I got me some dangly bits. They're they're hiding in my hair. I wish I had put my hair up today so you get to see them more. But I yeah. I, I washed my hair. I usually don't put my hair up like the first day I wash it. That's, you know, for one or two days I can keep it down and then I have to put it up because it's... Yeah. <laughs> I hope you weren't drinking and, and at the same time as you're laughing now. Don't want to be blamed for, for something that I may or may not have caused.
I did put the link in the um, comment section to the designer for anyone interested in seeing some more of her earrings. They're not all um, this type. I should not do that. I should work over the yarn tail as I go because that means I don't have to sew in the yarn. <laughs> VJ! <laughs> Hello, happy Saturday and happy Easter. How are you today? How are you? I, yeah. <laughs> Don't get confused today, please, VJ. With, uh, we already had the laughter the other, um, the other day. I don't remember when, when the VJJ doily was mentioned and there was some confusion to, to what we were talking about. And now you're here, so so we know that there's, yeah, the, the, the confusion might happen. But I also have some some nice new earrings that is uh, the JJ earrings. So this is not VJ earrings, it's, it's the JJ earrings in, in purple and black with a little bit of a goldy uh, detail. We were talking about those. <laughs> Do I really need to to read? Say what? <laughs> I'm just yeah. Just remember what chat you're in, and, and no confusion will be needed. You know the crazy happens here. But no, I wouldn't be talking about you when I talk about my earrings. <laughs> you don't dare to drink, Rita. Never know what to expect coming out of my mouth. And drinking is, is definitely sometimes done with caution. Oh, get in there. Oh, stupid stitch. That almost sounded like a bad word, like the B word, but, but now it's the, yeah, stupid stitch. Definitely more clean. <laughs> you love me, but you're glad I'm not expecting you to dangle from my ears. No, I don't want to have you in my ears. I, I, I do like these though, like my dangly bits. I like them. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> you can see exactly where you're at. And you can laugh from a distance. I am perfectly fine with that. And since it's Easter, we've been making some eggs and, and some. Some little egg. And we have an eggplant. That one was made the other day. And today we're also making a, a, a leek. So so we are doing more vegetables. Now I'm doing the leafy bits. To go with this nice leek. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with this. Nope. Nothing inappropriate at all. If you see anything inappropriate, yeah, just um, next. <laughs> nope. Yeah, no, there's uh, not as many giggles today that it was last week. But that doesn't change anything. I'm still crazy. I'm kind of happy in a way that my abs are getting a little bit of a break today. Because there's a day tomorrow. Stuff can still derail. <laughs> what are you biting your tongue over, Brett? I have no idea what you might be talking about or not talking about. 
You love the snail? Yeah, there's... There's many requests that I should make snail trails on the pickle. Or, yeah, I just don't have... I don't have the appropriate yarn to make snail trails on my pickle. That's... <clears throat> Yeah, no, I don't have that type of yarn that could do that. How on earth that even fits in the same sentence, I do not know. I am crazy. So when are you coming for coffee, Drim? <laughs> How do you get the eyes on the yarn to blink? Uh, it's an overlay, uh, and it's a GIF. So it's a GIF overlay in StreamYard that is custom made. I do have the the membership emojis and it's the same emoji. It is a GIF, but apparently the emojis do not work as a GIF. They're only like the picture or the image, which is sad. So that's why this one is made to an overlay. So it actually looks like what it's supposed to do. Because I was hoping that it could do that in the um, in the um, emojis, but yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Um, it's the exact same as the membership emojis. Next week, <laughs> you're busy working. Then it's your brain that had gone. What? What? what mm. Inappropriate yarn. <laughs> Ironic. I am a priority, and you think you can drive by next week? Well, you're welcome. I have no idea what my next next week is going to look like. I probably have some stuff to do, but but yeah, let me know. Let me know. And I'll check what's going on. Do you have tea in a large cup? Oh, don't start. I had enough of rogue agents, of the, the, the vegetable agents running around and calling me ma'am. It, it feels so wrong. It's so wrong. I'm not, no, I'm not a ma'am. It has always felt weird. I, I had, way back when, when I used to play a lot of online games, there was a few people that like, yes, ma'am. Like, no. And at that point, I was like, what? early 20s? No, thank you. I felt like I was a dinosaur. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> you won't me- mm. <laughs> Yeah, no. You need to find something else to do, Rita? What, what, why? You gave away your four some bunnies and some buddies to your aunt so she can give it to the ambulance service in her town. They accept amigurumis to give to kids that need comfort. <laughs> you want them to call you sir? Um, yeah, that's not better. No. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, nothing new on the um, apartment. No, I don't think I'm going to get it. It's only if the other person gets, you know, not through the checks and whatnot. It, the contract is not signed, but they are vetting the other person. So... That does not look like it's going to happen. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be knowing anything more until Tuesday. Because I'm pretty sure that the office is closed over the weekend. So, 
I don't expect any updates until after the weekend. Not sure where we're going after this one. Kind of feels like it's taking some time to make these leaves. So, is it... I don't know. Puff stitch purgatory after this, perhaps? To get a little break. from tiny yarns and stuffing. We have played enough with stuffing for today, I think. <laughs> Maybe not a sweetheart, always a sweetheart. Are you arguing now? Well, uh, mm, if you misspell it, it might be be something to, totally different. There, there, that one's easy to misspell, to create giggles out of. Just saying. Your phone died. Well, I hope it was that you can resurrect it with. The charger, hopefully. Some phone resuscitation. CPR with the charger. I hope. Otherwise, we'll be considering burying it. Yeah, bad planning, the phone thingy. For sure. Good that charging works. <sighs> You've been up so much that your legs are hurting. Yeah, now you deserve resting. You deserve resting after all of that. VJ, you still here? You want to be up close and personal with the snaily? <laughs> I'm resting my fingers for a little bit, but we get some close-ups. What is the orange on the cupboard? The orange? I don't know what orange we're talking about. Where do we have anything orange? Yarn, yarn with orangey colors. I put you to sleep, Bonnie. <laughs> you got home and you fell asleep on me. Is that what you're saying? Am I that boring? <laughs> 
for some reason you don't throw away your broken phones and you don't know why is it just me i probably have a bunch of broken phones also um yeah Michi said that the yarn that I used for this looks like, oh, this is a Hobie yarn called Cascada, but she said that it looks very much like a Karen Blossom cake. White drawer cupboard. Oh, you mean that one? That is Omnum. And then there's a little bit of a, like, a blue hint that is a cookie. Hobie cookie. Some leftovers that is just like a detail around the shell. So it's not a lot of the blue. It's just a little bit. But it did say that I needed like an accent color. And I didn't have any yarn that was similar to this yarn. And if it's supposed to be um, an accent, well, you need to be able to see it. So. But it's got horns or antennas. But it's a horny snail and it, it's uh, munching on the pickle and uh, snail trails is um, still possible. I just don't have the appropriate yarn for that. That's, that's where we're at, the snail. And this is Omnum, if that's what we were talking about. Omnum is a, um, was supposed to become like some type of crab creature. Uh, but it's om nom 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 nom, uh, and it's candy gummy toothies <laughs> that I just pinned with blocking pins because it's just uh, hysterically weird. So it says om nom 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 nom, <laughs> and it lives over there. Yep. It's a horny snail. And it's a horny seahorse. The horny seahorse has a, a big horn. I just wish my camera would be nicer on the lighter yarns. Too much light from weird angles in this room. Yep. What yarn do I want to make snail trails on the pickle um well there was people suggesting some sparkly silver stuff and i don't have that you love all the sea creatures jessica yes silver th I, thread just feels like it's really tiny and we have a giant pickle and a giant snail so i'd rather not use something really teeny tiny because that's going to take some time to do moving all the eggs out of the way just so that we can see the size of the pickle. Um, so I don't know how that would, you know, look together. <laughs> no unicorn. No, I have a, a horny horsey. Uh, and that one looks like a adult toy without the details. Uh, just like this hammerhead shark looked like an adult toy without the fins. So that's just... Um, that just a happy accident. I want to, yeah, happy accident because it's fun. We are having so much fun, so it's got to be a happy accident. <laughs> Horny horsey, let's hammer that. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. There's a lot of things I need to do. We have plenty of more stuff in the produce section that needs to be done. I need to make a bunch of crabs because I can have all the fun jokes about that, that I have crabs. Um, an octopus. Stingray has been suggested because it has a big stinger. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things I don't know if I have good yarns to use for it. And some of the things I just haven't, we haven't gotten there yet. But I do have yarn to make a banana. So that is in the, in, in the pipeline in the near future. We're making a banana. 
because we cannot just have vegetables. I don't know. Is eggplant considered a fruit? Because there's some stuff that's considered fruits that you'd think is vegetables. And that one, no, that one is vegetable, right? Avocado is a fruit. And then there's some berries that's actually fruits. Or some fruits that's actually berries. Very confusing, all of that. Banan. Yes. A banana. Who cares, make it? <laughs> but at, at least I did get the pineapple top out. There's pineapples all over my top. So I do have some fruits. I don't have any ones I've made. But I am at least wearing some. Eggplant is a fruit. So, so we are already in the fruit aisle. Tomatoes is the only fruit slash veggie. Because I know that there's some fruits that's actually berries. and Yeah. I don't even remember. Drim might know. He's, he's the plant man. Or at least he's the, the bush man. He knows more things about things that I... In the greenery section. Than I do. But he might be needing to think. And he might be too tired to think about such things. I don't know. Eggplant is a fruit. Yeah, there's a few fruit slash veggies. What do you need to know? It's a fruit. <laughs> well, there's some fruits that's berries, and then there's some berries that's fruits, and then there's some fruits that's vegetables, and then... I don't even know. I don't even know. Can you clarify whatever you know about these mix-ups? All fruits, winter squash, winter squash, squash... Avocado, cucumber, pepper, eggplants, olive, pumpkins, and pea pods. That's fruits. And then there's a fruit that is a berry. And then there's a berry that's a fruit. And then there's... Ugh. Anything that contains the seed of the plant is a fruit, not a vegetable. This category includes items many consider to be vegetables, including squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and eggplants. Isn't it if it grows above the ground is a fruit, something like that? Or is it something that if it grows above the ground? Yeah, things like that is also confusing. But berries can be on bushes and they can also be like on plants. That is not bushes. Tomato is a fruit. Oh, wow. Okay, now now we're going all... <laughs> In a botanical sense, a fruit is the fleshy or dry ripened ovary of a flowering plant, enclosing the seeds or seeds, apricots, bananas, and grapes, as well as bean pods, corn grains, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And in their shells, acorns and almonds are all technically fruits. Yeah. Now we're going down the technical stuff. <laughs> Ripened ovary of a flowering plant. That's a fancy way of wording it. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry about anything. I was not expecting you to open up the, the, the botanical dictionary and, and throw out the fancy words. I figured you might be too tired for that but i love it thank you very much
<laughs> you know shit. Yeah, you do. When it comes to that, you do. Hello, Mandy. How are you? You make my brain hurt. <laughs> Rita, yeah, that maybe not what we need today. Or, yeah, <laughs> I thought Drem was too tired for this. What fruits are also considered vegetables? For example, tomato, avocado, eggplants, cucumber, green peppers, zucchini, and other are classified as fruit by botanists because they are fleshy. EMS to the rescue. We got EMS in the house. Eggplant mediation services. I have your your logo. <laughs> EMS to the rescue. <laughs> oh. And Bonnie's having issues with Siri again. Does Santa come out tomorrow, tomorrow, so you better hold on to tomorrow? <laughs> Don't read it if you're tired. Exclaimer. <laughs> yeah, type of thing. Parts surrounding its seeds, however, for nutritional and culinary purposes, these foods are considered to be vegetables rather than fruits. Trying to change the subject like any of us really care whether it's a fruit or a vegetable. We just eaten it. <laughs> true. Very true. Santa comes out in December. Now Santa Santa will be live here in a few hours. No, an hour and a half. Marcus will be live. He does look like Santa. But that's, yeah, not the same Santa. But he comes out to play soon. Yeah. Tasty or not. Who gives up? They are tasty. Most of them. Some are bland, but they are still useful in cooking. Most of them. Support. <laughs> so support pickle. Yep. Rita, you, your brain has gone on vacation without giving notice. You can't find your box with hand creams. Guess you're stealing mom's. So you lost your project bag and now your lotions are gone. Have you been like sleepwalking or something and putting things where they don't belong? Is that a thing? Could that happen at your house? Or is there like a... um? A little gnome or something that likes to mess with you and move things around. <laughs> Yarn barf. I need to make a zucchini, I know. <laughs> Embrace the sun. Zucchini evolution nationwide. <sighs> mm. Yep. I am behind on all the, all the, <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. Then again, a leak is probably not the best thing to do to, to do that. Because we need a carrot and we need corn and, and we need zucchini. Yep. I don't think I'll be able to catch up because there's things going on here. Mm-hmm. Rogue agents and cookie bandits and all sorts of mayhem in the veggie aisle. Nice to see that there's um, mischievous things going on. Just the way I like it. Mm hmm. It kind of feels like something missing when there's no rogue agents running around and 
causing mayhem. We need a container of hummus to dip the veggies in. <laughs> yep, something big. Something big and, and filled with creamy yumminess to dip stuff in. Yeah, no, no, scratch that. No way of saying things that doesn't, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you're just as crazy as I am, Drim. All fun and games, for sure. <laughs> and the missing brain. Oh, Rita. Thank you, Dream. No, Rita was missing a brain. <laughs> and a missing brain. Or was that, that him? I don't know who's missing a brain. Probably uh, me. <laughs> no. We're, we're um, derailing. I guess that is what happens after like nine hours of streaming. That the true colors are showing. Then again, you get to see all of me uh, going crazy at whatever time of day anyway. So I don't think it's worse than before. You're going to make a tomato. Rita, we can have tomato fights. We, c we can throw tomatoes. I, I will make some too. Cloudberries. Ooh, yes. Yes, cloudberries. Yes, please. Thank you. Preferably with like whipped cream or vanilla ice cream and some some. Wafers or something. Yes. Give me cloud berries any day of the week. Or on waffles. <gasps> oh, yes. With whipped cream. Yep. <laughs> Rita's gonna start making the fruits. And we can have a joint vegetable uh, farmer's market type of thing stand. Fruits, vegetables. Yep. I think Drim needs to go to bed. Drim is tired. <laughs> the CIA is in the house. The care implant agency. I'm just just saying there's there's um yeah, we need a carrot. We're making a carrot later. Oh wow. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. Because I'm going to be continuing crocheting even if I, you know, not hang out with you guys. Because I bet that, you know, after nine hours of looking at me, um, you must have some better to do. <laughs> yeah. And I will be back tomorrow. Like, my regular stream starts in 24 and a half hours. No, wait. We're doing time change thingies. Is, is that today or is it tomorrow? I don't know when we're switching time time thingy thingy. Isn't it this time that or now? Um mm -mm. Yeah, it's tonight. It's tonight. So that means what? When do I go live tomorrow? Cuz it would be 24 hours, 24 and a half hours from now. 
but I will be lose 23 and a half hours. Would that be correct? <laughs> Altruistic tomato frequencies. ATF. ATF. <laughs> And Rita's brain has gone rogue and is misplacing stuff. <laughs> yeah, I just know that we're switching time thingies tonight. So I will have to look at what time. Well, it's going to be 10 p.m. my time. No matter what. I'm just the one losing an hour overnight. But it will go back to the same, the same difference as it was before you guys switched. So right now, I believe it's a five-hour difference between Sweden and New York. And normally, when we're all synced, that should be a six-hour difference. So East Coast and Sweden, that's a six-hour difference. And yeah... I think that's what it is, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but what what time would it? Yeah, no, I'm I'm still going live my my regular time my time. Even I'm confusing myself, but I think you might get what I'm saying. That we're all back to the normal normal difference after Granny D. Still after Granny D, but Granny D wasn't going live tomorrow. She wasn't going to be back until Monday. But now we should be back to synced. Because I've been like an hour later than when Granny D ends. Because of the time difference of the summer winter time messing things up. Happy Easter, everyone. So how many of you guys have made Easter special decoration thingies now? Like eggs or chickens or something, something. It feels like everyone has done something, but I might be totally wrong on that one. You have done nothing. No, you've been busy planting and stuff. I decided that when I move, I will be making a bunch of crocheted house plants because I, I'm not good at taking care of my house plants anyway, so I might as well just crochet a bunch. I did find like a pattern book on Amazon. So I put that on my Amazon wish list. Maybe someday I will revisit that one and see if that one's interesting. I did save it though. You made a bunny gnome. You didn't make anything for Easter because it came too fast. Yeah, it feels like Easter was very early now. Like I expect it more like mid-April or at least another week from now. It really feels weird to have Easter in March. Yep. I did see that, ABD. I, I did. Uh, eyeball it a little bit. Thank you. Thank you very much for letting me know. <laughs> I had to read that message a couple of times, Jan. But yes, you did send some pictures. Amanda has seen mine. And BJ has seen mine. And Tank. Seen yours what? 
uh, but then we were talking about the Easter decorations. Thank you very much for, for um, yeah. Mm. Seeing your what? Mm. No. You haven't done anything, but you're going to be hiding treats around the house tonight, putting together an Easter basket for your son. Oh, that's cute. You like flowers. <laughs> well, the wish list is, um, there's a wish list. I just don't know where I put the link to it. Did I put a link to it in my link tree? Let's go and check, check where it's uh, at because I, I can just, uh, let's just do like this instead. I do have this, 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 um, I might as well just do it like this for now for this minute. Uh, uh -uh. And, and I will. No. Pin it to the top if anyone is curious. Uh, 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 uh. Does decorations count if you put candy in an egg? Yes. <laughs> I wasn't even that, you know, I bought the store, store made candies filled eggs. Um, 56 thumbs up. We went, we were at 30. Where, where, where did that come from? I, 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 I didn't even know that we had that many people pass through here tonight. Kitchen curtain with flowers. Ooh. You're going to crochet that or are you going to sew it? Your boy was away all week for March break on a trip with his grandparents and will be back tomorrow for Easter. And then you can do all the egg painting and other Easter stuff. That's fun. You may be sorry later, but you made coffee. Well, enjoy your coffee, VJ. You may be sorry later as in not being able to sleep. <clears throat> Jessica is full of getting her fingers sticky today with chocolate and marshmallowy stuff. And, and Birdie putting marshmallow in her hair. Or, or I don't know if it Birdie actually put the marshmallow in her hair or Birdie was just me and... Mean and Jessica dipped her hair in the marshmallows. Don't know what, all of that. She didn't tell us the full story, but she did blame the bird for having more. Yeah, she's got marshmallow in her hair. Oh, you're. Should be able to sleep, but you're probably going to be making multiple trips. I get it. I feel like I am, I don't want to say that I, this is getting boring, but going back and forth, 15 stitches, turn, 15 stitches, turn is not the most fun thing to do. So I might need a break because, well, I know that the next one is going to be 30 stitches turn, 30 stitches turn. Hmm. Hello, Chris. Welcome in. Happy Easter. How are you? You want to crochet a flower kitchen curtain thingy thingy? In multiple colors or just one color? I have seen a couple of really pretty ones. Oh, but you got all them fun cones. You have plenty of yarn to do that with, right? You got the cones 
from the um um did you win at Michi's? I think you mentioned that it was uh, a prize, but you got a gift card. You got some pretty cones. So you definitely have enough yarn to make yourself something like a curtain. You found your book. Not bad. You did find something today. <laughs> um. <laughs> we get to dance for Trim. Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Yay, we get to dance. Jessica's going back to the chocolates. Please don't get more stuff stuck in your hair. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Thrifty crochet. I am still alive. You were here this morning. Yes, I have been here for eight hours and 57 minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, and I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I do have a live tomorrow to think about. But there's plenty of time to rest between now and then. So. And nine hours isn't the longest I've done 13 hours is still my no 12 hours 50 minutes is the longest and a 24 hour live stream will happen sooner rather than later I hope um I did not feel like that was the thing to do this Easter because of not enough planning pretty much but if, if there's still a possibility that we're here for like another bunch of hours. I haven't given up, given up yet. I might get something more to snack on soon though. I'm starting to get a little hungry. So that would probably be the next thing. Or well technically I do I have finished all the coffee. I still have some water and and this is a, how much i have of this so when this is empty i need to go and get something to drink but yeah i can still drink water also who prefers what flavor of chocolate jessica's asking milk or dark depends totally depends because dark chocolate with mint is a good combination if it's just plain chocolate or like dipping strawberries in chocolate, I do love my milk chocolate with sea salt. That is a good combination also. You want the curtain in a lot of colors. Yeah, you got the, the cotton cones. ABD wants milk chocolate. And Tank likes white or milk. The Iron Woman Amanda is go, going to... Yeah, I, I'm I'm not in a hurry to, to leave. I'm having fun with my friends. Dark and milk and milk and dark. And yeah. So cool. And now you can do some of your 2024 goals. Make something from your books. So pattern books, I'm guessing that is, that you found... Dark chocolate with red chili. That is um, a combination I have not tried. It does sound interesting. Spicy chocolate. I did one year make... Um, what did I have for that? I did have... New Year's. With um, a mousse steak. With a chocolatey red wine sauce. 
that was a fancy dinner. And that damn sauce took me like five hours to make. It was it was, it was crazy. Milk all the way, but dark with mint. Yep, yep, for sure. Lit used to have a dark chocolate with red chili and has a little burn at the end. So good. You were just at Aldi's and you didn't bring me? Or, or, or were you there now? Have you been out again? You were out the other day and got some fun stuff. Nom nom. Yep. You're making an apple and you have pattern for that in your book? What book is that? Is it a lot of fruits or something? Or foods? The Aldi chocolate is good. The lint was so much better. <laughs> Nine hours later and I made the silk crocheting on. Yes! <laughs> Welcome back, Cena. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. And a bunch of crocheted items have been made today. I have not just been doing items that feels like, you know, like my squares. I'm seeing progress today. We're two eggs. No, two Easter eggs, one fried egg, sunny side up, and the leek is almost done. No, not almost. Hmm. There's still a bunch more stitches on this. But we're definitely getting closer. Oh, where's the stitch marker? There, there we have stitch marker. I'm just going to put that one in there because I'm just going to put this down for a few I'm going to go and stretch my legs, get something more to drink and something to snack on. But we have this leaf part is this tall and the other one is going this far. And then we're making um, another one to surround them. But I can definitely sit here and be all funny with this um, leak. Yeah, there's, there's nothing Nothing wrong with this at all. There's there's a good um, sound to that. Good thump. A lot of chocolatey stuff here going on. Yeah, I need something to... I, I need some more snacks. I'll be back in a few. So take this time to to stretch legs or do whatever you need to do because that's what I'm going to do. So let's let's get this thingy up and, and I'll see you in a few.
did you miss me? <laughs> Maybe not. I see that I have some chat to catch up on. So, so what have we been talking about? Because you have been talking. Uh -uh. The book is from Christine Ree Peterson. From your former town in Norway. Made a book called... I don't even know. But it's Amigurumi's. More talk about the chocolates. Almost done with this row of the shawl. Nice, Dina. Then to debate if you should continue or if you should grab your cardigan and continue on the sleeve. Yeah, the debates you can have with yourself is sometimes. Um, Dina's voting for the cardigan. What kind of fitness tracker does everyone have? I don't have one. I'm not sure I need one because you guys are giving me my ab workouts anyway. So that's, um, that's, that's my thing. <laughs> I did have a Fitbit before, but um, I kept forgetting to charge them. They are not very good for that. You keep your watch is able to keep track on your sleep if you sleep at all, since your doctor wants to so see that to see it or to know. Well, it's good that your doctor cares, right? <laughs> I got me some drinks and I got something to munch on. But yeah, the ones I have had has been Fitbits. And I was happy with it. I just, you know, the charging part. Did either of you have trouble with the wristband? Um, I don't know in what way we're, you know, I, I did get a little bit of a, because it was like always the same place that I, the rubbing or, yeah, not a skin rash, but something, something. It wasn't that comfortable after a bit. You have an iPhone and it tracks everything so you don't really need to use a Fitbit. Yeah. iPhone has their own things. No troubles, but over time you replace your with a Milanese wristband. They have a couple of different ones to pick and choose from. You have a smartwatch to go with your phone, but you only use it for work now iPhone has the health app. We missed you a little. Thank you so much for that. So so I got me some, some bougie beverages. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy. You, you already know I like to eat my snacks with tweezers. Because I don't get messy fingers when I do that. And I don't want messy fingers on my crochet. Mm-hmm. I have this large cup. It's just a regular cup. Most of you would probably think this is good for tea. See, there's nothing in it. What do I use this cup for? Ice cream. <laughs> so this is the same size as a Ben and Jerry. But I put it in there and I don't get cold fingers. And I don't it heat up the ice cream faster than, you know, because of my finger heat. So I keep it in place and I um yeah I, I like my life hacks and this is my favorite ice cream ever Hagen does strawberry cream this this is my thing this is what I really want when I go for ice cream this is this is my thing it's so yummy and there's pieces of strawberries in this also Mm, num num num. <laughs> yeah, so I have ice cream and bougie beverages. I got pink bubbly, strawberry apple, or black currant. We're going for strawberry apple because I have not tried this one. This is a new one. Oh, this has a nice color. Yep. Smells good. Yep. I can definitely enjoy this one. I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. 
<laughs> you thought you were the only one that ate ice cream in a mug just makes sense. It does. Especially when I have one that's big enough to actually fit the whole container in it. Heart of Orion Jewelry. Well, hello there. I have some new jewelry. You didn't make it, but you might get a giggle out of it. <laughs> they are made in some type of clay, I believe. And the colors are black and purple with some goldy parts in it. And this is one pair. The other pair I'm I'm wearing. Um, but there's a ring and a, a necklace also. But what I'm wearing is my dangly bits. My vajayjay earrings. Yep. I'm crazy. So so I'm wearing a different type of style of, of jewelry than what you would um, <laughs> make. <laughs> ABD is also in the team. Ice cream in a mug. <laughs> Dang <laughs> yes, dangly bits. It's my VJJ earrings, VJ. And they're dangly. My dangly bits. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Dangly bits or floppy bits. But they're, they're, yeah, they're. <laughs> Hashtag dangly bits. Rita will join the team. I'm guessing the ice cream team, I hope. <laughs> or is it? No, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have our own hashtag and, and hashtag support pickle or what was it no all pickles matter we did have that one there's a weave made to resemble a winky a pendant <laughs> that that sounds um yeah welcome to the club do you have pictures i need to see pictures <laughs> Hashtag 8, 8 p.m. All pickles matter. <laughs> <We're ab> <laughs> it even <laughs> got abbreviated into that now. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder how long it would take for your hubby to see it if you had dangly bits in your ears? <laughs> well, we can always try. <laughs> it, it, it can happen. You need my info to send uh, scraptasticcrocheter at gmail.com. Or poke um, John. He has the info. We need to make a pocket pin phone. <laughs> well, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, um, I need to do the chapsticks. I, I got some some chapsticks. I need to make covers for them. So I will be making some chapsticks. And one with blue balls for the fun of it. Ice cream is just what I needed. I think you can see the dangly bits a bit better now. After I went up. Or like I pulled my hair back a little bit more. When I sat down. So now you get to see them a little bit more. But yeah, it's kind of like an Easter egg. Things are just, you know. Never know what you're going to see here. <laughs> oh. <Wait. laughs> Hashtag retail therapy. I got some new yarn the other day. For those who wasn't here in the beginning. I got some new yarn. 
and the ones at the bottom are so soft. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's a sentence you didn't think you would ever. <laughs> you can see the dangly bits better when I pull back my hair more. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna eat any ice cream. I need to breathe. I'm. I'm <laughs> spiraling down fast now it's nine hours later <laughs> we've been behaving good until now <laughs> dangly bits and ice cream hey but he's not touching this one no <laughs> I was try I'm trying to talk about yarn here. <laughs> but look at the fluffiness of this yarn. It's like really fluffy. I need I need a cardigan amount of this yarn. Cardigan quantity. I need. I need. <laughs> You're not trying to not buy yarn until you've used some. Yep. Yeah, no. I had a crappy meeting Thursday, and the only way to make me happy after that one, I was like, I need to buy yarn. So I did. I did. I it, I couldn't. I couldn't walk away. I was like, I'm just gonna go and pet the yarn. We're gonna put pet the yarn for a little bit, and I was like, um, you're coming on with me. Um, the other skein is looking a bit differently. I'm. It's the same colorway, but you guys know. You don't always see all the colors depending on how they're balled up. So we have some peachy colors and then we got some darker greens and there's this, the purpley things going on with this minty green or light green. It's so fluffy and so soft. Mm. But it's 70% acrylic and 30% polyamide. We did look at one of the ends. It does look very interesting in how this yarn is made. Because it is three strands. I do have this one. It is three strands. It's two strands of the main yarn. That will be the two yarns that changes colors to make the effect. But then there's this extra like chain spun fluff that is separate to make this into whatever it is. So I've never seen any yarns like this, but it's so fluffy. Um, they did have, yeah, I've been to those. <laughs> they had one other colorway, and it was more of like rusty beige, um, reddish tones, and this felt more like spring green, um, happy, vibrant color. I'm not much for the fall colors in that way. If there's anything else to pick, I will probably pick the something else. Uh, and then I just got three different colors of cocoa. Cocoa in blue, cocoa in white, and cocoa in in gray. And cocoa is a cotton and acrylic blend. And I have a bunch of them. Thank you. I will check the mail in a bit. But yeah, so so I got a bunch of those because they were rough estimates, uh, five for five dollars. So I got ten. So ten for ten dollars. Do I have any more yarn that I use for the hammerhead shark? I do. Um, the hammerhead shark is made in eight four cottons. Um. Like rainbow cotton or friends, uh, just 
that's the colors white and two different shades of gray so not 50 shades of gray only two shades of gray for the hammerhead and it still ended up looking like um a toy so yep uh, i think all of these were friends cotton friends cotton friends cotton yeah friends cotton all of them from hobie I'm, I see that I have all these yarn labels left, right, and center. I don't even know where they came from. Now I have them all over my desk. Uh, uh, uh. It's broad daylight, Bonnie. <laughs> it's not here. It's, it's past 10 p.m. You know, I could switch these out to, to the red ones because, because it's late. <laughs> If you, you use half a skein, can you buy two? Mm, well, yeah, you could. You could. <laughs> you need some more cotton yarn just to do some therapy. You need it. Yep. You missed 48 shades. I... I don't have all the shades of gray. I don't. No. Do I need all the shades, though? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty okay with whatever I have. <laughs> Can you use the lighter gray for the snail slime? Mm, I don't know. People have been saying sparkly. So I'm kind of like, that is probably would be needed. <laughs> Watch you get slammed for Winky Bandit. <laughs> Nothing beats some good yarn shop and therapy. Totally agree. I'm located in Sweden. Yep. Far, far away. I am in in Sweden. That's also why you can type Sweden in my chat and Nightbot will drop your link. Well, some people might say that that looks like a cross if they didn't know um, better. So that one's kind of not too bad. Your farthest order so far has been Wales. Yep, a little bit further to get to me. Did I get rid of the snow yet? Well, yes and no. Uh, there's still snow somewhere, you know, in the shady pieces of, like, you know, under trees and whatnot. But we've had a couple of, um, you know, more snowy days. But yeah, most of it is gone now. I'm just still expecting snow for another month or so. Because we're not over it yet. April is the moodiest month. It's just, yeah, it's going to be snowing. <laughs> some people change some ring sizes to make parts more prom pronounced. I, I get that. I get that for sure. I'm live every Sunday. I think you're on panel with John some of those, some of the times when I'm here. Because I know he's live and he's still poking around in my chat even when he's live. So, so you're just very busy when I am here. Nice to see you here though. You don't get the notifications? Well, you can always check the notification bell settings and see if you 
can poke uh, the YouTubes to give you the notifications better. John's Live has helped you a lot. Yeah. You got more customers and stuff from that? Or just hanging out with people? Mm. You had to go and make some mashed potato? Yeah, we did talk about mashed potatoes earlier. Yummy. <laughs> you need to research? Well, today we have... Uh -uh. Today we have a sunny side up fried egg and the two eggs over here but i have a mm -mm, giant pickle and uh, an inappropriately large snail that's just devouring the pickle eggplant is just um it, it just needed to to happen and now we're working on a, a leak so soon uh, hopefully i will be finishing this one and um Oh, so say we get to dance. Thank you very, very much for this one. Five memberships. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is so nice of you. And congratulations, China. Um, great gal, Lake, great lakes gal, Diane, Tracy, D yummy Elmo, and unique amazing stripes. Aw. Hmm. Makes me happy. We get to dance, but yeah, thank you for being awesome. Mm. Perfect timing with me eating ice cream. Couldn't be better. Yo, oh, yeah, it could be. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. And D Yummy Elmo's here. Have you been lurking in the scrap basket and you haven't even said hi? <laughs> this is, I guess it's a good way to get you out of the scrap basket if that was the case. <laughs> More people can play with the emojis. Oh, more lurkers. We have another Chris in the, the scrap basket. Let's see. If I shake the scrap basket, can we get some more people to fall out? I'm going to try at least. We'll see. We'll see if anyone falls out. I hope they don't get hurt if they do, though. Not like when Spoon fell out of bed. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm never going to forget that one. <laughs> Spoon coming in here at, like, what, 4 o'clock in the morning her time? I fell out of bed! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. You've been here since the beginning? Having an off day and a bunch of emergency situations last evening and this morning with work related. So you've been work. Oh, and yeah, your boss is away. So you've been here for nine and a half hours, just been busy. I'm I'm happy that you finally <laughs> had the chance to say hi. Mm. It's probably been a quite a long day for a lot of you. I'm just having fun. Why am I being bothered by my hair being all bunched up over here? I don't like it. Ah, it's the small things. <laughs> Black get hello to everyone in chat. Yep. Sometimes that's needed. Sometimes you just have. That's all we have time for. 
really appreciate that you're here. Yeah, Bonnie's been working too. Mm hmm. <laughs> from deep within the scrap basket, <laughs> high from one Chris to another Chris. <laughs> Nana Michelle, <laughs> you had to quit crocheting and find your phone. Still here. <laughs> I'm on the TV, so you're not seeing the chat, or you're not... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Had you lost the phone, though? Somewhere in your crochet? Or the yarn basket or something? <laughs> nice eggplant. Thank you very much. We can, we can have a little bit of an up-close. Eggplant with... Um, a slime green nipple. Slime green cold nipple. Yep. No joke, though. I, I don't know why the pattern is written like this. I just followed the pattern. See, it's... It's not flexible. Or, well, it... It's keeping shape. I, um, I'll give it that... You're up to 7.30 working on a necklace, got halfway finished, and you couldn't hang on anymore. You had to go to bed. Well, sometimes you get better work done if you've slept. <laughs> Bonnie, you kept me running... In your purse to run out the... I, I didn't mean to break your battery, you know. But at least you had a charger available. So I guess that's that's a good thing. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to sit here and eat ice cream. I want to keep crocheting, but I, this ice cream is just yummy. Mm-mm-mm. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I think we managed to get the Dutchman's wood check to fall out of the scrap basket. That's awesome. You are still hanging on in there. Strawberry. Yep, this is strawberry and cream. <laughs> mango. I don't know if we have any good mango ice creams. I think the the better ones like more sorbets. Bubble gum? <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a flavor of ice cream. <laughs> Butter pecan? 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 Potato, potato? <laughs> Cookies and cream? Mm. There's a bunch of yummy ones. I also like um, minty uh, ice cream with like chocolate pieces. That is nice. Hello, Susan Burke. How are you? I am good. We've been here for nine hours and 40 minutes and I'm eating ice cream as a little break. 
<laughs> and, and all the crocheting. Chocolate mint chip ice cream. Yep. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. <laughs> Pecan. Yeah, you guys are awesome at helping me try and pronounce things. Some things are just... Mm. Banana. Banana and chocolate. Banana split. Oh. Mm. Yep. Today we have made fried egg. We have made a big and a small Easter egg. Mm. The new friend of the week is an eggplant. We did the eggplant the other... Um, that one was finished, was it? Did I finish that yesterday? Or the day before? Jessica, when did I finish the... The eggplant. And we're making a leek. So so we have um, the the leafy bits uh, being worked on. On this uh, nice vegetable. Yep. Not at all any... Uh, mm -mm. Mistress. <laughs> Amanda's leaky. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I did not see how this one would turn out, and um, there's um, I'm seeing this one becoming more fun than I expected. Um, <laughs> I'm just just uh, realizing. You say pecan. Either way to say it is correct. Yeah, I guess it depends on where you're from. I'm still going strong. Hello, Marcus. Uh, you're going live soon, right? I think Drim might have fallen asleep. He was here for quite some time, but I, he has been quiet now, so I think he might have fallen asleep. And I think Quano left some messages for you. I think he also um, talked about going to bed early. So, so you might have a, an actual like quiet evening. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, we have ice cream break. I have ice cream in, in a cup. My favorite ice cream. Strawberries and cream. This is my favorite ice cream. I love this. Spoon is awake for sure now. Hello and welcome back. Daytime here, girl. Yep. Bonnie is uh, still working, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're soon back to crocheting. We have been working a little bit on the scrap basket today also. We did do that. We got some Easter colors into that one. More scrap basket tomorrow, though. More Easter colors. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Bonnie came home, sat on the couch, and I put you to sleep. <laughs> it's strawberries and... Um, no, like the strawberries and cream, it's like a really, really creamy ice cream um but there's there's big strawberry chunks also <laughs> if i'm still going after your live you're gonna come back in <laughs> who knows we're only at like almost 10 hours <laughs> just I have no idea what's going on in the YouTube streets. I haven't looked pretty much anything at all today. I'm just here to have fun. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm kind of like, I should say some of the ice cream, but I don't want to put it away. It's too yummy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
<laughs> I'm a Duracell bunny. <laughs> I just keep going and going and going. <laughs> yeah, Jessica is, she's keeping her hands sticky today. She even has marshmallow in her hair. Thanks to her bird. <laughs> yep. She is keeping herself busy. Playing with chocolate and marshmallows. Mm. Yep. I want some. Almost done? Yay! You're going to sit down and crochet when you finish? Or what's the plan? Or are you just going to sit there and, and munch on those eggs? <laughs> the leaky dangly bits? Chris, did you see my new earrings? <laughs> did you see them? Oh, you know, if, if we're talking dangly bits, we should be talking about my earrings and not the leak. Just saying. Just just saying. Yeah. <laughs> my dangly bits. Mm-hmm. And, and kind of... um. There's other things. We do have the JJ doily because, you know, appropriate colors. And that's what I see now since it got all corrupted. Um, so that's all we see when we look at it. But if we... If... if Or, you know, however you decide to look at it. Um, Snaily is also um, a bit special. <laughs> You're welcome for the corruption. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, I can do a lot by myself. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, sometimes, um, sometimes I th see things and I don't always say it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> Is it time to take these off? <laughs> You're just going to be happy to sit, feeling it in your lower back. But some of the eggs are getting mailed out. Clean is overrated. <laughs> True. True, true. Or just helping a bit. Yeah, Rita, you are one of the better ones when it comes to the helping. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you keep surprising me. <laughs> but it's, yeah. Some people just surprise you. Especially the ones that look innocent. And Rita looks very innocent. Yep. Mm. How would that look, though? Mm. A bit too much. It's, like, kind of crowded. <laughs> Happy Easter, y'all! <laughs> well, yeah. I... You, mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I guess the party started. We're past 10 p.m. Now the party can start. Horny rabbit and, and, and horny snail and horny seahorse. There's there's plenty horns to go around here. Yep. Yep. Mm 
and then we have we get horns on that one and and this one is for when we're derailing yep the train is just going left right and center but yep this is what time it is it's time to have fun did i freeze i do that sometimes will it fix itself maybe let's hope so Sometimes I need to refresh, and sometimes you do. Never know what is the thing that needs to be done. Have fun, Marcus. Don't have too much fun without me. <laughs> I know you're ha gonna have fun without me. Mm -mm -mm. I have found a carrot pattern. I don't know if it's a good one or not. I have not looked into the corn yet. And we need to find a good broccoli pattern because that one's going to be a tricky one. I didn't freeze. Okay. Where do you get your emojis? Well, I, I have help making them. I can hook you up, China, if you need help. <laughs> You're so innocent. <laughs> You said it yourself, Rita. <laughs> you used to drive taxi during night. Yeah, that innocent look of yours. We're we're figuring it out. We we're starting to see through it. I have made an elephant. I made the the um, snuggle fan. That you guys probably have seen in the Hobie Bingos. I have a pink snuggle fan upstairs. Mini Me has it. So I ha already have an elephant. But maybe I should make one for myself. With um, with a nice trunk. Maybe something like that. But also, elephants do have tusks. So they, they technically have horns. They're just misplaced. Right? They're misplaced. Mm hmm. That's what. Yep. Let's get a few stitches in. To, to the leak. Because yeah. We, we're seeing this is not just. It's not just like a, a. A leak. It's. Yep. It kind of made it so much better. When I realized that. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your cup? Please remember to hydrate. Well, I am bougie, and now it's a strawberry. What did I say? A strawberry, apple, pink, bubbly. Jessica, I'm not sure you're still holding the crown because you've been keeping your fingers busy with all the sticky stuff. So who knows? There might be someone that has been chattier than you. But I'm not going to check that right this minute. I'm going to give you a chance to clean up your fingers and get back to, to being chatty if you feel like. 
you want to try and keep your crown. Well, I can always check, though. You might still be, be uh, up top. Yep, Jessica is still chatty. Oh, yes. Tank, you're, you're like halfway there. <laughs> you finished sewing the pockets on the cardigan. Now buttons. Yeah, no buttons is no fun. Jessica has sticky fingers. She does. She's been playing with homemade marshmallows and dipping them in uh, homemade marshmallow eggs and dipping them in chocolate. So so first it was white sticky stuff and then it was uh, chocolate. Um, yeah. She's still the crown. <laughs> crown bearer or the, yep, yep. Sticky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> And she did get sticky in her hair because the bird was being um, not so nice. Not sure how that actually happened. She just blamed the bird for getting marshmallowed in her hair. I figured she just saves for later. <laughs> Sorry, back again. Yes, you heard me. Taxi driver by night, angel by day. <laughs> Is that the definition? <laughs> Very sticky fingers. Milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Saving sticky in the hair for later. <laughs> sure, blame the bird. <laughs> Mom says hi. She agrees with me. She also knows that you have... um. Some crooked horns somewhere. <laughs> well, I bet your mom knows how not innocent you can be. <laughs> I'm not so innocent, she says. <laughs> no, we're on to you, Rita. We're on to you. you. We have seen that you're not that innocent. You can try, but but we figured you out. Thank you. Yeah, how's mom's hip? Good question. How is mom's hip? So, since Granny D is not going live tomorrow, um, depending on how things are looking, like if Mini Me gets to bed at a decent hour and whatnot, uh, I may start earlier. It might be a possibility. Just saying. Um, no promises, but it's it's a possibility. I have been starting like 15 minutes early and stuff. Recently, so. But I'm also not expecting people to show up when they know that, like, I start at a certain point or time and whatnot. And me starting early isn't something that happens every weekend, so. But Minimi has been better when it comes to going to bed since she went back to daycare. It's easier to put her to bed on Sundays because we are like, oh, but you have to go to bed so you can go to daycare tomorrow. And, and she just like runs to the bedroom. So I do have some extra time to 
prep and whatnot. Most of the time when I, like, that I usually don't do things on the weekends other than Sundays is because Mr. is playing games with his friends. And they are going to bed early on Sundays because they're working on Mondays. That is usually, like, he is noisy until my life starts. That's also why I usually don't do lives on Fridays and Saturdays because he might be noisy. And since his friends, they work during the week, so that's the time they have to hang out. Weekdays, it's definitely easier for me to do a pop-up. It's just that, I don't know. I probably should do it more often. But we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm just like needing an apartment and needing to sort things out. And after that, stuff can start to fall into place. Yes, that would be awesome, right? Mm -mm. Mom's hip is better. She's been walking too much. But she admitted it. That's good, though, that she's actually, like, realizing that it's not good to do too much walking. <laughs> she's getting tired of you being bossy. <laughs> uh, Herbie's back. You needed a nap. Well, did you get a good nap? Your mom says you're bossy. As I said, um, we're on to you, Rita. And I can definitely see that being a thing. Yep. Yeah, no. Um, I believe her, if that's what she says. No, I'm home alone. I'm home alone until um, sometime tomorrow. They're at um, his parents. Well, first they went to his brother um, for like hot dog barbecue thingy thingy in a park. And then they were doing dinner at his brother's and then sleep over at grandparents because why not? So I can technically be here probably for, well, I'm not expecting them home until like lunchtime tomorrow, maybe. And then I'm, you know, back here after Minimi's in bed for my Sunday stream. It's just a matter of like how much can I do? <laughs> because when I did the 13 hour stream and then my Sunday stream on top of that, I did get a really sore throat. Um so that is probably the things that's gonna be like my limits in some way, shape or form. Like, how much can I talk before it's too much? I haven't been talking all the time today, though. We've had a little bit of, you know, more chill times where I've been a little bit more quiet. It hasn't been nonstop talking. And I know that I... I don't like tea. But I did get... Um, tea with honey and, and uh, stuff... After the last very long live stream. And it did help. So that is most likely something I will. Um, also get. Later. Maybe. To at least try and keep my. my. Yeah. I am very talky sometimes. I need to make sure that these are. About the same length. But they don't need to be exactly the same length. I just need to, to kind of measure this in, in some way, shape, or but not. Um, that is about the same. It's curling! Please play nice. Damn it. There is one. There's that one, there's that one, that one's matching. That's a match. There we have it. 
Here's next. There we go. There we go. So I need what? Probably another three rows or something, maybe. Mom's hip and three pelvis fractures looks like it's healing good. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome sauce. She says, play nice, and then damn it, what's wrong with this picture? I, I don't. Wait, who? Me? <laughs> did I did I say that? Or, or or is it the feeling you're getting from here? Play nice and, and not so nice. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this picture. Nothing at all. I don't know what playlist this is, but I'm getting. Mm, I <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> maybe I did. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe the bunny ears need to go. <laughs> maybe. Oh, and I better not forget my ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, ice cream. Isn't that how you're supposed to say it? VJ, I thought you knew me better by now. <laughs> Play nice and damn it in the same sentence. And my God. Probably me. I just didn't hear myself. Oh, but the leaky floppy bits here is not playing nice. Trying to get them to line up easier than counting the rows. Just side by side, reckless eyeballing it to ish the same height. And I'm good with that. Maybe I should make one longer than the other. I don't know. but Roughly the same size. Where's my ice cream? <sighs> ice cream. In a cup. Or mug. Whatever works, works, right? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I don't need lullabies in my ears. What? I'm definitely not going to be able to whip something up between now and tomorrow's stream to surprise you guys. Because we already know that I have the leak and we got the eggplant. But So this is the, the friends of the week. The leak and the eggplant. They're just not a surprise. To 
to most people. And I still need to hang out some more in Puff Stitch Purgatory. Now I can't talk anymore. Not that I knew it. That I didn't really talk beforehand. But, mm, you know. This ice cream disappeared surprisingly fast. <laughs> yep. Fifty-eight thumbs up, you guys. We we've had a lot of people here passing through. You're still here, working while watching and listening. Well, you have a lot of pretty jewelry thingies to make. So, of course, it's hard for you to chat. Looks like the scrap basket is all full wood. Snuggly and whatnot. I hope it's not too crammed in there. Scrap basket time? No, I don't think we're doing more scrap basket today. We did some scrap basket earlier. And we're doing scrap basket tomorrow. I'm just going to finish the ice cream. And then I'm going to go back to the leak. Because the leak is now very interesting to finish. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> You make time to chat when there's an innuendo. You have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> you're not going to get a lot of work done if you're going to hang out here. Just saying. Mm -mm. Just saying. That's... <laughs> we can keep you busy. I promise. Rita's here. Jessica's here. Mm, yep, no. <laughs> Corruption. Well, I have been considering getting more of the green yarn, but it's been sold out. Because that's pretty much just half a skein of that yarn. And with a full skein of that, I can definitely make a pickle that I'd have to be elbow deep in to stuff it. That one was almost elbow deep to stuff that one. Yep. And if I make another one of those, I will definitely come on piano with John C. to stuff it. Yep. All the fun. Mm. 
<laughs> and Jessica comes back and, and adds. She hasn't had any ads while she's been running around and... and <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss, Bonnie? <laughs> I want to talk about corruption. Jessica and China tried to corrupt you last night. <laughs> I should have heard them. <laughs> Girls, not. <laughs> okay, Jessica, you have to tell me what happened. Uh, I do believe Don and Margie have some of his jewelry. Uh, Tank has some, and Michi has also been talking about them. And they're some type of metal. You'll be there. Where are you? <laughs> Jessica knows nothing. <laughs> Jessica, you, you're going to have to tell me later. And I finished the ice cream. Told you. Uh -uh. It's too good. I can't. Not that I needed that much ice cream. But. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Talking about corruption. I. I don't know if I dare. To, to have, um, to be in the same location with China and John C. I'm, I'm, mm, <laughs> that, that's the one I'm not touching. I'm not touching that one. That would require, mm, no, that, that, that was messy. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Do we have something looking like a matchup of some sort? I think they're pretty much even now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I need mm. <laughs> Jessica, you know nothing. <laughs> Bonnie calls bullshit. Well, Bonnie, yes, bulls do shit, and so do rhinos, monkeys, frogs, and almost anything to an extent. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Jessica's trying to be innocent now. Just as innocent as Rita. What, what's up with this? At least I am I am honest about it. I'm not trying to cover anything up here. You can keep denying. We all know. You can you know. Keep denying. And maybe I'll come after you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'll have to. <laughs> Just being honest. No. Mm -hmm. I kind of might have to agree with Bonnie on this one. Uh, where am I starting this? There we go. There's where we're starting. <laughs> mm. 
Now I need to count to 15 from where? You were honest last night. <laughs> May have been a tad corrupt. Yep. I believe that. That is honesty. Corruption. Corruption is key. <laughs> yeah, Cliff is also not innocent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Get in there. Tight squeeze. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Innocent is boring. You're going to take over the world, little pinky and the brain. <laughs> I might not have been there, but I can imagine. <laughs> and here comes Rita. Where have you you've been sitting here trying to act innocent and quiet? Yeah, that doesn't sound like um, it's a show from in, in something you're talking about. It sounds like you're just trying to cover something else up. You're thinking about something else. You're saying one thing and thinking another. That's what I'm hearing. Back in the day, not back in Bonnie's days. Bonnie don't know. <laughs> Rita knows. <laughs> okay. I might have missed something or Oh, why is the front loop only stitches being stupid? <laughs> Spoon, you said that you're awake and I just fell back asleep again. Well, apparently you needed it, but <laughs> when you came in and be like, I'm awake now. <laughs> oh, that, that was funny. Did not expect you to fall asleep. At least before you said that you might, you know, try and sleep a little bit more now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. It was a lie. <laughs> he thought you was, but you were wrong. <laughs> clearly, if you fell asleep again, it, you clearly was more uh, in need of sleeps. We can all be wrong at some point or time. Not me, though, but yep. 
My ice cream made you sleepy. I wasn't even sharing it. <laughs> She's trying to change the subject. She's tr Are you talking about me trying to change the subject? <laughs> Yeah, where was I at? I was probably sleeping because I was prepping for today because I knew I'd be here for, well, I've been here for 10 and a half hours. So I, I knew that I was going to be having all the house to myself all day and, and until tomorrow and whatnot. So I just wanted to make sure that I was prepared to enjoy it to the fullest. So I slept. That's why I miss out on fun because I was sleeping. But I've having fun now instead or also and we're having fun tomorrow as well you need a wall mount to get your internet mm -hmm. You had to snooze through the enabling and temptations so you wouldn't go <laughs> get ice cream for breakfast. Well, did you see the fluffy yarn, though? Speaking of enabling. Because this is an enabling if I've ever seen it. It's fluffy and fuzzy and colorful. And so soft. It's, like, really soft. It's really, really soft. This, this is enabling. Maybe. I like this. I can cuddle this. You're wrong, Bunny. You're wrong. But I do know that I am probably one of the younger crocheters that we are hanging out with here. But I'm not a 90s baby. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're talking about brackets and angles and fittings and stuffs. I am so lost, but you're talking about something to, to get your internet fixed. Do you have some bright fluffy pink yarn oh you went to the you went to a yarn store and you didn't bring us did you at least take some pictures from in there one does not need much fluffy yarn in their life i need um a cardigan quantity of this i i just wish that it had been on sale Why do you need a special bracket for a Starlink, though? You can put a Starlink anywhere. What What's so special with the with the thing that you need? That is expensive for, for internet, yes. But I'm still curious to why you need a special bracket for a Starlink. Like, what's the... The, the Starlink thingy thingy can be mounted on any, anything. You have animals that might mess with it? Okay. Because I see people putting them in boats and putting them on, like, RVs and stuff. So... You can put it like anywhere, honestly, but it's, um, yeah. If you have issues with animals, then, well, that's another type of issue. It's not that the Starlink needs a special bracket. It's just, we don't need, yeah.
Well, I'm guessing also like some of them are made to be hooked up to batteries and some are made to be hooked up to like a power grid or something. So that might be a difference also in how it's supposed to work. <laughs> Three dogs, but also raccoons, armadillos, and skunks. Yeah, that mm, keep them away. Armadillos, armadillo. Why would armadillos do they climb? Oh, you got a lot of woodsy stuff around you. Also, if it needs. To be high up for that. Makes sense. Makes sense. They dig and chew, but I bet they don't like they on the roof, though. Oh, possums. <laughs> oh, that's a fun word. Mm. Mm -hmm. This row is taking forever. So if there's a lot of trees there, you should be more woodworking type of thing because then you'd have like a an endless amount of supplying for that instead of your jewelries, right? This is going to be so much easier now. But I have finished this row. Oh, finally. Now I just need to, to turn the work. Oh, uh, uh, uh. You're going to be the top tatter by accident here soon. No, no, no. I bet you're probably like 500 messages behind Jessica. So it's, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have some catching up to do. Tank hasn't been able to keep up, and Jessica's been messing with sticky fingers today. So. First row is always bad, yeah. Especially when it's like this, but also... <laughs> This, this little extra thingy thingy that we have here now, um, you know, it looks kind of inappropriate in a way. But then again, we already know that everything I do is inappropriate because I have nothing else in my, I only see the dirty stuff. Someone have a good suggestion how to, to clean my thoughts. Or, I know. Where's the fun in that? There's no fun in that.
sounds like northern Arizona and M. Where's N M? And southern Utah or C O. I'm not good with the thingy thingies. Californian mountains. Arizona and M. North Massachusetts? No. Utah, Colorado, and M. You're just answering and explaining. Back to work until an end window. Who wants your crown, Jessica? Are you are you handing it out? Are you giving it away? <laughs> what is that? The ring on the. Uh, well, this is going to be the next level of the leaves. There's there's more leaves on this coming because we're not supposed to see straight through it. It's another layer. <laughs> Done with chocolate, waiting to dry and then package. You can't help me to clean my brain. You can only feed more stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Rita. Thanks for the help. New Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not without a good fight. Jessica's back. Back to play. Nice to see you back. As long as you don't have sticky fingers on your keyboard. You can have sticky fingers, but, but that's elsewhere. You know? Not on the keyboard, please. Thank you. There's a time and place. And computer and phone do not like sticky fingers. <laughs> Picking the sticky stuff of your fingers. I thought you already did that. Multiple times. Oh, like the center of Texas. You weren't expecting that. Really sounded like North, and North Mexico. What, there's no trees in Texas? I did look at a map. There's more trees in Texas than I thought. I was surprised by that. I thought Texas was more like flat and, and open, like, I know, deserty, but there's way more trees in Texas than I thought. I learned something new once in a while. I did learn that last, last year, though. That's nothing new right this minute. So I never, I never asked, so I don't, you know, no, if you don't ask, you'd never figure out stuff, but, um, you and your brother, you're twins, right? Do you live close or, or are you the type of twins that can be apart? Because I've seen some freaky stuff with twins that lives together when they grow up. Um, even some twins that share spouses because... Apparently, that's a thing if you want to share everything, because some twins are like that. <laughs> or they find another set of twins um, to marry. Also very freaky to me, but apparently it has uh, happened more than a few times. Not that that has anything to do with it. I'm just curious to whether you live close by or not. That was... That was my question. <laughs> not whether you share a spouse. Not. Nope. We're not going down the road. I have no idea about anything about that. Um, mm -mm. Your brother is 45 minutes apart. Okay. Or 45 minutes apart in, as in distance? Or, or born 45 minutes apart? Because that, that's other details. <laughs> when you live together, you end up hating each other at this distance. Okay. I guess that, you know, if, if that works for you, it's good that you figured that out. Instead of being spiteful and hating and whatever could be the thing that could happen. I totally get it how it can be like 
walking on each other's toes 24 7. Like what a lot of people probably experienced during the pandemic and lockdowns and whatnot. Step in on people's toes for 24 7 because you couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> 11 minutes and 11 seconds. That's cool numbers though. One, 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 one. <laughs> That's definitely a sign of of brotherly love to call each other bastards or yeah. Nope. <laughs> don't have a sister born from your parents but your first bonus sister was your cousin she's three years older than you and you have always been close that is really nice you live halfway around the world from your siblings and that seems to be just the right distance <laughs> I guess you love them just that much right Sounds just like a very healthy sibling relationship, you know? Yeah, you were womb mates, so you don't need to be roommates. Been there, done that, right? <laughs> Stupid stitch, let me in. Don't be so st stubborn. Loosen up. Thank you very much. <laughs> we missed you, John. We're having all the fun without you. Cliff is not getting any work done because there's too many um, innuendos and stuff. And he's only typing and chatting when there's that type of thing going on. So, so therefore, he's not working and he's only, like, typing. Yep. So he's probably going to be blaming me for everything. Not getting work done and whatnot. Hello, Samantha. Welcome in. Or welcome back. Um, It's 11.31 p.m. So it's almost midnight. Almost midnight. <laughs> it throws a towel at China. Yeah, China might need it. Hashtag slippery when wet. Don't be so rough with the thingy. <laughs> why not, Rita? Why not? It's kind of flexible. Nicely bendy. Um, <laughs> he's trying to take your crown, but now you don't have sticky fingers anymore. Yeah, Jessica, you, I hope you cleaned up your fingers good. Am I going to do a 24-hour stream? I don't think so. We've been here for... 10 hours 47 minutes but it's still it's still early 
So, I don't know. Maybe we're going to try and get past the 13-hour record thingy thingy. But we're not aiming for a 24-hour since I will be going live tomorrow also. And I do need some rest in between. If I go for a 24-hour now, I would be canceling Sunday. And I don't want to cancel Sunday. I'd rather plan it better to, to have a 24-hour that is just more well planned. Because I will definitely have to like eat more and whatnot to keep that up. Even though I, I have food, that's not a problem. I just not feel in the mood to deal with that right now. And I just devoured some ice cream. It just disappeared. It was it was disappearingly yummy. What's your job, Rita? What's what's your job? Um, did I say something and we responded to that? Do a reset before the twenty-four hour mark. You lose the start of your live stream in the chat. I I know, but I'm not too worried because people do not really watch the replays when the live streams are long. You should plan to have it in the new place. Well, as it as it looks now, if I get a new apartment, I'm probably get, still going to be here for another three months or so. So, yeah. Not the most... I, I don't want it to be that far away. I'm going to do a 24-hour one sooner than that. I'm, I want to, at least. I'm going to try. But yeah, it would require me being home alone for a long time. It, it could have been a good idea to do it now, but also people are busy for Easter. I had no idea if there was going to be any pe people here at all or if I'd be like all by myself. Because people have lives. Just because I don't, you know, you guys are my life. Or at least you're my, my, my fun time. How much progress have, have I made today? Well, we made, we made a fried egg. And we made those two eggs over here. And we are working on the leek. And the leek has uh, one leaf over there and one leaf over here. And now I'm working on another leaf. Um, but we barely see it because I just started. But I have realized that um, the leek is now um, kind of fun. Slime diver. What am I drinking from? I'm drinking from a wine glass. That is what I'm drinking from. How are you today? What are you doing? So that's the progress that I have done. Kind of, kind of, kind of. What is my live stream? What do you mean, Samantha? Didn't you make the eggs too? Yeah, the eggs up here. Those two eggs. That egg I did um, before. So this is not a new egg. The eggs up here are new ones. The longest live stream. That's uh, 12 hours 30. No, 12 hours 50 minutes.
<laughs> let's get it to 15 hours. I don't know if we're two in 15 hours. A big leak with dangly bits. Yes, yes. I can have some fun with this. But I have the other dangly bits. The, these dangly bits. I do have that. Ugh. A big leak with dangly bits. Uh, why did I get an itch all of a sudden? I don't know. We needed to scratch the itch. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what this turns out to become. Because these bits are kind of floppy and loose. And the other one is going to be keeping them more into sh place. I Yeah. Because this is wrapping around the whole circumference. Anything I say... Anything that comes out of my mouth, I just feel like there's no way I can say stuff that doesn't sound like they're open for interpretation. I'm just... Mm. Too many interpretations. We're working on the scrap basket tomorrow, Samantha. We did work a little bit on the scrap basket earlier today. And... It, it does hurt my hand uh, for a little bit when I do it. So I cannot do it for that many, you know, longer I mean, periods of time. Not saying that this is not hurting my hand because this is freaking tedious. Uh, but it's not the same. <laughs> Jessica? <laughs> What is it called in Swedish? The big thing with the dangly bits? This one? And put your luck. Put your luck is what I'm doing. For anyone curious to what this is in Swedish. <laughs> China! <laughs> Do you have a towel? Or, or are you sitting on something that... Um, Can handle some some moisture. Uh, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what. Um, the pattern is actually in Danish. I think. Um, I think it's a Danish pattern that they translated to Swedish. Because it's spelt similar, but with an O. Porre. Um, legima. I'm guessing is what it, you know. Toy food. <laughs> I'm making toy food. Can we see that? That's what. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I want. Not. Not. No, 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 no. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> Throw us a second and towel <laughs> China just to be safe. Yes. <laughs> and now we got ABD out of the scrap basket for this one. Saturday night, and it's um, wickedly wild.
I, I totally believe you, China, that you're doing great now. I can see that. <laughs> I think we found uh, John's number one fan. At least when it comes to his uh, radio voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bias China an absorbent chair. <laughs> I don't think that's enough. <laughs> ah, you're starting on a box for your youngest cousin's girl with some handmade items like food and turtle memory games. Turtles. Oh, and then you're doing foods. Uh, this was a free pattern on the Hobie website if you need some more food uh, uh, thingy thingies. <laughs> Jessica, you want to see the dangly bits? <laughs> like you haven't already seen them. I know what you're doing. <laughs> but I got me some dangly earrings um, that looks like <laughs> Rita, yes, John has a radio voice. He does. He he does. Um, and he's really good at whispering sweet nothings. Um, China almost fell off her chair during a, a live stream not too long ago. It was slippery when wet. I, I got like, I I needed a shower after that because I felt dirty seeing her squirm mm -mm. <laughs> a close up for the dangly bits the other one is similar but not the same because because you can't make it the same but I have cute dangly bits <laughs> John's voice is everything <laughs> You have a radio face. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, the, we have dangly bits. Oh, and Rita, uh, she just lives a few minutes away. That makes these. Her popular ones are pink with a, a silvery, sparkly, yeah, um, little thing. That's the ones she's like big sellers. Um, but I have. Why are you twisting around? And we got those. And I got. I got I got a ring to go with it. And a necklace. So so I have plenty of these fun purpley black sparkly things what's too too early for a spoon you sacrificed the first chocolate bunny of the day how did you sacrifice it D did you did you was it like a sacrificial like you ate it you sacrificed it to to the greater good of you getting chocolate to to not get angry or something. <laughs> mm -mm. There's a little bit of the sparkly stuff in all of them. Not much, but there's a little. And of course, well, there's a lot of sparkly on. On this little. On the happy place. Yep. So I have proper dangly bits in my ears. I do. Rita, do you need a pair? Do we need to um do we need to get you a pair? <laughs> you slice it horizontally into slices. You couldn't think of anything else. So so chocolate bunny breakfast. 
Um, the chair for China. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, we know what his voice does to you, China. You, you, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> ah. Happy Easter from the future. It's Sunday at Spoons. Well, it is Sunday in 13 minutes. I, these were um, a little pricier because it was commissioned or like I, I ordered it. So she does have, well, when she does the her regular stuff, they're not as pricey or well, it's not that big of a difference. But she did make two smaller uh, earring sets of the dangly bits and this the ones I have in my ears are the larger ones because I figured go bigger or go home. I'm not going to have smaller when I can have bigger. You need to be able to see what I'm actually rocking in my ears. So there's no, there's no reason to hide it, right? <laughs> it got peanut butter inside, but yes, chocolate bunny for breakfast. Pairs will with chocolate uh, with coffee. Yes, chocolate and coffee. That's yes, yes. We need to get a room for China and John. That's what I'm seeing here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Throws a whole linen closet of China. <laughs> John blushes. Wow, <laughs> wow. I didn't even think that that was that was a possibility. I didn't. <laughs> nah, I'm lost for words. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yes, I felt dirty watching you, China. I did. <laughs> Cliff, a room with a lot of windows. Um. <laughs> Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> Bonnie is back. She was running the YouTube streets. Um, Bonnie, take cover. <laughs> Stuff has derailed. It, <laughs> I don't know where we're at. We we have sidetracked. We are not on the track anymore. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all would be watching, don't lie. <laughs> it took you guys 11 hours to break me. <laughs> we kept it we kept it without me breaking for 11 hours. <laughs> and now it's starting. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we can observe. <laughs> oh, thank you, Samantha. Uh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh. <laughs> I told you, Bonnie, take cover. <laughs> We're trying to corrupt you again. <laughs> Don't you know running is bad for your health? Only run if someone is stealing your yarn. I love you, Rita. I love you. Uh, yeah, I'm running. Someone's stealing my yarn. I'm running. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> John's gonna need to put butter on his ears to get through the doors. <laughs> You're saying he's got big ears? <laughs> <sighs> Touch your yarn. Those are fighting words. I, I, I agree. I, I never claim to be totally innocent, but no. Most of the time I am. But then I have my, you know. My moments. Mm. Oof. Mm -mm. Oh, you're busy, Samantha, with all your blankets and some bunnies. <laughs> Bonnie, have you totally missed out that Rita is, is way uh, guilty also? Even her mother says so. Yeah, we definitely need to keep an eye out on Rita. She is... um. She's not innocent. Not at that point, Rita. No, not at that point. Uh. Bonnie was too busy running the street. She missed it, so there's no proof of Rita's mother being agreeing on this in this matter. Uh, then you missed something, Bonnie. Because there was proof. <laughs> Breathe. That's not my fault, John. Because I'm all innocent. And we can't even go to Chris's because it's not cold enough for, for getting cooled down over there. <laughs> And Jessica also has nice. Why do you all have nice weather? It's cold here. Here, yeah. I I just have to go outside and cool off, right? Ugh. Not sure. I'd do I dare to invite all of you here to come and cool down? That would be um, a risky business. 
I uh, yeah. But at least some of you might need to be cooled down. So in the area here is decent for that. Yeah, everyone has like warm. Okay, Rita is, is cold. Rosie Posey, that's where we're going. That's where we're going to cool down. Yep. <laughs> Ice cubes, Jessica? No, not not too bad. But you, yeah, you can go get some ice cubes and cool down with those. <laughs> How much fun would it be? Mm, I guess it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> the weather in China's house. I'm not the only one still living in winter. Yeah, no, obviously not. <laughs> it's it's me, Rita, and you. <laughs> no, Brett probably has some cold weather, and John probably also has some cold weather. I think. I should. They should have some cold weather still. <laughs> We've been locked up all winter. <laughs> Just don't put it in someone's pants. They scream too much when you do it. Is it perfect day in Japan? Is that where we're seeing the perfect day? It's still early though. It could get warmer for you, right? You're still having fires around you, Tank? How long has that been going on? And they're not getting it under control? <laughs> you don't know what's going on, but you're betting, believe it, you're breaking out the binoculars? I don't know either, Herb. I don't know. Uh... Oh, cherry blossoms is going to be, yes, cherry blossom season. We do have some cherry blossoms here in Stockholm. It's really pretty. They have a whole park full of them. People love to go there and take pictures. New fires. Oh. <laughs> nothing to see here. Nope, nothing to see here. Ha <laughs> ha 
everyone to Amanda's to, <laughs> to cool down. <laughs> Little Lego, well, hello there. How are you today? Uh, not sure what you just walked into, but there's, um, we're hoping it cools down soon. I do uh, kind of see your point in there, um, that, John, especially if you're inviting China. Mm. <laughs> Rita's just going to lean back and en enjoy her lollipop because mm. <laughs> that's not something that's going to cause me to giggle. No, no, mm, no, not at all. Hmm. I am pretty good today, little Lego. I've been here for 11 hours, and, um, yeah, um, we're, um, happy Easter. Happy Easter. A lollipop case from chain of mail. <laughs> oh, is Samantha making a somebody for a little Lego? Oh, you've been renovating? That is cool. Some bunny confusion. That happens. I get confused sometimes also. So sometimes it's hard to keep track of what's what in the oh wait. Have we calmed down a little now? This one is taking a little bit too much energy from me right now. I was hoping that this was going to be easier to make. The other leaves were a lot easier than this one. 
but this one is not playing nice. Maybe it's going to get easier once I have a couple of rows in. But it's... I have to focus. Maybe not the best rows to be working on. And try and keep an eye on what's going on in the jets. Your shelf is not as cluttered now because of the little... Renovation thingy thingy. Have you been uh, moving things around or did you get um, give stuff away or? How did you get space on your shelf? There's a Tootsie Roll in your lollipop. What type of lollipop do you have? I have never heard of such a lollipop. It has a Tootsie Roll in it. Uh, this is a leak. Or is going to be. But it's um, not as fancy as the colors normally would be. But I have I have fun yarn. Uh, so we're going with it. So it's kind of a leak. Oh, you got a happy mail from the U.S. Yeah, I was, it doesn't sound like anything we could get here. Maybe in the, there's a, or at least there was a store in Stockholm. I think it was Kungsgatan, no, Drottninggatan. I don't know, somewhere pretty central that was just like American American food store. That's a place I would guess that it could be or could have it, but that's probably the the other or the only place. But yeah, no. I don't even know if it's still there. Yeah, from the other Amanda. <laughs> Tootsie Pops. Oh, you got shell space on top of your new sound system? That's cool. Then you have plenty of place to put things. Or extra space to put things. As long as you don't blast too much music or whatnot. And the speakers start bouncing. And, and some things might fall off. That's the only risk I see with that. If there's too much bass. Oh, mostly the stuffies are moved. So you have stuffies and, and things that's not going to break if they would get knocked off the speakers. 
good plan. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, I can definitely tell I've been here for almost 12 hours. I feel like the energy is disappearing. It's been a while since I had some coffee. So we are going to be wrapping it up here. Because, yeah. I need to rest if I'm going to be able to to be up for tomorrow. Ugh. But I love you guys. It's been a lot of fun. And I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. I can tell my coffee is going to be... My, mm, my throat is going to be needing some tea or something. Because, yeah. I'm feeling a bit raspy. I don't know if you can hear it. I feel it. <laughs> You're drinking coffee for me and you will see me tomorrow. Yes, I will be back here tomorrow. And, well, I don't know. The time change is going to be messing a little bit with me. I'm losing an hour and whatnot. So, but, um, not that long. Not that many hours left until I'm here and hanging out with you guys again. I am leaving, Samantha. 11 and a half hour stream is what we get today. And then um, I'll be back here in a few hours. Uh, and hopefully I will have this finished by then. And maybe some else. We'll see. We'll see. But <laughs> drink coffee all day and night. Yeah, I do that often. But I need to be um, somewhat awake tomorrow to be able to keep up with you guys. <laughs> But thanks for all the fun, you guys. Um, fun as all, always. Fun as always. I need to go eat something. Like proper food. Bye-bye, everyone. Mwah!